Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm delighted to announce that this Thursday, the 15th of December at 10 a.m., I am bringing to Jewelry Maker the final instalment of my Chestnut Close Range. And as you can see behind me, you've guessed the season, it's all about winter. We've got six brand new pendants, including a mouse, mistletoe, a daffodil, and of course, the Christmas Robin. So that's this Thursday, 10 a.m. Join myself and presenter Eleanor with the launch of winter at Chestnut Close. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, please join me this weekend where I'm going to be bringing you developing news stories about Sarite as well as bringing you some Sarite opportunities. We're bringing you the story of the legendary Olmec Jadeite and some of the world's finest natural pearls. You're not going to want to miss this incredible show. I know it's going to be one of those shows today, isn't it? Now, if you've been hiding away in a cupboard somewhere, um, you might not know why we are as excited about today's show. Well, you're, you're saying that. We only actually physically had it in my little paws on Monday. On your little paws? In my little paws on Monday. So it's, we've done a lot of work in the last few days. Everyone has rallied together and it's here. It's going to be here. And because, and because we were just going to have it in the nine o'clock hour, but we've decided it's, it's so extra special that it's going to be the deal of the day. Yes! So, so you and I are going to have a little mosey on across to the deal of the day <gasps> desk, which I haven't done a deal of the day desk for years. So I'm really looking well, it's, forward it's, to it. Well, it's definitely, definitely deserving. Yeah. Mark, what is it that we are talking about? At 10 o'clock this morning, it's quite a bit of sweet, actually, because it's the, it's the final instalment. Oh, there's got to be more. Of Chestnut Close Collection today. And obviously, it's that time of year we're in winter so we've got six brand new pieces we've got six fauna and six flora oh. probably the, the the nicest pieces oh they're stunning and, and i think they're, they're really sentimental pieces as well because oh. um, a lot of you may know i mean this year has been really tough, You've had a tough not just for me but for a lot of us i lost my mum back in august and i didn't realize what connotations the robin had mm. with with people watching over you and always having yeah. a robin in the garden afterwards and and i didn't realize until i decided that we were going to have a robin as part of the winter collection you see and and it just makes it even more more special poignant. more poignant more yeah. poignant the, yeah. oh, beautiful i i love that and and yes. do you know what whether you go with it or whether you don't go with it i think everyone must think of it oh, when they actually see them oh, it's lovely they're such beautiful beautiful well, it's lovely birds. to have somebody watching over you and you know yes. it's just oh here's the robin oh here's the robin here he is oh. he's cute look at um, these oh my goodness me um oh. i think i think it's so difficult to choose a favorite mark i was about to say that's my favorite but i also love the mistletoe oh. i think for me because because i haven't had much enamel in my pieces my two favorites are the snowdrop yes which because is, which it's, is got what? The, it's got the most incredible tahitian pearl south sea 
South Sea. South Sea. Even better. Yes. Oh my word, right. So it's got a South Sea pearl it, here oh. it is, and it's so elegant, so, so elegant. And I didn't realise that it was a South Sea pearl until I came in this it's morning. It's a perfect South Sea. And something wow. completely different is the blue tit. The blue tit is lovely. Which is the most beautiful. I love enamel. I love enamel. So we've got that coming up as well. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, That's and so again, there's something so sweet about the blue mm. tit. Absolutely. Yeah, well, they, they, don't, they don't migrate and they mate for life. I'm telling you what, everything on the card, the little cards that you Do get with all really? the pieces. So they mate for life, just like swans. And an adult blue tit weighs the same as a pound coin. Ah. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Ah, because they're only a tiny. They're now, oh, he's so In terms beautiful. of birds, I think they're the most yeah, beautiful. They are. Love them. And they're little chirrups. And, no, they're, they're lovely. Oh, I'm so excited, Mark. Now, this is happening at 10 o'clock today. So this is 10 o'clock. Yes. 9 o'clock. Yes. We, I don't know if you knew, but we've been running a little bundles of seed beads over I the past hear. few weeks. I think I did, I, did, I did one with you, didn't I? I did yes. two O's, I think, with yes. you, the pony beads. And then last week, we had 11 O's. Today, we've only gone and got 15 O's. I know. They're, they're like, like gold dust, gold aren't dust, they? Yes. Absolutely. Yep. And it's the first time I've ever bought 15 oh, bundles to air. Oh, my goodness me. So we've these... got 15 bundles. And then, to top it off, in the 12 o'clock hour, we've had these on once before, and they are pearls. These are gorgeous. They're pearls. But not as we know it. But not as we know it. We have got the most three incredible kits with brand new cords, which is just the most beautiful, beautiful cord. Imagine two millimetre thick S long cord. It's just beautiful with each kid has got two strands of pearls with, I mean, it says two millimetre drill, hole, drill holes, but they're, they're three millimetre. Oh, think. really? They're, so they're amazing. That's yeah. a gorgeous colour palette, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to be able to get these pearls on cord, on your leather. Everything. They're oh, just, I'm just amazing. super, Fantastic. super, super excited. So that's nine, literally jam-packed from the very get-go. Yeah. Nine o'clock kits. Then you've got Chestnut Close, which is going to be so exciting. Mm. Your masterclass I know. is... The pearls. The pearls. That's, that's, that's pearls, right. Sorry, yeah. the bundles yeah, yeah. at nine o'clock. Yeah. I got that nine, the wrong yeah. way around. That's right. Can we show that necklace on the end, Mark? Because that so, is... Do you know what now, that reminds me of? Mm. Because um, I I went to watch Willow's Nativity the other day, ah, which literally okay. I sat there like an absolute blubbering wreck. Um, <laughs> and, no, the one on the the, the oh even the one the other, even further on the even other end. further away. This so reminds me. Of, I think this is so festive. The stars, Mark. the stars, or the little I stations. Just, yeah, that one. Yeah. The stations. Oh, is it? Two, oh, is it two necklaces? Two necklaces I yeah. love them together. If I bring them over. Do you know what so, that reminds me of? We three kings of Orient. Oh yes. No, you're right. You're right. So these are um, shell pearls, which I'm, you know, I'm a massive fan of, and some Swarovski crystal that I had in my stash. And it's all about, so this is Kiss Cross stations, all in 15 O's, and also the stars are all 15 O's. They, they well. are beautiful together. Yeah. And because I was doing micro Kiss Cross today, yes. um, um, Ross and I have had a little conflab, and we've only managed to find a metre long strand of blue goldstone, which will enable you to make this suite. I mean, is that not perfect for your Christmas yep. festivities? Amazing. So the, this is a whole metre strand of four millimetre blue goldstone, and we've got all these 15 O's coming up in bundles. So you've got everything uh. you can make to make this beautiful necklace today. Oh, in time for Christmas. In time for Christmas. In yeah. time for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it is going to be an absolutely Full amazing on. Thursday. If you had any plans on going out, can I just give you a little bit of a, um, <laughs> a recommendation? Don't. It is bitterly cold outside. When I left this morning, it was minus seven, which yes. I thought was cold enough. Yes. Drove through Evesham this morning, minus 11. Minus 11. 11. I've never seen minus 11. I think because it's, it's the bottom of the hill, isn't it? Yeah. A, a it was minus Wayne seven and, and a half when I got it? in my car. The thing is, it's supposed to be back to 11 degrees on Saturday. And rain. And rain. And it's rain. Crazy, isn't it? Not ideal. <laughs> yeah. not, I, no, I would rather it be, yeah, I'd rather it be cold, cold, cold yes. than wet and dreary. Um, yeah. But that being said, do be careful if you've got to go out anywhere because there is, it's, it's icy, it's bitterly cold oh. and stay safe, everybody. Plus, you don't want to go anywhere because we have got well, chestnut no. clothes <laughs> um, on jewellery makers, so I'm very excited. Um, okay, now this hour, lovely jewellery makers, of course, as we start our day, um, is lounge hour, so you can take a little look at the uh -huh. website, you can shop ahead, see what goodies that we're going to be bringing you. Um, but kick-starting what is going to be an absolutely epic Thursday morning, it is 
the wolf. What? To the off, to, to the, the off. Mm. Woff. Love it. Okay, right, starting us off this morning um, is number oh. 200. Hello to you, Sarah. Beautiful. Look at those, so commercial. Gorgeous. Yeah, love love them. I love that. I, 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 um, is that a sunflower, would Looks you say? Like it, yeah. Looks very much like yeah. one. Um, hi, all. Here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I use some jewelry maker aquamarine satellite beads and oh. some toggle clasps from my stash. I uh, love them. That's clever. They're toggle clasps. Oh, uh, it's the ogle of oh, the toggle. Yes, it is. Um, I'm getting over COVID, so a win would cheer me up no end. Keep up the great deals. Really pleased to get some Grand Didurite and Blue John at great prices the other day. Oh, Sarah, I hope you're feeling better, my lovely. Get well soon. Get well soon. And hopefully you can, you know, dust that off in time for Christmas Absolutely. and all the celebrations. Number 201 is from Erica. Hello to you, Erica. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Isn't that gorgeous? Hi, she says, I purchased the kit with Hannah Osborne, um, <clears throat> but uh, it included tanzanite, which was just too nice. So I made a chain with orange <laughs> agate uh, with all components from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody. Um, Erica, saving that, I think. She yeah. must be saving that for, 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 for wow. another piece of jewellery. Number 202 is from Susan. Good morning, Susan. Ah, pretty. Oh, that tiger's eye. I'm, oh, That's yeah, full funny. of chatoyancy. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Just a quick entry for, to the Wall of Fame. I love this untreated amber. Wow. Um, with some tiny beads from my um, from a scoop. Uh, seen here uh, with a blue tan tiger's eye. Really loving the programmes and my new hobby. Hope you're all ready for Christmas. Well, they're absolutely gorgeous. Loving those. You were Pardon. talking on the show yesterday about, about something that, that makes you feel Christmas is definitely here. Yeah. And I picked up my copy of the Radio Times yesterday. Oh yeah, you've got to get the Radio <laughs> Times. Do you know yeah. what I get it? It goes on my coffee table. We rarely ever look at it. Well, really? No, I go, I go through and I circle things with a, with a marker pen. Yeah. yeah. See, my, that's my, like Argos um, catalogue, isn't and it? And my nan and granddad, and I do, I do this as well, Whenever, when, especially the Christmas and radio times, because it's, it's two weeks worth, isn't it? Yeah. So when a day's gone, they cut the corners off. Oh, that's page, a good so idea. So you can flick straight to the page rather than having to go through it. Top tip. And I, I'd still do that now. Yeah, yeah, top tip. Number 204 is Michael Knight. Uh, oh, my. have you no, missed one? Have I missed Hazel? Sorry, I missed Hazel. Number 203. And uh, uh, Hazel says, this week's entry is a Christmas wreath made with 11 seed beads and champagne gold wire, wow. all from Jewelry Maker. That's so beautiful, isn't it? Love that. I don't think I'd have the patience for that. That's well, amazing. I think you would, because you're an amazing Well, it looks like all the too. seed beads have been put onto wire and then twizzled to oh, make the wreath. Oh, Hazel, That's it's stunning. so gorgeous. Amazing. And number 204, which is Michael Knight. And Michael says, Oh. Hi, this is my first entry to the Wall of Fame for a while, as I've been moving house for what seems like forever. But I'm here now and just wanted to make something with some of the stunning jade Dave has brought to us. I've graduated Old Neck Blue Jade out in groups of three, and I've put two 925 silver rondelle spaces in between each one. Separating the groups are red, oh my word, a red jadeite with a two millimeter, 18 karat gold spacer wow. on either side. The bale for the high goo is made with gold-plated French wire and again with red jadeite. I've added an 18 karat gold lobster clasp to finish it off, but all the gold is from JM. All but the gold is from JM. The photo doesn't do the jade justice, but I hope you like it and a happy Christmas to every one of you. It's amazing, Michael. Yeah. That's so high it's, end, isn't it? It's, it's amazing, yeah. That, that literally could be in an auction house. You've been trying to get solid gold findings oh. what seems like forever, haven't yes. you? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We must, we must have another go in the um, in, in the, the new, new year. year. In the new year. I mean, Caroline, our, our head buyer, is off on the She's moment. Busy. On She's rather busy, busy <laughs> yeah. yeah, with that, um, with the baby. So I thought yeah. I'll, I'll park that one yeah. for now yes. and then revisit it when she gets back. Yes. But yeah, I gen, I genuinely think that we should be doing eighteen karat gold because of the quality of the gemstones Absolutely. that we do. Yeah. Obviously, not. I'm not saying stop doing your your essential, no, no. your sterling silver and your base metals. But as when well. you're working with such high-end gemstones, you want something for that extra little 100%. special something. Hundred percent. Um, well. Well done and very good luck to well you done. all in the draw that happens on Wednesday. So you've still got time to send in your photographs and a lovely little message. Right then, are you ready? Should we get shopping? Shall we start with some rainbow nylon cord? Um, oh. 
Eh. Let's do granted you're right first, shall we? Oh! Just a little piece. <laughs> See, oh, talking Lord. about 18 karat gold, that's what this deserves. Look it's there. a three karat natural granded you're right, and we're at double figures. Seriously, put two Whoa. beautiful diamonds either side in an 18 karat gold mount. That's that's I mean, Incredible. that's a high end piece of jewelry. When it comes to grand digirite, I totally agree with you, Ross. Ross is just saying this is one of the nicest samples that we've ever seen of grand digirite collectively. Wow. You know, you expect inclusions within grand digirite. You can get it eye clean, but you are talking millions of pounds then. Um, you know, look at that. Uh, that's so reminiscent of the photograph on First Dib. Uh, not First Dib, sorry, on Forbes. Yeah, um, where it actually says $20,000 per carat. But actually, this is better. Oh, yeah. It's a better intensity of colour. It hasn't got a big, big sort of a black inclusion in the centre. It's got textures and patterns. You can see the crystal formation. Look, the one they show you is that textbook. Credit to the gem trader. Look, there we go. $20,000 per carat. Now look at yours. It's actually a better colour. <laughs> it's a better colour. Plus a better price point, $69.99. It's madness. But let's start what will be probably one of the most exciting shows of the year with an enormous price crash. This is one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. This is a gemstone that most people would only dream of actually owning. It's easily in the top five rarest gemstones. It's not being mined anymore. The only deposit that was once available was in Madagascar. That is now closed. So what is in the market is in the market. You have 43 minutes to grab it at this price tag. Oh. Cra that's crazy. <laughs> Should have, it should have multiple zeros at the end of that. Wow. I'm not, and that's not an exaggeration. Three carats. You pay a premium for any gemstone on the nose as well in terms of carat weight. You pay a massive premium for Grand Digirite. How many have we got of these, Ross? I, oh, wow. I, I am asking because I want to buy one. That's incredible. Isn't, isn't it? it? Do you see why I think 18 yeah. karat gold mounts all day long? Hello, Alison, saying, so excited. I'm in work, but have you on the, the background? <laughs> okay, I'll try not to shout, Alison. <laughs> I'll try not to shout. Uh, hello, Jan in Oxford, saying, morning, I live in a mobile home, and when the temperature <gasps> went to minus 18 and the water in the loo froze solid, oh, oh God. my goodness me oh i hope you're warm now darling i hope you're yeah that's, that's i don't know what to do with my car windscreen because my washer's frozen yeah and because of all the grit on the roads windscreen's really filthy and i'm having to stop every half an hour just to clean the windscreen down i sat um yeah it's it's, it's difficult isn't yeah. it get one of those covers maybe mm. i've get got the cover on the windscreen oh. but it's still it's the washer bottle yeah, yeah. festive greetings lovely mark morning, and morning. Uh, your pearl snowdrop looks perfection oh, mark it's beautiful it's here so it is beautiful. it is perfection that's the perfect yeah. description as well rachel it's coming up in the 10 o'clock hour um i'm quite lucky because i can park my car in a car park uh, in our we've got oh, like a garage so it, my, mine's okay yeah. but tom's yeah. is literally frozen solid um yeah. amazing 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 um, um, by the way, your oh. early bird this morning is um, a beautiful, I haven't even showed you this, have you? Have I? No. Um, it's a pair of white nephrite. Let's pop them in some tweezers so you can really see them. Um, totally natural, totally natural, pure white nephrite in one of the most beautifully carved hearts I've ever seen. It's actually, I don't know how to describe it other than a voluptuous heart. It is very voluptuous. It's curved all it the is. way around. It's a proper heart, isn't it? Yeah. You know, like a like yeah. a three dimensional heart, and you do get both of them as well. So how pretty are they? How pretty are they? They are through drilled as well, um, in beautiful, beautiful white nephrite. They're your early birds. So you can shop ahead and get, uh, oh. and and, and uh, secure yours. Should we do some lovely pearls? Oh, I love this. I like the fact that this pearl has been given a huge box. Huge <laughs> box. Not just popped it in a little. Oh, it is like box. proper it princess is. and yeah. isn't it? <laughs> look at how perfect it is, though. Gosh, look at that. Just gorgeously spherical. Mm. Um, Edison pearls are quite uh, widely celebrated for having the most amazing shape. Um, here is a prime example. That's also a uh, natural color. 
so that's not bleached or dyed or enhanced in any way, shape or, or form. Remember your five virtues when we're looking at any variety of pearl, be that South Sea, be that Edison, be that uh, Tahitian, uh, um, be that Akoya. Um, you are looking for your five virtues. So shape, spherical pearls are still to this day one of the most mm -hmm. expensive varieties. You're talking about luster. Edison pearls are celebrated for their luster. Color, you ideally want it to be natural color. That's precisely what this is right now. Um, beautiful, lustrous, smooth. Uh, nacre, which is a little bit like the skin and the surface of the pearl. To be able to get a, a, an Edison pearl in double figure millimeters for under 50 pounds is absolutely amazing. To get an Edison pearl for under, I just heard about you that did, right. yeah. Mark's, I wish you'd seen it actually, because Mark's <laughs> head all of a sudden heard something that Ross has just said in my ear, and Mark went, to get an Edison pearl of double figure millimetres for under £10 is nothing short of madness. There are only 14, though. So it's first come, first serve. It's a race to secure these. If you don't, I'll snap them all up, because that's crazy. That's absolutely yeah. crazy. Completely and utterly natural. Um, it is half drilled as well, so you can literally just pop these onto your lovely, uh, I don't know, your, 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 your um, bale pegs yeah, yeah. or Absolutely. earring findings, your jump, not jump ring, sorry, head pins. £9.99 for a natural Edison pearl. Once upon a time, I used to say South Sea, Akoya, Tahitian. They're the big mm. powerhouse names and locations, really, for your pearls. These days, there is, uh, there's two other heavyweights, so you can add your Edison pearls to that, without shadow of a doubt. You can also also add your naturally coloured freshwater pearls mm. to that. Um, these are this is a luxury pearl and it should not be nine ninety nine. I challenge anyone to try and get a pearl of this quality and a tenner anywhere else other than here at Jewelry Maker right now. I mean, we wouldn't be able to no. do that ordinarily. No. No. Are we doing like Christmas clearance or something like that? I did have a message from Chloe Jones the other day saying, "L, you've got to wear a clearance t-shirt." Mm. Um. Um, a little tip on your frozen windows. Hello, Caroline, oh. saying hi, Ella, Mark. Mark, do you use do. screen wash in your water bottles? Yes, I if do. If that doesn't work, try a few drops of liquid detergent. Ah. Does that stop it from freezing then? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, OK. Yeah. Rachel's saying, top yeah. tip, put a drop of alcohol in your windscreen washer bottle to stop it freezing. I'd never good thought idea. of that. I'd never thought of that. Can you imagine? Drive, police pull you over. <laughs> you can smell alcohol. It's in my windscreen wash. <laughs> Honest. Um, hello to you, Nikki, saying hi, L. Mark and Fab JM team. Minus eight here, staying in and watching JM. Opened uh, my JM advent calendar. OMG. Oh. So glad I got it. We'll be doing the same, Nikki, at, at midday oh, okay. today. Right. Um, that's, a good, that's a good idea. What, a bit of vodka or something that's like that idea, in, yeah. your, in your water yeah. bottle? Um, Alison, say morning all. So excited for Mar Mark's winter collection Bless today. You. They look amazing. Thank they really you. are. They really, really As I say, are. It's, it's quite poignant today because it's, it's the last final instalment. Mm. But lots of plans for the next collection yes, next year. exactly. So, yeah. I watched, speaking about windscreens, by the way, I took uh, Willow goes to uh, um, acrobatics and... Which one, sorry? This one. The best example we've seen of this gemstone. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, easily. Triple A graded fire opal. Um, sorry, let me just... I, I literally watched someone pour boiling water over their windscreen last night. And I, I was oh, like that. No. no! You're doing slow motion. Don't do it. You're going to crack your windscreen. Um, oh, my oh, goodness. goodness me. I've not seen this in the flesh. Look at this. This. Hands down, the best fire opal we have ever seen. Look it comes that. boxed. Look at that. It is perfection. That is textbook. That's everything that a fire yeah, opal wants to look like. You've got the selection of colours. It's all completely and utterly natural. Can I just read these words? How many do we have, Ross? Six. Okay. I think it's really important because not everybody will know what fire opal is about. 
Right, we're going to open the graphics and I'm going to tell you this. It is going lower than £129, but there are only six. So the jury editor wrote about Fire Opal. In fact, they have done on a couple of occasions. Fire Opals are truly spectacular, sparking, sparkling with an inner fire saturated with every hue of red and orange on the spectrum. Um, then it talks about the, the cabochon fire opal in Tiffany and Co's magnificent blue book collection ring burns bright on the finger, surrounded by intense fire uh, fire opals to accentuate its flaming orange colour. Then it talks about uh, Irene Neweth regularly features fire opal in her statement jewels, while Kimberly MacDonald celebrates the fire opal in its natural form in her ca uh, cabochon fire opal matrix pendants, which preserves the surrounding rock that housed the gemstone jewels. Oh during its formation. That sounds nice. It does. Well, do you want to see those pieces? Yeah. We, oh, my ever looks something like this. There it is. Gosh. Look, nice. look at how unbelievable that fire opal is. Some destins like the Mexican fire opal are des uh, sorry, some gemstones like the Mexican fire opal destined to outshine all others. Uh, find out why this fiery stone is basking in the spotlight. Yeah, you can't wow. help but admire That's fire amazing. opal of this quality. Um, when it comes to fire opal, it, it, there isn't a particular colour which is more desired than others. It's about all those different hues. Um, translucency absolutely plays a big part in the quality of the gemstone. I mean, these are almost you know, literally completely transparent, aren't they? It's the best grade that we have yeah, ever absolutely. brought to air. Incredible. And if you, don't, if you don't want to take my word for it, take a look at these earrings. So these are Catherine uh, Jetta's um, Sunset Fire Opal earrings, £9,000. Look at the translucency of... The, it's obviously the drop that we're looking at right yeah. now, not the actual cut stone at the top. Um, I think they might be rubies. Mm. Um, but look, look at the translucency. They are relatively actually opaque in actual fat, but still beautiful, absolutely beautiful and amazing colour. Look at the translucency that you are seeing in your strand. I have six available at $49.99. It comes with the box. That necklace actually, Ross, would be something that I think we should show. Yeah, this is Mickey Moto um, who featured it um, alongside some really amazing pearls. You know, just a cluster of your fire opal, you know, as that piece joins. You could recreate something That's like this, amazing, couldn't you? Isn't it? You That's could recreate. So there are only six, and at forty nine ninety nine, you pay forty nine ninety nine for the box on its own. I think in many places, look at that beautiful wow. translucency and natural colour. There are in. Um, I can see you there, so I'll leave it. Uh, leave that one with you. Shall we dive into some? As you were admiring, some gorgeous tiger's eye. Oh yeah. They're almost sold out already on pre order. Well, we had we had the twelve mils of these on the show last week. Meet me and Zena, and we were desperately wanting some, and they, they all sold out within seconds. They're so They're beautiful, beautiful, aren't they? The, the finest tiger's eye we've ever bought to air without it. Six ninety nine. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's so distinctive in its colour, isn't oh. it? I get why people would maybe be confused by this uh, this variety, um, because normally we're used to the more traditional kind of chestnut, yeah, that's chestnut right. uh, brand. It's beautiful, so beautiful this gemstone. Love that. You've got a fusion of your greys, you've got your yellows, you've got your caramels, and also your sort of uh, chestnut colours within there. Like you said, six ninety nine, crazy. Crazy full of chatoyancy, which really is that number one valuing factor of this gemstone. Guess what? Sold out. Well, well done. It. I knew it. Well done, well done, well <laughs> done. Um, OK, shall we dive into another tiger's eye, just because you're clearly in the mood? Um, here it is. Oh, Traditional tiger's eye. This is, this is the variety that you see in um, Thomas Sabo. 100 and something, isn't it? His stretchy oh, bracelets, yeah. something like that, I think. Yeah, exactly um, the same tiger's eye as ours. Exactly. Probably not as fine a quality, actually. Possibly <laughs> not. 3.99. <sighs> Honestly. It's a good question, Ross. He's like, what are we doing with Tiger's Eye at the moment? We're just devaluing it, he thinks. Well, as long as our viewers know that that's no reflection of the true value, you know, Tiger's Eye is not a 3.99 no, gemstone, no, um, ordinarily. All. You've got Chopard, Piaget, Van Cleef and Arpels all working with this gemstone right now, to name a few. They've sold out. Well done. Um, textbook out oh, oh. oh my lord look at the size of that i i bought <laughs> it's actually the first gemstone i bought when i came to work here at jewelry maker um and mine is oh mine's god. in 14 karat white gold and it is no way near as good as this really no way near as good it cost me i remember clearly it was 160 pounds 
Um, Look at this. It is, oh, it's so big I'm struggling oh. to hold it within the tweezers. Oh! Look at that. That's textbook, as it you is, say. completely. Look That's at perfect split. It's one of Ross's favourite gemstones. Natural bicolour. You have a fusion of amethyst and citrine. I mean, they form alongside one another, of course, within the geode. Um, this was, yeah, it's from the Anahi mine in Bolivia. Most people actually say this is a one locational gemstone. Um, once upon a time, mined solely by women. Um, yeah, it's a natural occurrence where that a minute mm. fluctuation in uh, the crystal formation of temperature means that you actually get both amethyst and citrine in one combined stone. It cannot be replicated. £49.99. The most desired, if I lift it up slightly, can you see that split there? The most desired ametrine will actually have um, literally 50-50. 50% amethyst, 50% citrine. Wow. And my goodness me, you've got this. It shouldn't be £49.99. No. It's absolutely gigantic. I don't think I've ever seen a loose stone so large as this. Can you imagine that again in a ring, man? Mm. It shouldn't go lower, Ross. He says in one minute, <laughs> we're going to half that price. How many have you got then, Ross? 20 available. Do you know, even if you've got no idea how you would incorporate this into your jewellery collection, this is, this is something that... We, before us, Mark, we've got the museum, haven't we? Yeah, we can see yeah. gemstones um, that have, uh, you know, are, are alarmed in these beautiful cases, glass cases. That's where this deserves to be. It is museum-worthy. It is textbook quality of this miracle bicolour gemstone. Um, in 33 seconds, I'll say it again, we are halving that price. Halving it. It's one of the biggest cut stones I think we've ever brought to air. And it's flawless. You know, it's completely flawless in its clarity. Uh, you know, normally an archaeometrine, when I did have the um, privilege of bringing an archaeometrine in showcases, say, on our sister channel, they weren't this big. No, no, no. They weren't this big. Um, do you agree, Ross? And so if this, they, this would come in a little pack with its... Yes, its with its certificate. Card and, yeah, wow. yeah, absolutely. And, and if something like this were on our sister channel, it'll be maybe a, a, a Larique piece, one yes, of our 18-karat yes. gold, one of, a, one of a kind designs. Um, the gold work and the setting will be designed ooh, around <laughs> the gemstone. Um, there you go. It's because I can't physically hold it in the tweezers. It's that large. Um, you have 28 minutes, 28 minutes at this amazing price tag. I'm holding it a bit, uh, sort of against my, uh, my jewellery so you can imagine and visualise it actually in a, a fabulous ring. $24.99 is just crazy. You know, they, they, this is Bond Street worthy. This is the kind of uh, quality stone that you can imagine. Um, it's a sort of Rodeo Drive and Paris and Hatton Garden. We had 20. Alice and Janet. I've got another Janet there. I've got Suja, Leslie, Claire, Lisa in Australia. Amazing. Well done. Uh, Tracy in Manchester. If you want those multiples, I only had 20 at the beginning of this auction opportunity. I mean, let's be honest. Let's say it as it is. 49.99 is unreal. <laughs> it, it, it literally is unreal. Stay where you are. Keep on dialing through for that. Now, we're not going to make you wait too long for your beautiful white nephrite, um, often referred to as Kotan mutton fat. I know it's not the most romantic name, but that historically is what they refer to it as. Um, you do get the pair. These are through drilled. Nine carats, uh, 10 to 11 millimetres, and this is, yeah, it's like a, it, it is a three-dimensional heart. So you haven't got a flat back. You've literally got that curved uh, um, yes. shape all the way around. Look how pure and white they are. The finer the purity of colour, almost like, you know, like you want your linen. You want it to mm. be pure white, um, the better the quality of the nephrite, and it is completely natural. We're not going to make you too, wait too long for that. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those. You do get the pair. Imagine those just on a pair of shepherd yeah, simple. You Keep it really simple, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, shall we do a bundle of featherweight head pins? But there's only 50 available. I think this was us last time we were together. Mm. Oh, look at these. Why do we need our featherweight head pins, Mark? So I always talk I always talk about featherweight as transforming your jewellery making and, and, and having these in your stash, it would be like starting your journey 
all over again because we've got so many strands where we have such delicate drill holes that we can't use them. We yeah. can only use them for, for beading thread or something yeah. like that. We've never been able to pop them on findings. But now, all of our tassel strands, all of our gems of distinction, all of our 15 OCBs, if you want to go down that route, if you want to, um, uh, it's, it's the perfect, absolutely perfect. And, the, and these, these are sterling, aren't they? It these was it, it yeah. was literally a revolutionary it was moment, completely. wasn't it? It's my, if I had to take one finding to a desert island, it would be the featherweight silver head pin. Yeah. Without a doubt. I get Without that. Without a doubt, yeah. Well, you're getting 200 of them, so wow. you're going to be well stocked <laughs> with your featherweight head pins. That, as Mark said, Ooh, they are 925 yeah. sterling silver. Um, we're going to do a close-out clearance deal because whilst these are essential um, and we will definitely have more in stock, possibly now or maybe on reorder, um, they don't transfer that quantity. What did you say we had? 50. Yeah, for that 50 quantity, we'll just book them in under a different SKU. So you benefit from that because basically yeah, we'll yeah. take it to a close-out deal. Um, it is 925 sterling silver. So in 35, what was that, Ross? In 33 seconds... He says ultimate clearance and it's only oh, going to last yeah. for 25 minutes though listen uh, even if you've got featherweight head pins you are going to need them again aren't yeah, you yeah completely i would i would be grabbing three or four of these because we hardly ever see them in a bundle on no. their own like this no especially the price that ross has yeah. taken them you to. Did, you, you just you couldn't imagine jewelry making without them no i'd agree yeah, i do they're, agree they're it's like fantastic. it's like trying to bake yeah. without flour it is no you're right it's yeah. not impossible but it's it's it, you yeah. know it's tricky he says they won't last for they won't last for the remainder of the hour. They are ninety four. No. Oh, that is low. That's the price for a hundred, and you're getting two hundred. Is that you buy one? Oh no! It's that guy, isn't it? It is. It's that guy. Fourteen ninety nine, Ross. Snaffle, snaffle these, yeah. Yeah. Grab um, two or three of these at that price, honestly. Yeah, you would, because you know you're going to use them. Yeah, completely. And it's always one of those when you're trying desperately to find featherweight head pins. Literally, Claire was doing it yesterday. She's like, featherweight head pins, couldn't find it here in the studio. That's oh. in the jewellery maker studio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's an absolute necessity. You know, if you want to do things like your bubble style, if you want to do exactly. little rap loops yeah, yeah. and your featherweight head pins. Absolutely, yeah. They are a must, an absolute must, especially yeah. at that giveaway deal. Um, Ross said very confidently when, we, when he started this auction, he was like, I don't think they're going to last the no, hour, though. <laughs> double rows already. Yeah. yeah, double rows of names, loads of people with it in their baskets. They ain't going to stay there. You need to check mm. them out. It'll be allocated first come, first serve. Um, well done, well done, well done. If you're watching right now and you're thinking, how do I get involved with the madness? I want to start making jewellery, literally. <laughs> Free phone, telephone number. Um, free phone off our, our, our all UK landline. So give us a call and start your jewelry maker journey. Amazing. Um, okay, oh, shall yeah. oh, I love this? Um, Dan, are you are you directing me right now? Okay. Uh, this one, the necklace. Necklace is sold out. Oh no. Oh my goodness me. There is one. This is the one that you're actually going to be getting. Textbook. Olmec Blue Jadeite. I mean, you Please. saw just a few moments ago, didn't you, with Michael, who That's on, right, on yes. the Wall of Fame, he's, yeah. he created, teamed it alongside Red Jadeite with 18 karat gold, um, and deservingly wow. so. This is the lost treasure of Guatemala. It's, uh, this is the one that you're getting. Should not be at £199. You can you benefit from your 0% interest split payment as well. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Jadeite only occurs in this beautiful Olmec blue colour within Guatemala. Um, we're incredibly lucky to actually be able to bring yeah, you this beautiful yeah. variety of gemstone. That is the price. We can't go any lower than that. You've got 20 minutes to make that confirmation. Don't forget, every, every purchase comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee regardless. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Stay on the phone. And Linda, you can get that. And if you love jadeite, we've got your nephrite jadeite coming up, which I think would look beautiful actually absolutely. with the old mech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing together. Um, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so from wow. here, oh, there they are. There's your early bird. You can shop ahead and pre order on those. Shall we do some cabochons? Don't see cabochons that often. Cabochons for eight. The last cabochons I think I bought to wear was some labradorite with you recently. That was probably the one and only time in months. Yeah, we don't get it very often, no. do we? These are stunning. Absolutely there, beautiful. Um, oh. That square one, the, the oblong. You like that rectangle. one? Rectangle, I love that shape, yeah. God, Look at the size. Ten pound? For, really? for Aquamarine? 
<laughs> Beautiful aquamarine. I love aquamarine, oh. which has actually got a level of oh, opacity because it holds on to no. more colour. What are you doing, Ross? It's not even the price, he says. What do you mean? If you have a little look at the um, cabochons on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, each of the, the, there's like a little section on cabochons. So we've got a variety of gemstones. They are all going lower. All going lower. So this would be great if you do bead embroidery, if you do your gallery wire or your uh, bezel bead strips bezeling, or your yeah. bead bezeling. Or Absolutely. These would look amazing with 15 o kits coming up at nine. Oh, they would, They'd get they? really, really beautiful, ornate little... Well, you've got perfect colourways for them, exactly. haven't you, yeah. as yeah. well? And, and yeah. the Masterclass And the Masterclass kit. later on. I think they'd yeah. be lovely with that too. So, yeah, you've got your um, 15 O's coming up in bundles with Mark um, in about 20 minutes' time. It's going lower, though. Do you remember when bundles of cabochons and not even aquamarine, which would have been even more, um, would have been, I don't know, 24 99 mm. Absolutely. They would have yeah. been, wouldn't they? Yeah. This, well, there's no way this would have been a single-figure price tag. Maybe one. Not a bundle. Mad. What's he doing? I can't, I can't believe we're going lower. I would put it with that, um, the blue and gold tiger's eye that oh. flew out. I, I think I look amazing with that. Yes. Hang on. I think it'd be so beautiful. Hang on. Because yeah, it picks up that blue, doesn't it? I think it'd be gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. that so works. Yeah, I love that. Six ninety nine for a carat weight of 170 Beautiful aquamarine. I love it with opacity, personally. I think it's mu it holds on to a much more sort of sky blue like color. Uh, again, if we never mind outside these four walls, if we compare with ourselves some, I don't know, 10 years ago even or, um, or less, we wouldn't have brought a parcel like this at a single figure price tag. It would have been genuinely, I think about 24 pounds, 95 pence. And that would have been a great deal even then. 6.99, well done. There are loads of you there. Liz, Kerry, hello to you, Tracy, Patricia, Jane, Linda in Hampshire, Linda in Staffordshire, Jacqueline in Merseyside, Carol in Northamptonshire, Mandy, hello to you, Anthony and Kay. Uh, Claire, nice to see you. Catherine, Sylvia, hello Mervat, hello to you, Lisa in Australia as oh, well. Wow. Hope you're all well. Genuine aquamarine. Awesome. What the temperature is in Australia? Oh, it'll be glorious moment. over there yeah. now. Yeah. Because it's your summer now, isn't it, over in Australia? Um, yeah. Oh, I, one of black my rutile. Oh, especially for this time of year. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Almost mixed those up. What am I doing? Pardon? Look at these. I don't know if I've ever seen cabochons. We don't get it very rutile. often. It's very difficult to cart. That's why. Oh, it's difficult yeah. to cut because the rutilations can potentially cause um, a split uh, yeah. in, in the actual I love gemstone. Love this stone. Oh, I may. Oh, look at this. We they're dynamic, see aren't we? We hardly see it, do we, on the show in any form? Oh, look at that. Look We've how fine those hairs are. Amazing, aren't they? Beautiful rutilations. Yeah. Um, 18 minutes. I'll say it quickly. Oh, We're going to do these under five pounds. Not each, that's the whole parcel of 170 <laughs> carats, I know. Oh, Sometimes no. you just can't help but laugh, no. can you? Because it's, like, it's a nervous laugh, isn't it? Honestly. 170 carats for £4.99. Um, no, yeah, no. these beautiful rutilations often are um, other gemstones like tourmaline, for example, right. that occur yeah. completely naturally within. Um, when they're golden colours, they're often referred to as uh, Cupid's arrows or angel hair. Um, just stunning. They look a little bit like impressionist art. Every single one will be completely unique because, of course, they are natural. Mm. Um, they're just fascinating. But those rutilations, obviously, after the cutting, cutting process, it's completely fine but when you are cutting this gemstone it can it causes the lapidaris some um, amount of stress shall we say and that's why we don't get it that often unless it's of course in things like your nuggets and your tumbles four pounds and 99 pence i mean we've got lovely bundles coming up haven't we in the nine o'clock yeah, hour 50 perfect. nose perfect for your cabochons oh they'd be perfect yeah, yeah absolutely. and 50 yeah. nose would frame them beautifully yeah. wouldn't they okay which one oh. Rhodochrosite, one of my favourites. And normally, I have to say, mm, very expensive. Um, <clears throat> oh, look at this. I love Rhodochrosite. Look at this. They are beautiful, aren't they? Again, yeah. it's not an overly feminine pink, is it? No. It's quite a sort of, what's the word? I don't want to say run of the mill, but I don't mean that. No, it's a wearable pink, yeah, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not an in-your-face pink. Now, Rhodochrosite... Um, 
it forms in stalactites and stalagmites. Um, it's actually the pink, almost like the pink malachite. Mm. I'm not saying they are exactly the same gemstone. No, it's no. expensive, though. It is expensive, especially Argentinian. Do you know, Ross, I was about to say, Argentinian rhodochrosite is like the, is like the Congo to the malachite or your, your Burma to your ruby or uh, um, to your uh, Colombia to your emerald. That's what Argentina is actually too, oh, to rhodochrosite. Yeah. You want those patterns. It's totally, look at the phone lines. That's, look, you know how crazy yeah. this deal is. You've got 15 minutes to make those confirmations. We rarely ever see it. And that's because, like I said, it forms in stalactite stalagmites. Wow. That one in your, the smaller of the two. Yeah. That reminds me when you see maps of the world, when you see the swirling. Oh, the, like the, the satellite weather, images. The satellite, and you see the, and you see the typhoons and things over America. You can see the, yeah. Beautiful. Very cool. Oh, it does look quite yeah. Jupiter-esque as well. Yeah, I get That's that. That's extraordinary. Every, for 4 99 It is, yeah. For, and these are big. It's not, it's, it, you know, it's not by chance that rhodochrosite <laughs> tends to be in smaller no. stones. Love it. Um, I've got one more. Larimar, cabochons. Now we guarantee the carrot weight. So you might get three, you might get seven. Oh, you've got the oxidized res reds in these as well. Should we do what? Oh, it's only because of the quantity. Look at the quality of this, Larimar. That's incredible. The first one that I hold. Oh. Larimar with more blue and less white is the most desired. That rippling, it looks like the top of a swimming pool, doesn't it? Oh. Beautiful. You know, if you can imagine yourself as a bird of paradise, literally flying over places like, Adam's there, he's there. Um, <laughs> flying over places like the Seychelles or Mauritius mm. or anywhere stunning like that. Um, and you look at the coastal lines. Um, that's what Larimar should look like. Yeah. Those beautiful tropical blues. Um, it's a very rare one locational gemstone forms only in the Dominican Republic. It's a variety of pectolite. Guess what? It's going to sell out. Well done. I'll leave it with you. Wow. Um, a hint of, oh, this strand is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And do you know, I've made my, my, my sausage rolls. I've made my mince pies. I need to make my jewellery for Christmas Day. Uh -huh. Haven't done that yet. Uh -huh. And I am thinking something like this. Oh. The fact that we can e I can even say that, it, you know, I've, I'm so grateful to jewellery maker to be able to wear the luxury that these are because my budget would never have stretched to pearls of this calibre before. They're completely and utterly natural. That already is absolutely bonkers. We are no way near stopping there. <laughs> my experience of pearls like this, which, you know, over the past couple of years, really, um, we've seen the desirability. House of Gucci has got a lot to answer. Mm. Uh, you know, to, to, we can thank yes, them quite yeah. a lot with Lady Gaga. But the world has gone crazy for Brock pills, and I totally understand why. But even more than that, we've gone crazy for natural colours. Now, is. this is irreplaceable at this present moment. We know that we have to. We'll have to wait about ten years, and um, maybe maybe less. But when we do get these back after the harvest, have sort of. Uh, so sort of recuperated if you like from the pandemic we're not going to be able to offer them to you at the prices that you're about to see i've got literally single figure quantities you've got 12 minutes to make the most of this amazing deal these aren't dyed um like in any way yeah. They? Yeah. They, 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 they they do, do that's great. a great description yeah, they, like yeah, they do pearls. and they're huge ordinarily <laughs> these are sold on their own at 299 pounds that's my experience of when i was over in uh, um, tucson they weren't sold on the strand very I think Dave stumbled across a, a pearl traders that would sell and negotiate maybe some pearl strands, but nothing anywhere near hundreds of pounds. Um, how many did you say there were of these, Ross? There's only oh, three. Wow. Oh, I'm so tempted. So tempted, because that's a lowest price tag. Um, again, remember that you have actually only got 12 minutes to make that confirmation. Um, your nephrite isn't far away. <clears throat> I do have the aquamarine. Love this shape. Don't see these kind of shapes yeah, very often. They, I do see these in your marker beads. I was you thinking that. that. Yeah, so a pearl marla with these as your markers. Oh, beautiful. Be so elegant. Incredible, yeah. It's Burmese oh, aquamarine. Burmese. Oh. Gorgeous solitaires, under wow. 10 pounds. Again, only because you are watching during your early bird hour. This is a 30 oh. pounds upward strand in you my eyes. You had that um, two pack of... Um, Slider bracelets, didn't you? Yes, yeah, the yeah. diamond cuts. Yeah, they were. Yeah, just gorgeous. one of those 
just be so beautiful. Is it for the bridesmaid jewelry? Oh. And if you have five or six bridesmaids, each with a slider bracelet and just one aquamarine. Stunning, absolutely Incredible. stunning. I'm also thinking yeah. about your snowdrop at the bottom in a pair Some of way, earrings if you multi bought. Yeah. I think that would look lovely too. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll leave that one with you. Well done. Keep on dialing through. Should we do some lovely oh, kunzite? Yeah. Again, this is this is my favourite of all the pink gemstones. I think this is quite a masculine pink. I don't think it's yeah. feminine. I've always loved kunzite because of that reason. It's it's it's, it, 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 it's a beautiful. It's it's a very like unique marshmallow pink. pink isn't yeah, it? that's it's a not, perfect not a bubblegum pink. It's no a marshmallow Turkish delight sort of pink. It's a very exciting. Oh, mm. look at that! Mm. Seriously, that's gorgeous. It's a member of the spodumene oh. family. That's a good word. Spodumene, <laughs> um, and it is actually it has it has a, a magical power because kunzite um, will retain light. So what that basically means is it's like a little solar panel, isn't mm. it? absorb energy by day um, and then by night the gemstone literally glows. It's uh, called the evening gem. The evening it? stone, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's And that's completely natural. It can wow. be heat treated to encourage its beauty. This needed absolutely none of that. I've got quantity of these. It's graduated as well. Literally restrand this, maybe include some lovely pearls in there as well. I think that would be absolutely amazing. No, it's just, that's wow. silly. This is an expensive gemstone. I don't think there's any two no. ways about it. Whether you're looking at it in, say, finished pieces of jewellery on our on our sister channel, whether you're looking at it on, for, on Gem Collector, whether you're looking at it on, on our channel. When we first launched Kunzite here at Jewellery Maker, this was 80, 90 pounds. Yeah, it would, it would have been, yeah. 80, and it would Absolutely. have been the same quality as what I have draped across the back of my hand right now. Kunzai is considered, and it's rare. I could probably count on my digits how many times I've actually brought this to air in the last six months. Um, it's rarely seen. It is beautiful. Um, uh, it was, uh, in terms of history, there's not a massive, massive amount of history on Kunzai purely because um, it's actually a relative baby, I suppose, to the gemstone world. Um, JFK actually gifted this gemstone to Jackie Kennedy. Um, and if you think about it with her beautiful Chanel jacket, how perfect that pink would match um amazing shall we do oh <laughs> how many diamonds am i meant to have yeah i don't not in this have you got a picture just because these have moved and it doesn't show so you have a halo around okay i'll do my best um there Hopefully there's an image on, on, on the website. They're all hidden in the sponge. They're all hidden. Yeah. They're, yeah, it's where it's been. Yeah. You get 14 wow. diamonds. So the idea is that you, here we go, that you actually recreate the Royal Engagement Ring inspiration. Oh, so you have right. that beautiful right. halo um, that surrounds. That is an amazing quality Thai sapphire. Um, just a little bit of heat treatment to encourage those beautiful sort of cashmere-like saturations to the forefront. You know, when we think about the um, Royal Engagement Ring, which I, I think I had, I saw the valuation on the Royal Engagement Ring and I was quite surprised. I expected it to be more than it was. Yeah. Still six hundred thousand right. pounds, yeah, mind. Yeah. Um, but I expected with the history and everything to be con to, to be worth even more. But yeah, if you love that piece and you've always wanted to own something very similar, but mm -hmm. don't have the six hundred thousand pounds, and it was like, the first engagement ring to be bought off the shelf. Off the shelf. It wasn't designed by anyone. She, just, she just fell in love with it in a shop window, and that was the one he bought for her. Oh, I love that! Yeah. Absolutely love that. £199 only. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. Um, last one before we dive into uh, your early bird. Again, a beautiful quality cut stone. I'm just going to open the box um, for one second. Borrow the tweezers. Here we go. Uh, because look at the quality. This is gem quality uh, um, tanzanite without shadow of a doubt. Right. It's uh, double A graded. Um, when it comes to, oh my word. Clarity. Is yeah, beautiful it? quality. Tanzanite, of course, we most of us know. We'll know it's a, a one locational gemstone, comes from the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, eh, a gemstone that was actually formed 585 million years ago, but yet we only actually discovered um, in the late 1960s. Um, immediately, Tiffany's and Co. took hold of it. Um, there's only one of these left. And it, it's been an wow. immediate love story. Due to the popularity of the Grand right earlier on, we do have one more opportunity in an oval that Adam always, always, always giving it the, ooh. <laughs> Is it a good one, Adam? Yeah. Yeah, no. That's the um, one I've got. I've bought this one. 
It's good, isn't it? I've got that one. Wow. Haven't done anything with it yet. Look how beautiful this is. There are only four, though. Oh, Adam's giving it the proper... Ooh. Look at that. It's certified. $49.99. Look at this colour. Look at this colour. Totally oh, and yeah. utterly natural. For six minutes and six minutes only, I have this one. $39.99. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because, again, notice how, how translucent it is. Mm -hmm. Notice how few uh, um, inclusions, you know, it's not even the slightest bit. Uh, um, you know, sometimes you can have quite a coarse grain of gemstones. Mm. So it kind of blurs yeah, yeah, internally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not the case here. $39.99. Not for granted, you're right. Seriously. Wow, wow, wow. Um, okay, coming up. It is your early bird. Lots of you have already been shopping ahead and pre-ordering on your amazing nephrite. Um, historically, in the Jadeite world, and we know if you think Jade is an umbrella, say surname. Jade is an, a surname. Um, and then you have the siblings underneath, which are, of course, Jadeite and nephrite. Nephrite is the older of the two jades, so they refer to it um, in Chinese history as the original jade. The most expensive jadeite piece that has ever gone to auction is not, sorry, jade piece that has ever gone to auction is not jadeite. It is nephrite. And furthermore, it is this beautiful colour. Up next, you have got two, a beautiful pair of natural type A nephrite jade, never been seen before in these beautiful, voluptuous hearts. In peace, Ross. Sorry, I was just about Ross. We have a photograph of the most expensive. He's on it, he says. He's on it already. So um, I'm often asked this question, and I know a lot of you already know it, so uh, do bear with me, but it's really important that we sort of differentiate what jade is. Um, because when you have something that is as internationally valuable as jade, um, or any gemstone for that right, uh, uh, if you like, any gemstone that's as beautiful, um, it leaves itself open and exposed, if you like, to simulation. So you mm -hmm. have to be really, really careful with simulated gemstones out there. And unfortunately, not everywhere is completely transparent. Um, and you'll only see, say, that it's a, a, it's a laboratory created stone in the finer print. This is not laboratory created. This is mother nature created. It is totally and utterly natural. Um, so if you if you consider that Jade is the surname, it, you know, Jade is a terminology that has been around oh, is, a, is, is, is a name of gemstone that has been around literally for um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. But if you imagine Jade is the surname and Jade I and Nephrite are the children, they are two very different chemically constructed gemstones. Um, Jade I is the younger of the two. Having said that, it's still thousands of years. Um, nephrite is the older of the two. So they could refer to it as the original jade. Also, you might be able to differentiate between the two with their colors. Um, white is a little bit trickier, um, but also their luster. Nephrite um, tends to be a little bit more waxy, a little bit more shiny and glossy than that of your, um, of your jadeite. Now, as I said earlier on, the, uh, the record for the most expensive jade piece of jewellery that has ever gone to auction is not an imperial jade, um, is not um, a carving, say, um, of, uh, of lavender jade. It is actually nephrite. I can show you that very piece. It sold in 2021. Look at the price point underneath. Um, I mean, obviously, we are looking at a, a, a historical piece of jewellery that is literally hand carved. Um, it looks like the Pixu, in actual fact, on the top there. Um, and you can see, what's that? 18 million US dollars. US dollars sold at Sotheby's um, only last year. It's a seal, isn't it, for closing wax, I think, isn't it? They're I'm sure that's what it is. Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah, I mean, making documents and they drip wax and then they, they seal it 
Seed it with it that. Is. So it'll only yeah. be small then? Yeah, it won't be huge. No. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because I look at that and think it's absolutely massive, but yeah. it's clearly not. Probably but be the size of one of these <laughs> reels of cord, I, I reckon. Amazing. Yeah. But 18 million US dollars. Um, it's absolutely wow. beautiful. And again, you appreciate the intricacy of that work. Um, but also, can I just quickly, the colour. Did you notice how it was a little bit of an off-white colour? Yes. It wasn't actually a pure white mutton fat. Um, Oh my goodness me, look how pure and white these beautiful hearts actually are. Now, um, I'll read on, because I think that's important. Um, nephrite, uh, Jade, what's that, sorry, the nephrite, talking about green, okay. Evolution of the green nephrite market. To be honest, it's not just green though, is it? The nephrite um, uh, evolution has been around for longer than the jadeite mm. evolution, really. Um, although the, though Chinese nephrite prices received little attention for many decades, since the rise of China's economy in the 1990s, the original jade, there it is, has appreciated tremendously. As of 2014, the world auction record for jade is held not by Burmese jadeite, but by Chinese nephrite which is precisely what you are looking at right now now these have never ever been on air you do get the pair of them as well they are completely pure in color think back to are that what's that's interesting Green nephrite has attracted consumer attention due to recent, recently skyrocketing prices. Since 2008, the Jade West Group has seen the price of Canadian nephrite oh jump. Have you ever seen a figure like that no. before? 9,900%, um, and that's over recent years. Now, these are completely pure in their color. If you can th cast your mind back to when we first launched your Sally Hewer Emperor White Jade, I believe, I'm guessing that this is from that parcel because it is so pure in its color. Yes, yes. It has to be from um, that Emperor White because ultimately, if you think about, uh, we refer to some black jades and black nephrites, um, if you like, as imperial black when they have that amazing translucency, the fine texture and that purity of color this would be the imperial white if that makes sense as a terminology 49.99 today and today only mark you were a little your, your ghast was flabbered earlier on was, because you heard what these are going to well that's a fantastic price for the two of them but the, the fact that we're going lower is just it, yeah incredible they are through drilled as well if i just push that one forward oh all the way through all the way through oh, so amazing. the featherweight head pins that we had a few moments Perfect. ago literally just yeah. do a wrap loop and you've made some amazing jewelry 39.99 now lovely jewelry makers let me just remind myself how many there are 190 of these available Shall we do, I think this, was this purchased for Christmas Day? Because it looks like a Christmas Day product. Um, um, and we're bringing it to air a little bit earlier. I mean, it's a, spe it's a special <laughs> show, Mark. Shall we do a little Christmas I Day deal? Yeah, I think we should. On the purest, most linen white, natural, certified natural nephrite. But we need to justify that. Take a little look at this. Um, again, an ancient piece. Pale green nephrite jade carved scent bottle. So again, that will only be small. Uh, closed in 2004. Estimate 8,000 to 12,000 Great British pounds. Price realised nine and a half. You've got to remember that that's what 18 years ago. Yeah, yeah. 18 years ago. Um, so that's pre 9,900 price increase. In 60 seconds, <laughs> we're going to half that price. That does get you both of those in 54 seconds. Completely pure white. That's 10 pounds. We should not be able to get hold of any variety of jade, whether that's Burmese or nephrite. Remember all the messages that Sally Hewer has sent back. And just remember, do you remember her face looked really worried and concerned? Mm, and I yeah, totally yeah. understand why. She said, I believe this is going to be the generation that, that, that actually can't afford to purchase mm. this gemstone for the first time in thousands upon thousands of years. Um, because there's just no nephrite 
right actually in the market right now. In 20 seconds, though, we're going to take that message, um, we're going to put it to the back of our heads for a second, and we're going to still bring it to you at an early bird deal. It gets you to go beautifully carved. I love that sort of voluptuous three dimensional shape. It's a proper heart, isn't it? It is. It's a proper, proper heart. Hasn't got the flat back. No, no. It, they are, they're just crying out to be in tassels, to be in earrings. <laughs> we both shook uh, our head in disbelief. The phone lines have absolutely lit up. Everybody can own. Nephrite jade. Nephrite right now, it's amazing, isn't it? But yeah, I, I, I genuinely think this is from that emperor jadeite yeah. parcel because there's no, there's no hint of this, that, that. The one I showed you earlier on, amazing. The, the, so the, the, the Sotheby's piece that um, broke all the records. It was an off white, wasn't mm. it? It was like a cream. This is yeah. pure white and certified completely and utterly natural. 20 quid. That's amazing. I think I would put this on a head pin, but I would, I would hang that from maybe inch, inch and a half piece of chain. Oh, beautiful. Just so you get that movement. I think that'd just be lovely. So beautiful. Do you know what I would do, Mark? Mm. I would multi-buy. <laughs> yes. I love early birds. We're not even stopping there. No. There is a big price crash on your way, though. Haven't we just had a big price crash yes. of 20 pounds? Yeah. We've got another one under our belts. <laughs> can, I, can I make a suggestion? This sounds really indulgent, but believe me, your early bird is going to justify the statement. Mm. Imagine getting a few of these and having them all in the bottom of a tassel. Can you imagine that? Amazing. On the bottom of, say, I don't know, your, your Olmec Blues or your Burmese Jade Eye, or maybe you have. In fact, I've got one of uh, the Emperor White Jade, uh, sorry, Nephrite uh, strands from Sally Hewer's original launch. Imagine these in amongst that or in amongst some of your amazing pearls. You have a matter of minutes to make your confirmations. We're not just going to take a cheeky pound or two pound <laughs> off that price point. That's not what we're all about. It's a really exciting Thursday. We have got um, season four, winter, coming up for Chestnut Close in just under an hour's time. Today, though, oh my goodness me, to be ticking a box, to say that you're a custodian of the original jade, pure white nephrite, it's crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Please know, though, it's at this point that I have that moment of realisation where I kind of say to myself, L, make sure everybody knows that that's, no true, that's not the, no. you know, the true price. You don't, you don't buy nephrite for a double-figure price tag. You don't buy nephrite for, for a triple-figure price tag. This is the gemstone that literally commands astronomically high prices. You know, I'm talking about sort of thousands upon thousands of pounds. I could show you countless auctions that have been held at Sotheby's, at Bonham's, at, um, yeah, at Christie's, uh, Christie's that uh, have sold this gemstone at prices that I don't know. We can only we can only imagine. We can only even imagine. Twelve ninety nine now. That's what's fantastic about Gemporia as a partnership is that we make this level of luxury accessible to the masses. Well, completely, luckily. Nephrite jade. With that beautiful glow. It reminds me of the texture of a jelly bean. Yeah, yes. It? It's that very different of, to yeah, jade eye. Yes, yeah. That's um, gorgeous. And I remember, um, because my mum has a carving that she brought back from China, we've actually distinguished that it is, it is oh, jade eyed. Right. But I didn't know, because obviously she's too poorly mm. now for me to mm. ask her, but um, I didn't know what it was at the time. And I was like, oh, is it different? And it was, um, I actually showed Jake, and Jake was like, no, that's a jade eye. You can tell just because of the luster, and you can see it now, he's actually mentioned it. Yes, nephrite looks a lot mm. more shiny, I think. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot shinier than jade, uh, than jade eye actually is. Take a look at wow. some of these pieces. Chinese <laughs> pale green uh, carving um, of a finger citron. Um, and what's that? Price realized 2,280 pounds back in 2006. Again, always be um, consider the price increase of jade um, uh, uh, collectively, whether that's nephrite or jade eye over recent years. Here we go, pale green nephrite jade scent bottle. I think we've shown that one, nine and a half thousand pounds back in 2004. Beautiful, it's absolutely stunning. Here's another one, green nephrite jade dish, 12 and a half thousand pounds. 
you know, don't please know that £12.90 is not reflective. The clock is ticking on your screens. That's literally our countdown to close this auction oh, opportunity um, and to everything else that has been in this hour. So you have got 45 seconds. If it's in your basket and it's anything that I've brought to wear this hour, you need to check them out now. Otherwise, they will disappear. Um, it's, you know, we don't keep... We don't keep them in your baskets during a lounge hour. You need to check them out. That's why you've got such low prices. A load of multi-buyers. If you've got a phone in your hand or you pick up the phone right now, you can still get hold of these. Don't worry. As long as you press your option one um, and you're waiting to our call, uh, speak to our call centre, that's absolutely fine. So much to bring you today as well. Um, we've got the kits coming up. We've got beautiful, beautiful 15-0 bundles. Check out your baskets and then chestnut close at 10 o'clock as your deal of the day. We'll be back after this. Check out. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here. I'm delighted to announce that this Thursday, the 15th of December at 10 a.m., I am bringing to Jewelry Maker the final instalment of my chestnut close range. And as you can see behind me, You've guessed the season, it's all about winter. We've got six brand new pendants, including a mouse, a mistletoe, a daffodil, and of course, the Christmas robin. So that's this Thursday, 10 a.m. Join myself and presenter Eleanor with the launch of winter at Chestnut Close. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, please join me this weekend where I'm going to be bringing you developing news stories about Sarite as well as bringing you some Sarite opportunities. We're bringing you the story of the legendary Olmec Jadeite and some of the world's finest natural pearls. You're not going to want to miss this incredible show. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. 
Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Figgy pudding. Figgy pudding. Is it Christmas pudding? Figgy yeah, yeah, pudding. figgy pudding. Because they used to use figs and dates and all sorts of fruits. They used to basically, everything they had left in the store cupboard, they'd make into a pudding for Christmas. Mm -hmm. We had last year's on Sunday. It was amazing. I did see you had uh, friends, family. Yeah, so we had Jenny and Graham, Andrew's friends from Southampton, and then um, his sister, Helen, and and, I, and your it's pudding lovely. looked amazing. Mm. Yeah, because it, it keeps for ages, doesn't Massive. it? Massive, it keeps for years and years. Yeah, my yeah, mum used lovely. to make them in batches. Yeah. So you'd have them for... I used to have Christmas puddings mm. on the top of my... So on top of the cupboards in the kitchen. Literally. <laughs> it is quite expensive if you do make your own this year because you have to, you have, to have it on simmer for eight hours. Oh, God. Just because you have to steam it. <laughs> And then, then you put it to one side and then when you come to it, actually eat it, you have to steam it again for two hours. So... It is quite expensive. Am I, I, I'm not going to... I normally microwave mine. Yeah. I'll be honest. Just to whack it in the microwave. Do you make yours, do you? N uh, no. 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 Do you do no. sausage rolls? What else have you made? Sausage um, rolls? Sausage rolls, mince pies. What oh. else do I make? Tom, Tom's the baker in the family, right. so Tom will make things like a Yule log. Amazing. Um, um, I do everything else. Like, yeah. I'll do all the, all the... all the. Yeah, but I don't tend wow. to do... I don't tend to make the Christmas pudding or a Christmas cake, only because we're not no. massive fans of it. No. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, yeah. <gasps> I'm so in the Christmas spirit, are you? Yes, it's taken a long time. Yeah. But I think this cold weather's helped. It definitely. Yeah, definitely, yeah, it's been, it's definitely. That's lovely. Yeah, lovely. And um, also, yeah, 45 minutes mark, it's happening. Mm. We have the mm. winter collection, so don't go anywhere for that. But I love, love, love these pieces of jewellery. Um, and why are you so excited about these lovely little bundles? Well... As you know, though, um, seed beads are my thing. I mean, this year has probably been the quietest year for seed beads. Yes, I I'm agree. not going to lie. It's been a bit quiet on the old seed bead, seed bead front. Mm. And um, so the fact that we're able to bring bundles to air. Now, I, I, the last time, I, well, a couple of times on the show now, I've, I've told the viewers and I probably gave them far too much information and I'm going to do it again today. So why not? <laughs> why we, change the habit well, we, of a Why change the habit of a lifetime? <laughs> so in our admin, uh, we have something called yellow line or top noting. Yes. So for example, if I was doing a show in March of next year that was containing seed beads, we buy the seed beads in now and we pull them to one side. Yeah. And when the producers of the show, i.e. Ross or Tom, go in to put the show together, they'll think, oh, we'll put some seed beads in. We've got Mark or we've got Alison or Monica in. We'll put in the codes and it'll come up top noted and it'll all be in bold yellow, you see. So and when I'd like saying to do not use. The seed beads that we've got today are from the top noting product. Oh, so you've you've we've, stolen so them. So we've stolen them. Yeah. So for for a reason, maybe the other bead we're not going to get in in time. But but I think the main reason is we've had this a few shows now where I've bought a instead of having a mixed bundle, we've mm. bought specific sizes to yeah. air. I love and that. We, yeah, and we all know that six O's are our number one seller yeah. at the moment because they're just so versatile, and I love six O's. Yeah. Up until recently, 15 O's are our number one now. Okay. Which is why we thought we'd have to bring them to air, because we've done all the other sizes, but we've not done a 15 O showcase. I'm loving that, because people yeah. used to be quite frightened of 15 didn't they? They're amazing. They? Love them. I They're love not as scary as they, no, as they appear. Absolutely not. No, nope, So most people not. with, uh, you know, I'm going to be sort of the devil's advocate here. Mm. Most people think, oh, 15 O's too small. No, no, no. You can even... They um, jump on, don't they? This is memory wire, look. And they're 15 O's. So they even go on your memory wire. They're and they, they thread on really easily. Yeah, so, so please, beautiful. please, please don't yeah. be put off by yeah. their little miniature size. Even if you're a bead bed, if you, even if you're a cabbage and bezler, we always recommend that to do your inner circles on the front and the back to pull everything tight, yeah. you use 15 O's. But we don't have them hard. And I've never ever since I've been here, we've been doing seed beads now for about seven years, and I've never bought 15 O bundles to X really? on their own. Never. This is so this is a time. first. Yeah, yeah. So if you, I would, I would honestly, I would grab at least one of every single one of these today. We've got them in all the color ranges. We've got the greens, we've got the golds, we've got the metallics, the pinks, the hot colors, the cold colors. I would, I, honestly, the price we're going to as well, I would go grab every single yeah. one of these. Well, they are, yeah, the prices are absolutely yeah. amazing. And we're going to yeah. start 
with, let me just slide this towards me. I'll lay them down so you can yep. actually see the collars. 50 knows the tubes appear smaller, but you get thousands you in get, there. You get approximately 300 in a gram. So I don't know what gram weight these are. Uh, What's the gram weight? 8.2. So eight three, so two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand <laughs> in each of those tubes. So yeah, yeah. yeah don't be fooled by the smaller no. sizes. No. Um, love this. These are all your beautiful green tones. Never done no. a bundle exclusively of no. your fifteen no. O's. No. So uh, in terms of weaves, Mark, what kind of? Everything. I mean, obviously kiss cross. I know yeah. that. So you can do your kiss cross. You can do all your peotas. You can do all of your right angled weaves. But I, I tend to use them, as I said, for the kiss cross. If I show you this one, this is one I did when we used to do Swarovski. Oh my goodness! So again, me. this this is this are, these are four mil bicones. So I just love this. And you, if you were using eleven O's, it would be too bulky and it would detract away from the yeah, I agree from, from the beads. So we we've got that in um, this necklace here. I've used so again. This is the kiss cross with little amazonites oh, that's that gorgeous. I had little four mil amazonites. So if you if you if you use four mil gemstones. You use 11 and 8, it's, it's too big, it doesn't work. It loses the, the delicate nature of it all. But, but the, this is when 50 nose come into their own. Wow, and in your beautiful green yeah. colours, this is the only green uh, um, colour bundle that we've actually got available. So um, again, do make sure uh, that you're checking out. How many do we have of each of these then? Oh, it's only about 50. I've paid more than that for one tube of, of a gold 50 no. <laughs> 12 oh, no. Um yeah, so I those, thought they were. Yeah, these yes. ones here, the silver lined, are seven pounds on their own here at Jewelry Maker. Outside of these four walls, Mayu Mayuki being internationally regarded as one of the yeah, best. The best. Yeah, the, without a doubt. the best, not the one best, off, no, the, the best sea bead. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah £7 is a great deal for 15 nos but you're wow. getting the entire bundle for £12.99. pence. we have only got 50, though. Oh. Do you know, I've. Oh, do I say it? I'm going to say it. I'll be honest. I've stopped using precious metal in between, you know, like spacer beads in between. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because these don't tarnish. No, they don't. No. They, they don't, don't tarnish. No, no, no. Sold out. Well done. Very, very, very busy today. Wow. Um, should we, oh, hang on. There's a couple of different pinks. This one. Oh, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Paler colours. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. So if you bought the next three bundles, you could do the most amazing ombre. You know, simple spiral, which I like doing uh, as well. They just look lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is proving to be super popular. Lots of you have been crying out clearly yeah. for your 15 bundles. It wasn't meant to be a case. Basically, they've been stolen from the top yes, next. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably stolen from, from one of our yeah, shows in the future, yeah. but it's all good. It's all good. You want it yeah. this side of Christmas. And a lot of our admin staff work at home on a Thursday, so um, <laughs> we're not going to get into trouble today. Unless they're watching, of course. Unless they're watching. They're far too busy to be watching, we totally. hope. Totally. <laughs> Go and make yourself a cup of tea. Just avert your eyes for a few moments. It'll all be over soon. Yeah. Um, and also, they know that twelve ninety nine. Look, we'll do the maths. What's that? Yeah, that's amazing. You're talking about, what, £3 something yeah. each? Three thirty. Um, £4.33. £4.33. Sorry, yeah. terrible maths. That's amazing. Four thirty three. I love yeah. this colourway. Yeah. Sold out. Well done. Well done, wow. well done. Okay, moving on to. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. love this one. The stunning. It reminds one. me of that strand. First so two is, have sold out. I made this really simple little pair of earrings. Look, and this is. Do you remember what I did the single, double, triple drop? Yeah. This is the. This is the. This. Are, these are lovely. These are these are triple drop peyote, and then I've just made a little zip and zipped them up just to make oh, these little tubes. Baby. So you can make lots of these if you wanted to. Rosary link them all together, or use them in a mala. You can knot them. You can do all quite, sorts um, of things. Quite got, got quite a Native American yeah, vibe, yeah, I think. Those they remind me a lot of the fire opal as well yeah, yeah. Um, that we've just brought you. Um, beautiful colour palettes within this bundle. So yes, as you can yeah. see, you've got uh, the matte light red AB. You've got the opaque, and then you've got. Uh, so there's the matte light red with the AB just down here. There's the orange, and then you've got your opaque red. So what? Four pounds thirty-three. But bear in mind, and I always say, this red is the most expensive colour to produce in any seed bead colour. Yeah. It's also one of the most festive. <laughs> it is. So let's roll with that. Yeah. All that everyone's making their beaded. Um, Holly baubles and things at the yeah, moment. Yeah, baubles. And, and, uh, yeah, so 50 no's are really good oh. just to add that finer little detail. 
I, I think, should we get it under four pounds per tube? <laughs> four pounds per tube. Can you imagine doing like um, holly wreath napkin rings and things Amazing. like that? So you could do these in napkin rings. And just join end to end, so you just have solid continuous. Oh, it's amazing. Eleven ninety nine. What's really nice as well is you can do you can you can um, download designs or or purchase books of designs, um, similar to looming, and you can make little little. I've made them. I think you might have seen them. Little covers to go around tea lights. Yes. So oh yeah, they're lovely. You can do all that sort of thing are. as yeah, well. Really yeah, really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be very 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 decadent mm -hmm. here and say, can you imagine? Um, your kiss cross as napkin rings. Yeah, incredible. Um, you should have that on your Christmas should table. Should do it, yeah. Yeah, kiss cross <laughs> napkin rings. £11.99. Yeah. The other two kits, guess what? Sold out. They've sold out. Yeah. Green, this is rapidly going the same direction. Um, we have got other colourways. I've got purples, got blues. I've got another pink variety, and I do have I some know, I know the three that are going to be the most popular already. That yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's hard to choose. They're all beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. What are you doing, Ross? Oh, bless you. Oh. And, oh, and it's going to have a knock-on effect with the other bundles. That's what Ross just said. They're all available on pre-order. Oh, no. So what? What you're taking this to, you're taking the other bundles to. I said, yeah, let's really? do it. Oh, that's... So you know what you said at the beginning of the, uh, 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 of us showing the kits? You were actually oh. saying, okay, so try and get all the colours, yeah. stock up on your 15 bundles, we rarely ever see them. This is achievable And you'll now. be surprised just how long they last as well. You'll just, so, I've, so that's the gold. You can't really see, can you? So I've got the gold and the silver, which is what I use for the set that um, we've got with the gold stone coming up. And I've got two thirds of the gold and half a tube of the silver. Wow. And I've made a, and I said, and I've made a complete and utter whole suite, earrings, everything. And I've got so many left. They just, I love 15 O's so much. Yeah, and, and they are They're a so great cute. alternative yeah. to, say, your precious metals Absolutely. as well. Yes. I use them. Yep. I actually use these more than I do yep. spaces now. Like you said, they don't tarnish. They don't tarnish, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah. you haven't got to worry about it, especially alongside something like your pearls. Mm. And this is going to have a knock-on effect with all the other bundles. Really? So, Even the metallic? The galvanised? Oh, no. The, the remaining kits are going under £10. There you go. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those as well. Um, they're all available on the website. If you're not shopping with us on the website, it's not a problem. You can phone up and speak to our amazing call centre. Um, they are UK-based. Um, just say, you know, mention which, which bundle you want. I know they are showing mm. at £20.99 or £16.99. Uh, verbally, I'm saying it out loud. That will change. The, the remaining kits are going to the same £9.99 price tag. Um, so you can shop ahead and pre-order and guarantee yours. 0800 655 oh, is the free phone telephone number. Gets you straight th through to our wonderful call center um, team. And yeah, then you can just sit back and enjoy the demo then, can't you? Uh, uh, it's one post and packaging. We're oh. not a shopping channel that charges postage and packaging per item. One postage and packaging per day. Well, Mark, which one next? Okay, so we've done this one, haven't we? We've done that one. Yeah. Yep. So let's, let's go in order. Should we go in order? Should we go to... And then we'll do... This, this one, I love this this oh. colourway. So beautiful. You mentioned about Kunzai. You know where yes. we're going? Yeah, yeah. It's a very Kunzai s colour palette. I like using your Kiss Cross just to display yeah. everything. I, I've used the darker of the three, I think, in this necklace here. With the, one of the greens from oh, yes, earlier here. as well. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. see. So it's a delicate. It's just oh, beautiful. Isn't that, isn't that stunning? Love you know piece. where it's going to. <laughs> 50 of each of these bundles. So they are quite limited. Never done exclusive 15 no bundles before. <laughs> we won't again either. <laughs> well, we're not going to have any left, are we? No, not, so not only did we steal the product from <laughs> Top Notes, um, mm -hmm. we've also taken it under £10. Yeah. Per tube are normally about 7 so oh, you're dear. getting a great deal. <laughs> Even if you're not a seed beader, like I said, there's so many uses for um, your trusty 15 O's. Yeah. Just, just pop 20 on a, on a featherweight head pin, the most beautiful earrings. Yeah. Really simple. Really, no, really I love them. Absolutely love them. gorgeous. Um, the colours you can see, you've got a really lovely, uh, it's a raspberry colour. Um, in terms of the description, I don't know if they say them on the tubes. Let me have a little look, let me have a little look. Uh, so you've got rose apex. Then I assume that's the raspberry just there. And lastly, you have 
um, how is that described? Pink, pink, pink lined, yeah, just pink, pink lined. Yeah, yeah. Um, amazing. Hello, Alison, saying can't resist 15 O's. And what a beautiful range of yeah. colours. We've got everything, I think, in here. We haven't got a black, I think, no. but everything else we've got. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, hi, Nikki. Yes. That's a crazy price. I've got my board set up. I'm ready for micro kiss cross. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nikki. I still haven't got over, Nikki, that train. I know, that, it's incredible. That CB it? train. Yeah. Just amazing, yeah. isn't it? Uh, hello, Alison, saying uh, those oh, will yes. also be lovely against the rhodochrosite cabochons. Yes. You can get very, very, very intricate, delicate little bead cuddle with using 15 hours. Ah, and you almost replicate. Yeah. You could, yeah. you know, um, literally follow the patterning of the road across mm. site with the, with, yes, with, with the seed right. beads, couldn't you? Yep. Amazing idea. Hello, Pauline saying, oh, Mark, thank you. I love working mm. with 15 O's and Delicas. You're oh, a star. Bless you. He's a naughty star, though, aren't he? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we're not meant to do this. No. Amazing. Um, okay, this Love one this next. One. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep. Yeah. These oh, have, no, have flown they. on pre-orders. I can see why. We had sixty-five of this bundle. I've got nineteen left. Yeah, Gosh. they have proven to be really popular. They're lovely. They're uh, orchid tones. They are orchid, aren't They're they? They're lovely. Yeah, yeah. So mm. you have your opaque luster dark orchid. Let me see if I can see them. That's that one. Yeah. yeah. Then you have Smoked Amethyst AB, and yes. then, which is stunning, and then you have your Lilac, uh, oh, sorry, Duracoat Silver Lined Dyed Lilac. So pretty, pretty, pretty colour palette. Um, I don't know, I'm really seeing like quite mm. festive creations. So this, this uh, I think we've shown this earlier, this is little stations of Swarovski that I, that I've, this necklace has been on air so many times. I love it. But all of this little space in between, they're all 15 O's as well. It just makes a really delicate, lightweight piece of jewellery. That's that such a lovely very piece high of end. jewellery. And as you said, it's not going to tarnish. It's nope. never, ever, ever going to tarnish. So it's just beautiful. Love, I love that. this piece of jewellery. Yeah, me too. That's stunning. Yeah. Absolutely. It's so wearable as well. 9 99 We had 65 of this bundle, but they're absolutely flying. And you've only got three more bundles to bring you. I've got the golds, the more bronzy colours, and then the blues. Um, so, But you can shop ahead on yours as well using your free phone telephone number. Hello, Jane saying, not supposed <laughs> to buy any more sea beads. But who can resist no. at these daft prices? No. Thank you all. And you look at other places at their prices of 50 no's, you will be gobsmacked, some of the prices. As I've, I've had to buy, for during, during COVID, I had to buy a tube for a project that I couldn't complete. Yep. And it was 15 pound for the tube. Wow. So, yeah, this, this is ridiculous. So the fact that we're bringing yeah. three tubes for 9 99 yeah. yeah. These have almost oh, these sold out. bronzy tones. I love this colour palette. Yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it? Again, I can just see the three kings in those, yeah. in those palettes. Uh, so you've got silver line dyed amber, amber gold, matte metallic dark bronze, and topaz gold luster. Mm, sure. um, all in your, oh, Mark, look at that. So th these, this is like my earrings, isn't yeah, it, that you made yeah. for me? But that, um, we always talk about the zircon yeah. and, the, and the topaz we've had this week. Yes. Just, just replicate it with the, with the micro. Yeah, so if you instead of, I mean, these have got Swarovski in them, haven't they? Yes, so, yeah. but my earrings were made mm. out of the gum, right, weren't they? Right. And I wear them yeah, all the time, yeah. and it's literally, yeah. literally, I don't know, about an inch. Little section, that's why. Right. So pretty. Ah. Sold out, well done. <laughs> Blues next. Blues next. Leaving the gold still yeah, last. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They've almost yeah. sold out already on pre order, so. Um, in terms of colorways, you have just here um, your oh. blue apex, then you have. Your Mayuki Montana Blue, Gold Luster, and then you have your uh, mm. Matte Silver Lined Med Blue Apex. Is that right? So this necklace here I've used 6mm Jadeite, and I've used the middle of the three tubes. And I've, this, 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 I call it the hot air balloon technique, where you just take a, a row of beads back through, back through, back through, and you get this little sort of outer edge around the beads. Beautiful. But just, just, just this one colour, choosing you know a gemstone that matches and just makes beautiful jewellery. Really, really delicate. Yeah. And because they're so fine, they don't add any weight to your jewellery. So no, you they're can, not so bulky, are they? you've got a heavy they? piece of jewellery, mm. you can add all of these beadwork and intricacy, but it doesn't add to the to the weight or the volume at all. Um, blue is still one of our most popular colours, it is. isn't it? Whether it's uh, sea beading, whether it's a genuine gemstone, yeah. blue always is incredibly popular. And I can see by that by the call screens. Um, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if every single one of these bundles 
sell out if they haven't already done so. I've, this is your penultimate bundle, so I've got one more to bring you. I've got now, this, this next bundle, that price is for each tube. Yeah, because they're galvanised, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. 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 Goodness me. They're gold plated and galvanised. 33. Silly, silly, per silly tube. Money. Amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, the last. <sighs> <laughs> they already have sold out on pre-order, okay. Oh, no. Um, I knew they would. I mean, we were still going to match that amazing price tag. In fact, we could have probably yeah. sold this three times over. Yeah. Look, we shouldn't have had them at all. So. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, Mark. I know. That right there. So you, can you can replicate that. Oh. Yeah. And that's what I... So the um, if I bring this across, this is the... And we've got... Look, 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 look. And we've got this strand coming up. So this is the, a meter of the blue gold stone, which I've used with the gold and silver from that last bundle to make the suite Beautiful. of your jewelry there. And that kiss cross, if I just move the necklace round, the, the necklace goes all the way around to the back with a clasp. So you can get one, two, three, four, five, six sections of kiss cross, plus the earrings and the beading in between. And we've got this strand coming up as a little special from Ross. A metre long length. Yes, Ross has, uh, yeah. uh, has actually uh, found that. OK, so what is Kiss Cross? So Kiss Cross is um, a name that I made up mm -hmm. because I didn't like the term tubular knitting. It just sounded a bit... Yeah. Uh, a bit mm. So Kiss tubular. Cross... Tubular. <laughs> it is, a, yeah, it's mm. quite clinical, isn't it? It's a it? bit... Mm. <laughs> yeah, tubular. So I called it Kiss Cross because when you look at a piece of tubular netting, you get the crosses and when when you give somebody a greetings card you always put a cross in a kiss it has that same connotation so i've called it the kiss cross nice. you say so that's how it, that's how the name came about but, it, but it's a form of tubular netting and i've done it in all sizes i tend to do if i'm using a six millimeter round yeah i use eight o's and eleven o's okay but this i've called micro kiss cross because i've gone down in size okay and this is even more micro because normally you would use in your basic tubular netting you would use an 11 uh sorry an 8 -o bead where the cross meets in the center yeah and then you'd use 11 so you'd use two sizes when you go to micro kiss cross you replace the 11 with sorry you, re you replace the 8 with an 11 mm -hmm. and your 11 with 15s okay but with this it's all 15s oh love so it. i've so really got even even more time i love it this and is, you can see lovely. the difference though completely yeah, yeah because sometimes if you're using a central bead it stands out yes it does yes which i've done on here i think i've used uh, have i log i think i used a larger bead i don't know have center. you Let's have a little have a look, look. Uh, yes. 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 So, the, so the bead in the centre is at an 11 o, and then I've used 15 o's around the outside. It's very difficult to see when they're on mass like this, but um, but I'm going to use all 15s for this. It's just amazing. Lovely. Absolutely it's lovely. amazing. Okay, take it away. And of okay. course, any questions, do message us. We are live in the studio. Oh. The strand that Mark's using is gold. Is it sold out already? Um, oh, okay. Not been on pre-order. We'll do it right now. We've opened the graphics. Ooh. You get a metre long length, four mil. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, is that going to make you lots of kiss cross? Masses. Masses. There we go. Masses. Hold for the um, for the little station necklace, I would I would only you. Where is the little station? Here we go. If I bring this across here, so with this little station here, you you need eleven beads. So you need nine for the little beaded bead section yeah. and then one either side just to make it look look nicer so you need you, know, you only need 11 of those okay so ross can you divide a thousand by four? Oh, it's 250 isn't it so you're going to get you're going to get 250 beads on that strand and you need you need 11 so you'll be okay. able to get at least 23 24 of those wow. stations yeah. well let's bring the price on your screen because there are loads of people on the web and on the phone lines for this <laughs> yeah, yeah. On, on, on the back of the bundles, you're going to get the strand for under ten pounds too. How amazing! That's ridiculous. How amazing! Honestly, for the because if I if I was selling that necklace and the earring set, I'll probably have that on my stall for seventy five pound, mm. something like that. And I've used in these in these bigger sections here. I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. So I've used thirty four, thirty five beads in each of those little sections, and they probably only took me. 20, 25 minutes each section, so it's not that time consuming. But, but, but you can do that. You can sit there like little little uh, modules, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, that's what I do. I make I make all the modules first. Yeah. Which which takes the longest time, and then you, you can put a, ne a necklace together in ten minutes once yeah. you've got all your little bits and pieces together. Amazing. Right. So if I've never made Kiss Cross before, 
Yeah, yeah. Is it achievable? Really simple. It's the most simple sea beading technique there is. I think it's even easier than peyote, I think. Okay. I really do think that. So all we need now is your wildfire. Yeah, so the... I'm using hobnob, which is the forest green. And yeah. I've gone for hobnob because I didn't want it to show up in the necklace pieces. So it's, it, it'll disappear. And I'm using size 12 tulip needles. The only stipulation, if you are using size 15 O's, you will need a size 12 needle. Okay. Um, you can get through once at a push with a size 10, but we're going to be doing multiple passes. So okay. you will need a, a finer needle. Well, just keep your eye on the graphics because we'll be uploading items as well for Amazing. you, like your needles and your, and, and your, your beading threads. Okay. On the last show we did, Ross did a silly, silly deal on tulip needles, which, which I think we all got into trouble about. So. Oh, did we? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. You can do as many bead widths as you like with your um, tubular netting, but I always, I've never done more than three. I always do three. Okay, so if we make a little station, so that's three, that's six, and that's nine. Okay, so that's going to make your little station. But obviously, if you want to make your tube longer, you just re keep repeating the same technique. So as I said, I'm going to go all 15s as we're doing a 15 -0 showcase, and I'm going to use the silver and the gold. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, as I said, we've got our beads and our groups of threes. Now this is the same for if you're using six millimeters or eight millimeters, obviously you'll need to change the number and the sizes of your seed mm -hmm. beads that you put in between. Okay, so we take one of our gold stones, which is easier said than done, and I'm gonna go with silver kisses and the gold cross to start. Wow. So in between each of our three beads, we're going to pop a 50 note. And again, if you're using gemstones, you, again, and 50 notes, you just need to be aware that sometimes the gemstone holes might be quite large and the, the 11 o might the 15 o might pop inside so if that's the case just go up to an 11 o okay. to go in between your gemstones okay so i've got my three 15s and my three gemstones okay so all we're going to do is going to slide those down leave a little tail that's all that's going to come off at the end so it doesn't have to be too long and we're going to make a single knot followed by another single knot. Now, because the 15 O's are quite small, you, you don't need a very big knot in between, otherwise you won't get the needle through. Okay, so just two knots is absolutely fine. So this is the one and only time that you will add seed beads and a gemstone at the same time. Okay. okay? So the, the fundamental rule with, with tubular netting is you add your seed bead row then your gemstone row, your seed bead, your gemstone, you never ever add them at the same time. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get away from the knot, so I'm going to sew through the, eleven, through the, the seed bead, and I'm going to go through the next gemstone, and I'm going to go into the little seed bead that's in between. So now I'm ready to start, okay? So this first row is going to be a seed bead row, and what we need to do is we need to cover the exterior of the gemstone. So it's all, to, to begin with, it's trial and error. So you, you put on a number of beads on your needle, marry it up. If it's too many, you take some off. If it's not enough, you, you add. Okay, mm -hmm. so for this, for the four mil round, using 15s, you'll need the following. So the kisses, I'm, I'm using the silver, and for the crosses, I'm using gold. So I'm going to pick up three gold, one silver, three gold. And I'm going to take my needle around the gemstone into the next silver. Okay, so it makes this little arc, it makes this little surround around the outside. And then we're going to do it a second time. So three gold, one, two, three. I have to say though, this technique, it's once you get it, it's very, very addictive. I've probably got more pieces of Kiss Cost jewelry in my boxes at home than any other technique at all. Because it's just, it's, and it just makes the most beautiful jewelry and the simplest of techniques. So just take the needle through. So it's three, one, three. You're always going to follow that combination. So you can see it makes that another little arc around the outside. Very Alhambra. Yes. Um, we put the 12 needles, size 12 needles on your screens for 7 99 Oh, but that's not the no. price we did last week. There are 100, <laughs> less than 100. You did, Ross, yes. Ross is saying, we did say last week that it was a one-time deal, but... It's going to match it again. So, so you haven't learnt your lesson then? No. <laughs> we can't have many left at that price then. Less than 100. Oh, okay. 
Oh, you sold over 200. So for the money that you've just saved on all of those bundles, snaffle a couple of packs of these needles. These are the perfect needle for a size 15. Well, I'm intrigued. What did you do? Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Never lower than 7.99 ever. So no. even if you've got them in your stash, you might as well get them. You always grab a level couple of packets, yeah. 4.99, I, I see why you said what you said. Mm. Um, yeah. There you go. We have less than 100, though, so... Is it known as fill your boots? Is that fill, what they yes. say? Yeah. As they yeah. say, yes. OK. OK, so I've done my second arc. This is, this is called an arc, the beads around the outside. So I'm going to do my third. So th exactly the same combination. Three gold. So one, two, three. One silver and three gold. One, two, three. And I'm going to go round the outside into the next silver bead. It's like, like, like you said, it's like the Alhambra, isn't it? So you've got this, this I think that's cute on its own. Lovely. Okay, so once you've done the three arcs, this is the trickiest bit, okay? okay? You have to do what's called a step up. So you've got three silver beads on the inside, mm. and you've got three silver beads on the outside. It's, it's weird, because I want to say the three corners, but you don't have corners in a triangle. It sounds really strange, but you've got three outer silver beads, and at the moment, I'm coming out of the silver interior bead. So all I'm going to do, and this is why you need a size 12, because we're going to go through these, uh, these 15s again. So we're going to take the needle through the three gold and exit through the silver. So we're coming out at the point. Can you see the yeah. needle coming out at the top? Okay, so that's our C bead row. And what we're going to do now, because we remember we don't do both together, is I'm going to do the gemstone row. So we've got our three silver beads on the exterior in the three corners. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a gemstone, because this is the gemstone row. We're going to jump all the way across the two gemstones to get to the next exterior silver bead. And we're going to pull. And can you see it pops up? It forms a little nest. You can already see how quickly this technique takes form. Then we're going to pick up gemstone number two. Found the holes. I don't want to lean forward because my head will get in the way. There we go. So again, I'm jumping from the corner bead to the following outside corner. I'm going to take my needle through just the silver, pulling nice and tight, and then we're going to do the same with the third. Now, when we've done a gemstone, we don't do a step up. So again, I'm going to jump the gap. Once you've done a couple of rows, the gemstones actually tell you what to do. They so they sit in the right place. Okay, so pull that nice and tight. So you can see now that this, we've already got our, our, our six beads, but we've only got half the kiss cross pattern. We've got this sort of row of Vs at the moment, can you see? So what we're going to do is we're going to do, because I want to make a, 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 a row of gold crosses and a row of silver crosses, I'm going to stay with the routine from this section. So that's going to be three gold, one silver, three gold, one, two, three. I'm going to go round the outside of the gemstone into the silver. This is why it's, it's quite nice to use two different colours because you can see exactly where you want to go. Okay, so that's the first. The arc is sitting round the top gemstone. Then three gold. So one, two, three gold. One silver, three gold. Round the outside into the 15 silver. And then we'll do our third row. So one, two, three, one silver, three gold. So it's always going to be the combination three, one, three. So we go around the outside into the silver. So we've done our three arcs. And then we're going to do our step up. Okay, so do you remember we continue up to the outside corner. So we're just going to sew through the three, 15 in gold and exit through the silver. So we know now that we've just done our seed bead rope, so it's back to the gemstones. So you can actually use your fingers to make the little cups yeah. for the gemstones to sit in. Can you see? So we pick up our next gemstone, jump the gap into the outside silver. Pull that nice and tight. Get the tail out of the way. And then we'll do the next section. So that's the next gemstone. 
jump the gap. So that step up is such a tiny little move. And if you, do it, if you don't do the step up, you'll see within seconds that you've gone wrong and you're just reversing okay. and, do the, and do the step up. So it's not going to ruin the whole piece of jewelry. And then we're going to jump the gap into the next silver. Pull that nice and tight. Okay, just pull, and then you can see that we've got our first kiss cross. Beautiful. So this, in effect, is your kiss cross station. So that's this? That's on what's the on the earrings, yep. So all I've done is I've taken a head pin, and I've popped on a 15-0, as you can see at the bottom, and then I've, ta I've taken one of the, the gold stones, then a 15-0, which... Did, what I've, the, the reason I've put a 15-0 in, it just stabilises your station. If you look at the top, you've got the little station, then you've got a gold bead before the next... Mm. So that, that little 15, it just holds everything in position, yeah. okay? So if you wanted to do stations, you just make lots of these and tie them off. If you wanted to do a, a whole tube, you would just continue with, um, as you can see on the necklace there, I've, just, I've used 11 rows with the little station I've just made. I've used nine, I've used three rows. This has got 11 rows. And you can see really well here, I started with the gold, two rows, then I've changed and done two rows of silver then two gold, silver, gold, or you can alternate. You can, you can have a real play around if oh, you want yes, to. Oh, yes, I didn't see. notice that before. Yeah, so, so, so with the little demo I've just done, next I would, do, I would then go on to three silver, one gold, three silver just for two rows, and then just okay. alternate the crosses. But once, once you've watched the show, just go back on YouTube and watch this again, <laughs> and just, just have a practice with your 50 nos because I, I, I expect a lot of people who've bought them this morning have never worked with them before. Mm -hmm. so, and as I said, you'll, that you'll just get hooked on these so much. So I would just make little stations first, and then go ahead and carry on with it. You've also got the bracelets there. Yes. Yeah. So this is just exactly what I've just done, but I've just made longer sections. And I've just taken a bit of, of beading thread through. Exactly it's the so same. pretty. And to finish off your stations, um, this is really simple. because There's no tying off. All you're going to do is you're just going to work all the way around, probably twice, and then you'll get to a point where your needle won't go through the bead anymore. Okay. So you just cut your thread. There's no tying off. There's no making knots. There's no doing anything. So you just take your needle. So I reckon you could probably go around at least once if you're using a size 12. And then when you get to the point where you can't get the needle through that 15-0 anymore, cut the thread off. Okay. So it couldn't be easier finishing and tying off. And then do the same with the other side. So because I've knotted that, if you want that extra stability, pop a needle on and just take it round the base a couple of times. But I've not done that. I've just cut that. That knot is secure enough just for me to cut. And, uh, and then away you go. So, so make lots of stations and then make your piece of jewellery or just make one continuous. Oh loop would just be beautiful just so love it. beautiful just love it. it's, as i said is of all the sizes for for kiss cross i think the 15 o's are the most beautiful yes are the most beautiful i've got a bracelet over here using the the purple as well oh yes we haven't there shown we that one have yeah. we it's uh, and it's such a popular yeah. such a popular and uh um guess technique that's what that is oh my goodness hang on is that aquamarine nope Topaz? Nope. You're not going to say Grandidurite? I am. <laughs> Grandidurite? Yeah, yeah. They're three millimetre round, so they're even smaller. Oh, we got some three mil as well? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Um, these are the, uh, uh, the style that you made me. They are. They're yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, I wear them all stunning. the time. Yeah. So it's a really nice way of using all of your smaller gemstones that mm. you've got at home alongside your CB pieces. Now, we've got a little, a little showcase of three mils. Oh, fantastic. So, <gasps> sorry, four oh, mils amazing. and then three. Brilliant. Um, so, uh, these are long strands Ooh, as well. So, I'll be fantastic. quite quick with these. So, with each of these strands you're about to bring now, you can make a full necklace and earring set. Amazing. At a ridiculous price. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. They're flying out already. Is the goldstone gone? Goldstone's gone. Ten left. Uh, well, yeah. ten. There's ten of them left. Right. So massively over allocated. Natural red jasper. I mean, imagine these with the gold. Imagine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine. I'm just going to borrow this bracelet again. Imagine that, but with the red running through. How beautiful. Um, amazing, amazing. Right now, let's bring you multicolored amazonite. You've made a necklace out of the amazonite. Uh, you? With the blue, I've used. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hang so that's. On this is just the the the, the blue. Yeah, I think, I think this is the Russian and that's Peruvian, I might be wrong. I don't yeah, know uh, you've got the different yeah. shades within this. Love so it. this is much more like the neutral yeah, yeah. colours. Chinese, yeah. Um, 
There's only 20 of these. You get in a full meter long length, lots of variety of color as well. So if you wanted to, you can, you could, you could. You literally... can, you can make colored, colored stations. Yeah, you could, yeah. you could single out the colors. You don't have Amazing. to use them all together, could you? Yeah. Ten pounds for so Amazonite. <laughs> Amazing, Amazonite, beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Imagine that with the powder yeah. pinks. And I would go for the multicolored over the single color any day of the week. Yeah. Love it. I absolutely love. Is it the because of the variation yeah. you get from it? Yeah. And the fact that you've got the grays and the blacks and the browns, you've got everything in that one strand. It's just, it's just lovely. It is lovely. I totally agree. If you wanted to set, like I say, separate the color, mm. uh, separate out the colors, you can do that. You could, you could do an ombre rope. Oh, beautiful! Oh, mm. I like the idea of that. Gold or with the powder pinks for contrast. Yeah. I think that would be amazing. Um, Terra Jasper oh. next, which we really ever, ever, ever see. This is a pretty strand. Oh, look at that. Uh, meter long length. Um, it's going under ten. That's stunning. I remember that us launching Terra Jasper. Yes, do you remember? It was an immediate success, wasn't yeah. it? Because you get a matrix pattern quite similar to that that you find in um, in your turquoise. Um, it's beautiful, and Jasper holds dye um, really, really well. So yeah, a gorgeous, almost lapis-like appearance, but without the uh, so the flecks of pyrite. You've actually got some really beautiful, uh, um, yeah, magical patterns across the uh, across the surface. A genuine gemstone. Um, straight away, people getting involved. Love that cobalt blue. Um, we haven't got many of these, and they are proving popular. Dave, sorry, Zena, Andrea, J. Marie, uh, Jan. You've got yours. Well done. Um, to wrap it wow. up, Go am on. I meant to have this much? <laughs> How much am I meant to have? Two meters. Oh gosh. Oh, it's a two meter strand. So I would just do that. Just make, you know, six, seven, eight coiler, just using 15 O's with the Mukai. I think oh. it would be stunning. I mean, how many yeah. of these do you think you can make? I know, I know. <laughs> tons Crazy. and tons. Two meters of natural Mukite. Yeah. One locational, beautiful gemstone. I love Mukai, especially this time of year. It's just comfort. It's just comforting in its warm, wonderful, natural colours. Yeah, lovely. I think a lovely idea using, uh, using your memory wire. How many do we have of these? 42. It's not many. Our, do you remember when Mukai only used to be 38 uh, centimetres? Yes. Yeah. Now, then we did a metre. Now, frankly... Taking liberties here, aren't we, with two metres? <laughs> £24.99. pence. So that's Mad. what? Uh, over five strands? Is that right? Uh, dead on. Five strands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of, our, of our usual 38 centimetres. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, OK, should we do a bundle Ooh. of three mils? <gasps> yes, please. Something yeah. like that. Oh, my goodness me. This is So we spoke about... Yeah. The luxury that is Grand Didierite, yeah. like Zircon. Well, this bundle has Tanzanite. Yeah. And you can get a Tulip 12 needle through these. Wait, wait what did you say it is? Turquoise and Amethyst. So your size 12 needles will go yeah, through yeah. these. So your Tulip will. You you can can your beadsmith won't, but your Tulip will. You can literally do what you've just yeah. demonstrated. Yeah. But what I would do, instead of having 313, I would do 212. Oh. And they work perfectly with the threes. Wow. And all of a sudden you're working with, you know, high-end genuine gemstones. Look yeah, at the quality yeah. of the tanzanite, the quality of the turquoise, the quality of the amethyst. I've never kissed cross with tanzanite before. Haven't you? No, no. Wow. I'm surprised by that because mm. if, if anybody yeah. would have thought you'd have been able to, oh, let's be honest, we don't see That's, it very often. The three together sizes. just just, just re-threaded. This little stack of bracelets. Yeah, look beautiful. Yeah, they? stunning. £10 per strand. Not one of those should be £29.99, let, let, let alone £10 each. 32 wow. carats um, of your tanzanite you're seeing here. I, I can't see the carat weight of the other gemstones, but of course it will have all the details listed for you. Um, <laughs> £10 each. <laughs> that made it, I didn't make any sense. What do you mean? <laughs> Shall we go £10 each and one for free? Well, we're already at £10 each. I don't get it. Oh, so you buy two and get one for free. Goodness me. If these don't sell out, I would be absolutely stunned. Can you imagine? And I am thinking about these Grand Didierite earrings now. Um, would I have enough to make these, Mark? 
Absolutely. Oh, well, in Tanzanite. Brand, yeah, you would. Yeah. In Tanzanite, in uh, turquoise, in mm -hmm. amethyst. Oh my goodness, that would be absolutely beautiful. That's basically. Now I'm not. I'm not even going to say buy two strands. You get one free because that is Tanzanite. This one on its own, by the way. We've actually got it in this hour. We're not going to bother bringing it to you because you might as well buy this bundle. Guess how much the strand is on its own? Mm -mm. 20 pounds. <laughs> so you're better off actually buying. <laughs> Here it is, I can actually show you. There you are. Oh. If you want to buy it on its own, what's the point though? It's 20 pounds on its own. You might as well get involved oh, with the gosh. bundle because you'll get the turquoise and the amethyst for free. So I tell you what, I'm going to skip that auction and move on to some multicolored spinel. Oh, I mean, the fact that we are also oh, two minutes Goodbye. away from chestnut clothes. You're going to absolutely love this. If you haven't seen it yet, it's beautiful. Um, Multicoloured wow. spinel with the gold, with the bronzes, yeah. with the purples. Yeah. All those pinks and purples we had earlier. Just be amazing. Look at that. A wonderful, pure, natural gemstone. You've got some wonderful cyan red spinels in there as well, which is, along with the cobalt, uh, um, wow. the rarest of the colours, completely and utterly natural. It, spinel should not be 9 No. You know, no. no disrespect, but black spinel shouldn't be 9.99, which is much more abundant. Natural coloured spinel from Burma should not be anywhere near what's on your no. screens right now. Um, again, have a little look on the GIA website. Um, if you Google uh, coloured spinel quality factors, GIA, put something like that into your search engine, and you'll see an article there, and they, they actually stipulate all the colours that are in here. They talk about the purity of, uh, uh, of, of saturation that you get from spinel, and they'll highlight they actually said red and cobalt blue they are the most expensive we well, here we are at 10 pounds each 10 pounds sorry not 10 pounds each 10 pounds for all of it no, amazing no. Um, this is one of my favorite strands of the year it's beautiful isn't yeah, it yeah it's so lovely oh this is so beautiful it's the popularity of yellow diamonds sapphires oh, yeah. has gone through the roof Yellow tourmaline, though, you don't often, you wouldn't normally include in that in that sort of conversation because it doesn't tend to have this canary yellow. And then we see something like this. Under what? <laughs> Close much higher. There's 50 oh, available. Okay. Shiny example. This is what tourmaline yellow tourmaline aspires to look like it's a type a three gemstone we expect it to have inclusions and yet with this amazing strand you've got wonderful clarity yeah. the intensity that, that it's, it's almost like um uh, like a sunflower mm. yellow it's it got is. an element of gold uh, running through it as well it literally basks and plays in the light it shouldn't be under 10 pounds it definitely shouldn't but we want to see canary yellow tourmaline kiss cross ne uh, bracelets mm. and necklaces like this okay. absolutely incredible oh what are your favorite strand of the year yeah without a doubt Without a doubt, when, I, when, we, when we launched it, I fell in love with it. It's, I've got it at home. I managed to get a couple of strands. It's beautiful. Have you done anything no, with them yet? No, 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 no. Is it going to be in your... I think so. Precious yeah. box. I took it out of the packet, so it's, it's, it's loose. It's just sat on my desk. I just love it. Well, something like this. Yeah. In, can you imagine this in springtime? Being worn at springtime or... We've got an amazing daffodil coming up in the we winter have. collection. This would be an amazing kiss cross with the daffodil suspended from the bottom. Beautiful. Yeah absolutely beautiful this i'd use alongside like your jadeites and your nephrites yes, and yeah. your olmex i think yeah. that would be absolutely stunning yeah. or with your black spinel oh. you put them together yeah. your bumblebees and gorgeous absolutely lovely. gorgeous um, amazing. I'm going to leave that yeah. one with you, everybody. Make sure you check out your baskets on that. But it is time. I'm so excited. Mark, um, yeah, this year we saw the launch of Chestnut Clothes. We did. So we've had spring, summer, autumn. And I, I came in this morning and I asked Dan if we could if we could even have the deal of the day desk this morning. So we're going to we're going to move across. Absolutely right. Full but works. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. These are simply stunning. And, and I'm just going to say to you, you're going to struggle to have a favourite because they're all absolutely beautiful. Mm. Um, if you haven't seen any of the chestnut close uh, collections before, we'll talk about how yeah. it how it kind of mm. manifested, what's it's all about, and the meanings and the emotions that go alongside it. Um, and also, sort of, you get to know Mark a little. 
little bit better, um, which is always wonderful. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you join us just the other side of this very short break. It is happening. It's been a long time coming. We're mm -hmm. so excited. Mark, I hope you're very Always. proud um, of this collection. It really is possibly my favourite mm. one yet. Um, don't go anywhere. Chestnut Close Winter Collection is happening after this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm delighted to announce that this Thursday, the 15th of December at 10 a.m., I am bringing to Jewelry Maker the final instalment of my Chestnut Close range. And as you can see behind me, you've guessed the season, it's all about winter. We've got six brand new pendants, including a mouse, mistletoe, a daffodil, and of course, the Christmas Robin. So that's this Thursday, 10 a.m. Join myself and presenter Eleanor with the launch of winter at Chestnut Close. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, please join me this weekend where I'm going to be bringing you developing news stories about Sarite as well as bringing you some Sarite opportunities. We're bringing you the story of the legendary Olmec Jadeite and some of the world's finest natural pearls. You're not going to want to miss this incredible show. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker Create, wear, share. How exciting, Mark! This is amazing. This is amazing. And I also very much understand. I, can, I you know, I know the emotions that you're going to be feeling right now, yeah. particularly yeah. this year. You know, mm. it's it's. 
It saw the launch of Chestnut Close, which has been so it's hugely been amazing. Received. And mum, and mum got to see the spring and summer launch, but yeah. unfortunately, she didn't get to see autumn or winter, which I think are her two favourite seasons. She used to love winter and snow, you know, cuddled up in at home with her mm -hmm. radio times and and going through and ticking off WWE wrestling and snooker. Wrestling. My, oh, did she like wrestling? You know, any sport my mum would watch. Fair play. <laughs> her mum was exactly the same. Wow, I love wrestling yeah. though. Of all the sports, yeah. I wouldn't and have... cycling, Tour de France. Oh yeah, like, she I never like answered it. the phone when Tour de France was on. Oh no, no, no! Don't disturb mum when Tour de France is on. And oh, I don't. I just. I know we've got a lot of Formula One fans out there. Yes. But I can't think of anything more boring no, than seeing me. a car going round and round a racetrack 50 times. Yeah, I, I know don't... Tom loves it as well. Tom yes. absolutely loves it. And that's that if was you put number one thing. Oh really? Formula one. If you put Formula One on for me, that's a short that's L's cue to fall asleep <laughs> on the sofa. Um, which oh, <laughs> isn't always possible when you've got Tiggy around, but yeah, that's my cue yes. to fall asleep. Yeah. Um, but what is Chestnut Close then? So for those people been, that maybe are new. Yeah, so um, I've told you the story many times, but it's a lovely story. I have been badgered now for three years to come up with a Mark Smith collection. Because you've you came up with a couple yes. of collections, haven't you? Yeah. And um, and I always A, I didn't have a project based that would that would warrant doing a whole collection, or to tell you the truth, I wasn't confident in my ability to put there you have said it now, my a collection together. And um, about a year ago, Caroline, who was responsible for helping me get the collection together, she said, what we need to do is we need to come up with a collection. What other hobbies do you have? And so I showed her some pictures from my garden. And she said, oh, it's staring you in the face. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, you've got something in flower every month. And I said, absolutely. Every single month, we've got something in flower in the garden. And she said, because you've got that amazing garden, you must have visitors coming in. And mm -hmm. I said, yes, all the time. And she said, Chestnut Close. And I said, well, let's call it summer at, spring at, winter at, Chestnut Close. So with each of the three month seasons, we've put together three fauna and three flora that are all from my garden. We've even got mistletoe. So we've got mistletoe in today's collection. We've got that in our close. So, and they're a parasitic plant, you see, mistletoe. Yeah, they are, yeah. You can't actually grow it, really. No. You, you can buy spores and embed it into bark, mm -hmm. but the bark has to be, you know, rotted enough, and it's quite tricky to grow. So, you, so if you've got you mistletoe... You see it, don't you, when you're garden, driving you're down the... Down really down clumps, clumps off round them, yeah. clumps, yeah. So, so we're lucky enough to have that in the garden. <laughs> yes. So we, so we had spring, summer, and autumn, and this is the winter. So we've got, again, we've got three flowers, and we've got three birds, and well, two birds and a little mouse today. So, so all of these are current, they're residing. In my garden. In how your garden. How lucky am I? Yes. You really so are. We, so we've had everything. I mean, what have we had? We've had bats. Yes. We've had squirrels. All the birds you can manage, and again, all the flowers. And, uh, and, and I'm a massive fan of winter. And because winter goes into February, yes. in February is when the daffodil bulbs start coming up and they start coming yeah. out. So, so you may think it's a bit odd having a daffodil as part of winter collection, but there's specifically, there's a, there's a variety called February Gold, which is a little dwarf yellow narcissi, yeah. little daffodil that comes out in February. And it's one of the earliest bulbs. So I thought, right, if that's, we've got that in our garden. So that's why we've incorporated not in spring, but in winter. This the tail I'm not surprised winter. they're the smaller ones because a gust of wind with the tall ones and they're that's over, a, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas the, the, the little uh, narcissi are yeah, much, more, right. much more robust, that's aren't it. they? Yeah. Um, yes, I think most people would maybe class a daffodil as a spring flower, but yeah. technically... It's, it's tail end of winter. Tail end of winter. Which is why we've got it in the winter collection. It's that first vision of spring, yeah. isn't it? And you think... Yeah. New dawn, it's all coming. Yeah, Mark, it's lovely. I mean, it's lovely. A, a long, so there's that, there's that wonderful story, but also flowers, flora and fauna have so many meanings in jewellery as Absolutely. well, don't they? So, so uh, if we go down the flowers, we've had a rose. Yes. We've had an iris. We've had a lily. So you've got the connotations with Christian names as well. And we have, whenever we launch a collection, we have so many people texting in saying it was my mum's favourite flower yeah. or my late grandma's favourite flower or my nan used to have these growing in a garden. So again, it's, it's, it's setting off all these old memories yeah. from, from our youth and growing up. So again, so every single piece has so many different meanings other than 
what the piece of generic jewellery looks like as well. Totally, so, so totally. I remember having that. It means like, a lot. I, well, absolutely. And I remember lo so many messages saying exactly mm. that. Um, mm. I, I know particularly with the with the, with the the rose. Yes. I was like, oh, yes, yeah. you know, that. my sister loved roses. So you kind yeah, of think of that. My dad's favourite. Uh, yeah. I look at the daffodils, but mm. for the first time, I'm like, that's my favourite flower. Mm. I love daffodils. Because well. they're just so cheery. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm going to say it, in the supermarket, you can pick up a bunch for a quid. Happy That's right. days. Now you could get them. Can you? In our, in our local Waitrose, they've got them. Yeah. Can you? They're £3 a bunch at the moment. But okay. Them. Yeah. But they'll, they'll, as you said, a pound a bunch. Pound a bunch. They're open within an hour of getting them home. Beautiful. Got a week's Who worth doesn't love great. a daff? <laughs> um, okay. Now, so this is, these have never been on air. No, this is a global today. exclusive. And as I said, they arrived in the country on Monday. So it's been a quick turnaround. Lots of, and bless Sam for taking all the amazing photographs. And we did that little VT from my garden. So it's all been because he wanted to do it today. We wanted to be able to bring it today so people could purchase them for gifts for Christmas. For Christmas yeah, absolutely. and guarantee. Well, absolutely. you saying that actually, yeah. I've, um, um, I've had it in my sort of my notes of list. I've got one more present that I need to buy, uh -huh. um, but I've I lost the code, so I'm right. really hoping it's still available. And that's the Poppy because my oh, okay. my best friend's daughter's called Poppy, uh -huh. and I want to get her that present. So fingers crossed. Right. Um, can we just before we mm. make everything opportunity yes. uh, available rather? Mm. Can we show everybody how they're packaged? Yes, for, absolutely. Certainly for a giftable point of view, you don't just want something in a little no. plastic bag, do you? Um, these are presented. They so are. So beautiful. And if anyone's if anyone's been buying throughout the collection, then this will all tie in together. So each piece comes in these little Hessian little bags, and we've, so the past bags have said spring, summer, and autumn. So we've got winter in chestnut close, and then in each you get these little cards. Look at this. That's my garden last winter. Do you remember Beast from the East a few years ago? I this, do remember Beast from the East. This was taken from Beast from the East, and it's worth so. Again, you get a little card, Winter with Mark Smith, and then each of the pieces, you get a little photograph, the name of the item. Normally, you get its Latin name as well, and then you get a little piece of information all about the, the piece you get as well. So you get everything. So you get, and if you didn't want to put it, if you are giving it a gift and you wanted to put it, maybe you wanted to add a necklace and put it in a gift box, mm. just tuck the little card somewhere yeah. inside and, and, and keep the bag for something else. So, so uh, the sentiment, yeah, just yeah, it, it just it just keep, keeps on coming, doesn't it? Yeah, and the feelings. Absolutely, yes, um, yes. I'm so excited. Which are we going to start with? So well, we're going to go in the order. So we're going okay. to do so December, January, February. So December, we've got the mistletoe. I love it. And which I think is going to be really popular. And we were talking about it at the beginning oh. of the show, the robin. Can so I move We've got move the mistletoe over? and the robin. Do you know, only because, oh my goodness me, mistletoe and the robin, so flora and fauna, fauna. They, yes. they go together. That's right. Do you know, when yeah. I saw this on the photograph, uh, they were, I was missing so much because this is articulated, it moves. It does. So yes. if you just yeah. bear with, look, the li little mistletoe berries yes. actually yeah. hang and then you've got that yeah. wonderfully, wonderfully festive uh, uh, red enameled sterling silver bow. It's Beautiful. stunning. I, I have to say, Mark, this is one of my mm. favourites. So we are literally yeah. starting at the top. I mean, mistletoe, you immediately think of the festivities, yeah. don't you? No, and I just absolutely. said, I want mistletoe. Right. Yeah. And in the spring and summer collection, we didn't have enamel. We launched a couple of pieces in there, like the poppy was enamel like yeah. in, in the autumn collection. And I've I fallen in love with enamel. I absolutely love it. And uh, so two of the pieces in the collection, we've got the blue tit and the mistletoe, both have enamel pieces so pretty. attached as well. And it, it just lifts, just lifts it. it it's, it's so elegant. Now we are yeah. launching winter at, uh, at Chestnut Close right now with the mistletoe. Um, we're going to bring the graphics in. I need to point out that these are Limited, did I Very, hear that? The whole collection is limited. Lim we, didn't, we didn't have enough time to get a lot in. We oh. probably wanted them in for Christmas. So. Yeah, so you do need to be quick. Please don't wait. Um, in terms of what's written on the card, let's read that out. Mistletoe. Um, so a plant of peace uh, and known as an honour for a tree. I can't read from there, sorry. Let me just turn this round. <laughs> it's too far away yeah, from I my eyesight. No, no. Can I flip this round? 
There we go. There you go. Right. Uh, so um, a plant of peace and known as an honour for any tree mm -hmm. it grows on. Oh, Absolutely. wow. So it's like a crown. Well, once you've got mistletoe in your, in your tree, it keeps away evil spirits from the tree and nasty. Oh. I think it's lovely. Amazing. Yeah. Um, according to ancient customs, after each kiss under the mistletoe, a berry is removed yes. until they are all gone. I didn't yes. know that custom yes. either. Absolutely. So every, every kiss, you remove a berry until it's all gone. Oh. Uh, what do you do when you run out of berries? There was also something else that I wanted to put on the card, but, but we didn't think it was it was the done thing. But apparently, if you if you put a piece of mistletoe under your pillow, mm -hmm. the person you dream about is the person you'll eventually marry. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love all these kind of yeah. these, these, these hidden yeah. stories. Mark, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So an honor to the tree. Um, we are about to open the auction and the showcase ultimately. Please know these are limited. We don't have sadly the quantities. I think we've that got I think we've got half the amount that we did for the autumn. Yeah. Purely because we didn't have the time to do it to get oh. a huge amount in. But it is available and you can grab yours right now, just be as quick as you possibly can. You've got beautiful the berries are literally seed pearls. So all genuine pearls. To, to, to get, I, was, oh. I, said, I like the articulation, the movement you get with it. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Plus so you have um, your white uh, zircon round brilliant cut as well. So they're actually within. Can you see just yes, in the little the leaves? leaves. Yeah. Just the end of the leaves. Um, the mistletoe with that red, uh, red enameling. I'll hold it up to the neckline in a few yeah. moments time so you can get an idea of scale. It's stunning. And again, the, the fact that it, yeah. it comes so beautifully presented. You know, can you imagine? This was the first one I gravitated to Mark and I was like oh my gosh can you imagine wearing this yeah. on Christmas day I mean how perfect none of this range is small of the pieces no. I've, I've just had a look now they're all they're all quite sizable but that's just that's that's just lovely isn't it not well, not just not just for December and January either I it's don't beautiful think. it's absolutely beautiful and there's the romance behind mm. the mistletoe you know the songs have been written about mistletoe yeah, you know okay. so pretty and you think December think of plants most of us immediately straight away will think about about either mistletoe or maybe a poinsettia yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. um, but this is the most uh, most obvious mm. now half the stock is immediately gone no, I've no idea pricing wise. Obviously, I've not had time to look into that, so this will be all new to me as well. Two wow. grams of sterling silver. Amazing. I love it. It's the enamel With the for seed me. Pearls. I love that, that hint of red just, just brings it alive, doesn't it? It's, it do it's, does. Well, it, turns, it, 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 it shows that it's a festive mm. piece, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. It yeah. shows that it's literally all about winter. This is the most uh, um, exclusive season of Chestnut Close. Straight away, in-house design has got hers. Well done, Anne. Oh. How lovely. Oh. Multi-buyers. I mean, how beautiful would this be to gift? How amazing. And it's, yeah, okay, it's, it, it, mistletoe, yes, it is, I guess, associated to Christmas, but it doesn't have to be. It no, might just be not. your favourite time of the year. Yep. Which I think many people have those. You can, you can wear it throughout, January, throughout December and January. So, yep. so for a period, and as I said, the, the point of, of having, in effect, 24 pieces well, that for each month you've got two pieces of jewellery to wear. Oh, you know, beautiful. For two weeks or alternate the days. You know, it's always in, it's always there at the right time. It's I mean, lovely. Mark, when when I see think of mistletoe, for me, mistletoe. Yes, obviously there's there's a Christmas side of things, mm. but it always reminds me of the drive down to my parents because when mm. I drive to my parents' house, um, literally on that you've got the big tall trees either side of the motorways and course, things like that, yeah. and you can see the little clusters of mistletoe. So it mm. always reminds me of that drive. No, there's no, lots no. of emotions when it comes to you know the birds, especially plants absolutely so they conjure up mem uh, memories we've got some messages for you Ellen in Sussex is saying beautiful Mark thank you it Ellen. is beautiful um, another from Avon saying Mark thank you for sharing your garden uh, through your charms they are beautiful they say so, they say so much about you um, with the love you have put into these absolutely yeah and you know we, we you know I don't want to be, to, to be sad but it's, I really wanted my mum to see autumn and winter 
She'll be, she'll be watching it from somewhere. Of course she will. She'll have a little remote. Of course she will. Probably yeah. with, you've got, you've, you've got uh, what's it, the Grand Prix on in the background. Grand Prix on the background, yeah. Of yeah. course she yeah. will. She'll be very proud of you, Mark, for oh, sure. Um, hello, Caroline. Good morning, lovelies. Mark, um, I have some of each oh, season. I put French mistletoe in my daughter's oh, wedding bouquet. Nice How beautiful. What a lovely idea. Because you think of mistletoe because, it, because it's a parasitic plant that, that, that lives in trees. That it's a it's a not very nice plant, but it's such good luck. Yeah. Such, that's why we have it in our house over Christmas, you know, to ward away spirits, and we kiss under it and wish people well. And ah, uh, oh, you know, I need to go and find some mistletoe. You won't have to take the berries off of this piece every kiss. No, no, oh, definitely <laughs> not. You put the berries back, please. They're genuine cultured pearls. Yeah. We are not stopping oh. at ninety nine pounds. Oh. No, no, in the mark. Because we, we would like people to be able to maybe uh, sort of pick and choose oh, across amazing. the entire winter collection. Wow. Thirty nine ninety nine is amazing. Oh, oh. It's beautiful. We've actually tried to mm, find yes, mistletoe. We couldn't find no. Any. no, we couldn't find very many at all. No. No. And the fact that we've got a bunch, not just one. Because sometimes on pieces of drawing you get, you, get, you get one berry and two little leaves. Yeah, but um, to get a whole sprig like this, I think it's, I think it's lovely. So beautiful. All that, over mm. two grams mm. of sterling silver as well. People mm. are multi-buying. You can see this, the, the silver if you flip it round to see the back. Mm -hmm. And yeah, obviously you get that, the sterling bale as well. And we've just, we've just popped on a, a little curb Oops, chain. Hang on. But you can see it at the back. It's just Oh gorgeous, yeah, there's a hu absolutely yeah. gorgeous mark. Yeah. Thank you so much, says Glenda. They're absolutely oh, stunning. You. you can also see as well. There's, you know, where there's the little spaces in the in the silverwork. That's where you have a beautiful zircon. Yes. Um, it's stunning the movement. Um, Suzanne's just got four. Zena, well done in Yorkshire. Shirley, Catherine, Veronica, Bridget, Wiltshire, Pauline, Edna, Merseyside, Patricia, West Midlands. Uh, Shirley, new customer. Pauline, new customer. Victoria. Hampshire, Amy, Karen, do make sure you check out. We have, did you say 50? Mm, yeah. 50 available opportunities. Do you want to know how many we have left? Yeah. <laughs> There are 14 yeah. remaining. Um, it's the most exclusive season yeah. that uh, that Mark's ever um, ever launched. But you know what? Those of you that are successful in them, I think it's. I, I think one of the um, one of the most poignant as well. Yeah. I mean, Christmas means lots of things to different people. Um, of course. It's going to be tough this year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Imagine. I'm not going to lie, but. Um... No, it's lovely. It's going to be very different mm. for mm. you, my yes. lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very different. So, um, I think it'll be for lots of our viewers, which is, which is again why why the, the collection was a thank you as well for for everyone for for their. I mean, you can't beat our viewers. I mean, for their kindness, support, messages, <laughs> they just give you virtual hugs every time you need one, which, yeah, which is amazing. Do. So. Yeah, Thank they you. do. Thank oh, bless you, Mark. Down to the final seven. That's literally wow. a live quantity. There's 34 of you with it in your baskets online. Um, and you also have uh, people on the phone lines also. Love the mistletoe. If there's any of these come the end of the show, it's only right that I allow you to do it first. And then I'll definitely be joining you as well. Because it's, like, it's the memories that you think of mm. when you look at each of these pieces. Caroline, well done. You've got yours. Now I've got six. County Antrim's oh. just taken us down to five remaining chances um tracy west midlands maker wanting to if it's in your basket and not checked out it's not yours yet um it will be allocated first come first serve there are literally 50 of these so it's very very can you imagine for a second I, i've not i've not let's stop on that for one second as well that's 50 in the world in the world it's exclusive One to us. of 50. It's exclusive to us. They, these are not sold anywhere else mm. other than here at Jewelry Maker. So you are, get, mm. when we say limited edition, it, it doesn't get much more limited. Mm. Three left. Well done, Zena in Yorkshire. You've just got up, uh, you've just upped your quantity. Um, Tracy, good luck. West Midlands, good luck. Maker wanting three, good luck. Shirley in Hertfordshire, good luck. Pauline, good luck. Victoria in Kent wanting two, good luck. Hampshire, good luck. Amy, good luck. Karen, good luck. And Emma in Cambridgeshire, good luck. You can do it. But you have to go through the whole process of checking out. That doesn't mean, by the way, that you can't then shop afterwards. Every, you can accumulate your order, basically. So when you, order, uh, when you purchase your next item um, or, or, or whatever it might be, um, you can add it to your order. You're not uh, charged an additional post and packaging, as it says just down 
here on the graphics, um, <laughs> basically. Sorry, got all confused then. Um, you will combine your order. Two of these remaining. Fiona, you can do it. I'll leave that with you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, oh. Right. What a great place to start. Now, on to the, the fauna. The robin. The little robin. Yes. Yeah. You know, we, we, we briefly spoke about this we did. before. We did. Um, and a yeah. robin is often associated to loss. Mm. Um, but also love, mm. isn't it? And we definitely, we've definitely had, I mean, we feed the birds regularly, but we don't get the robins in the garden very much. And we've had, for the last three months, we've had, a, we've had one, it's only one, but we have that robin every day comes and says hello. And he's never done that before. So, yeah, there, 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 there must be something in it. There must be. I agree. It's, it's you know, yeah. do you know, and do you know, whether you go with it or whether you don't, you immediately think of it, though, don't you? If it makes you, you feel better, then I'm, all, I'm all for that. Me too. Me <laughs> it makes too. me smile. If I get a smile every day out of a little robin visiting us, then it's worth the while. I just like the idea as well that, you know, when, when we are when we have all passed, that we come mm. back to little yeah, robins. Absolutely. I like that idea because yeah. in terms of birds, they have to be one of the most beautiful. And they're the most recognised. And I think they did a survey recently and the, the robin was the UK's favourite bird. I get that. Yeah. I it's definitely the most recognisable. And, and I'm looking at the viewers watching now, I bet every single one of you have got at least one Christmas card with a robin on <laughs> at home yeah. at the moment. So yeah. they're, 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 I just love them. I love them. I, I, was sat in, um, I was sat waiting to pick Willow up from the school the other day and a, and, and a little robin was just there's some bushes in front of me literally just perched all puffed just, up all puffed up yeah cold so they literally yeah. puff up their feathers um and you do straight away you're like oh i wonder i wonder who, who that might be but they've no, come to say uh, pay a visit so would you like to read the card yes yeah, so again you get the you get the organza bag yeah. you don't the hessian bag with the winter collection on it and you get the little card winter collection and uh, the robin little information, it says, when the robin appears, loved ones are near. That's the, that's the logo. The robin has a very special place in our hearts and our gardens, a symbol of good luck, happiness. The robin is seen as a messenger for lost loved ones, mm. which I completely agree. And I definitely advocate that now. Without a doubt. It's lovely. It's a lovely shape. It's a, again, it's a cheerful little puffed up robin, isn't he? They do look extra cute when they're all puffed up, don't <laughs> yeah, they? When they're yeah. a little bit chilly and cold. And, yeah. um, and delicate little birds, aren't they? I mean, look, look. There, yeah, you've got the gorgeous little photograph. I mean, what, what an amazing piece as well, Mark. I mean, I know, I know mm. that there will be people right now watching who will immediately gravitate towards mm. this. Of and course, again, for many it's, it's, it's people's name as well. So Robin, Robin again, yeah. it's got another effect. That's it? true. That's another true. Looking at it, yeah. Um, yeah, but also what a lovely gift, mm. what a thoughtful gift to yeah. give to someone maybe who has. Uh, and a robin you can wear all year breathing. round. You can wear because you know, you, there's always a robin in the garden, isn't there? Oh, is it? Now, oh. this is as oh. exclusive, though, unfortunately, as the mistletoe. Um, I love it's December. Beautiful. December, mm. I mean, the fact you've got the mistletoe and the robin, I think these are both yeah. two of my favourite pieces, I have to say. It's absolutely stunning, Mark. Now, please, before we bring the graphics to air, I am so confident that this is going to be one of the fastest selling. We said that, didn't we, in preparation for the show? Mm. Uh, for, for the fact it's beautiful, of course, but also the emotions attached to um, the beautiful Robin Redbreast. You have wonderful Hessenite garnet making up his beautiful, beautiful red chest. Mm -hmm. The detailing and the amount of sterling silver that has been invested into the Robin is just it's huge, beautiful. Isn't it? yeah. uh, again, I'll hold it up to the neckline in a few moments' time. It's not a small piece. None no. of these is. Uh, <laughs> None no. of them are small. This, no. In the, this collection, no, it's, they're not. You, you, he's going to get noticed, isn't he? Mm. Um, um, and they are all genuine gemstones, so you're not looking at any simulated stones. I think there's spinel in his eye. I a think, black, I black spinel. And they do have yeah. almost they do. jet they do. black yeah. eyes, don't they? Yeah. Oh, there we go. 3.77 <laughs> grams of sterling silver. Wow. Is everybody ready? Should we, should we just give you a quick five-second countdown? Five, four, three, two, one. The Robin, I personally believe, and Mark, we had this yeah, conversation, yeah, yeah. is going to be the fastest selling. I think, I think after Santa, I think the Robin is the, is the most recognised Christmas theme. Definitely. Without a doubt, isn't it? Yeah. Without yeah. A doubt. yeah. Absolutely. I like the combo of the card, a card and, the, and the, oh yes, 
the card oh, and the, the robin. Little and little berries lovely. as well. That's yeah. like, that's literally d yes. belongs on the glossy yeah. magazine. <laughs> Look at the call screens, though, Mark. Straight away, loads of people getting involved. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, uh, half the stock's gone straight away. Oh, did you? Oh. What's that? Adam used to call them bobbins. Bobbins. <laughs> Oh. oh, you still do? Oh. Bobbins. <laughs> it's like heffalumps and heffalumps. strange words we have for animals, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, so, so cute. All that sterling silver as well. They're flying out the door. We are going to be an on... They will be an on-screen sellout. Um, again, beautifully packaged. One of the biggest silver weights yes, of the entire yeah. um, collection as well. Um, the beautiful Robin. And do text in, you know, because we would love to hear from you as well. Any messages that you have for uh, for Mark. I mean, unfortunately, it's. It, I don't want to just associate a Robin with grief because um, because he's not. He's a gorgeous, charming, mm, absolutely. Like, so he's yeah, a good yeah. luck symbol as well. Yeah, but yeah. I think so. Um, I, a lot of people get comfort when mm. they actually yeah. see a Robin. No. So that's wonderful. And that, and that helps. So it's, yeah. worth, it's worth its weight in gold, isn't absolutely. it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're not stopping at £129, though. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? He's beautiful. <laughs> with hessonite garnet as his gorgeous red breast. Yeah, it's hold it oh. up to the... <gasps> it's hold it up to the neck. He's neckline. weighty, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> he's not... We're not, we're not, um, we're not um, being tiny on the bales, either. I mean, they're no. substantial. You can get quite heavy chains or cord, all sorts, through, oh. through there. Oh, he's cute. He's lovely. <laughs> Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. A beautiful black spinel um, in his eye. Hessonite garnet, parve set gorgeously um, on his puffy chest. Um, and they are very distinctive shape, aren't they, mm, Robins? They, are. yeah. they don't look the same. If you even without the colours, they don't look the same as any other bird yeah. out there. Thirty-nine ninety-nine is just amazing. Again, all beautifully packaged with the sentiment, the story behind the robin itself. Um, I think I always think it. Uh, as a bit of a blessing, if you like, when you actually see a little mm. robin, um, wherever it might be, out on a walk or in your garden, or whether you're like me, you were just sat in a car. Um, these will be um, an on screen sellout. Do you want to see how many we have remaining? Six. Oh, no. There are six left. So if you're any of the people uh, with it in your baskets, if you've got a phone in your hand, you should be fine. So just stay where you are. We can guarantee you at least one anyway. Cheshire, uh, Maker, Tracy, Diane, June, Shirley, Margaret, Amy, Carol, Nicolette, Diane and Tim. You do disappear off the bottom of the screens um, as well. So I can't see everyone's name, but you've got literally three left now of the Robin. Um, and this is it. That's 50 ever. We're, we're not, we're not um, getting it remade. That's, that's it. That's Collection. it finished after today yeah i don't know of a collection that's ever been that exclusive mm -hmm. ever ever been that exclusive unbelievable the final two opportunities well done to those of you that get hold of it cheshire you've got yours alison you've got yours susan you've got yours diane you've got yours shirley you've got yours janet hampshire um do drop us a message as well um yeah maybe share your stories share your stories of robins and all of these pendants too sold out are we surprised though, Mark? I'm not. I'm not surprised at all. I knew I knew I knew who was literally gonna fly out. So beautiful. Oh bless you. Bless so, you. So from you. the robin and the mistletoe, there's one left of the oh, mistletoe. No. The robin oh. has sold out completely. So amazing. Well done. We've got lots of viewers that have bought every single piece. Which is I can just, see why. Just, I'm absolutely thrilled. And I'm lucky to have a sample of each piece. Um, at home and uh, no, I'm very lucky, very lucky. Yeah, I remember when um, mm. when I first did the Willow and Tick, Tom literally bought oh, did every right, single yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do with all this? But yeah, it is nice to keep. It's nice oh, to keep. There it is. Um, and, and sort of pass yeah. on and those so kind lovely. of things. It's lovely. So where do we go from here? So if I give you the Robin and yes. pop him over there with the mistletoe. Sure. So next we have these two here. So let's go for the snowdrop first, shall we? Oh, Mark. Because I, I had no idea. I had no idea what we had in the... Oh, we've oh, got a quantity of this. I had no idea what this was. I thought it was a cultured pearl until I came in this morning. <laughs> it's not just any cultured no, pearl. No. <laughs> this is a South Sea pearl. This is so and it's... elegant. And you can wear this every month of the oh, year. Oh, my it's goodness so me. Elegant. I love snowdrops. Yeah. For me, actually, um, they're so pretty, aren't they? They're protected too, aren't they, snowdrops? They are, yes. Na native 
snowdrops as with bluebells and yeah. that sort of thing. They're protected. all protected. Yeah. They, just, they just remind me of woodland walks, That's you know, right. back as yeah. a child. Yeah. You know, we used to go and visit my aunt and uncle up in the Forest of Dee. Oh, yes, yeah. And used to see... Swathes of them. Sw yeah, literally yes. blankets of snowdrops. Yeah. Um, well, uh, before we sort of... Yeah, firstly, South Sea Pearl, <laughs> perfectly spherical and an eight millimetre round. Mm. It is flawless, but then only it's the best for this collection. We've actually got a slightly bigger quantity of this one. Um, and I agree with you, it's all year round. Completely and absolutely. Why the yeah. snowdrop? So it's, it's one of the first flowers that come up in spring, in January. Yeah. It's the first, because as you said about woodland, you tend, you tend to get the snowdrops and then the snowdrops die down and then you get the bluebells. Yeah. And then the bluebells die down and you get the wild garlic. Coming Cowslip, uh, cowslips. Cowslips you get, yeah, and primroses, all sorts of things. <sighs> and uh, snowdrops take a long time to get to get started in your garden. I mean, we, we've had some in the garden now for five or six years, and it's going to be you know, 20, 30 years before you get huge banks of them. But they are uh, cute. And the, and the fact that they've got the little heads that, that, that dangle down, and they, they dangle down to stop any water and snow sitting in the, tr in the trumpet uh, and, stopping the and getting the flowers from going rotten. So that's why they hang. Well, they are, they are. I mean, they're, they're tiny lovely. as well, they aren't are. they? As, yes. as, as a little yeah. flower. So they're these flower when? The January, February, March. January, yeah. February, one March. Of, one of the earliest. You said they, sometimes you're even lucky if the end of December, but January is the. Is do the they? Do they like? Drops. Do they need a frost? No, 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 no. no. Um, but they're so pretty. Mm. I totally agree. The fact that they almost hang their heads down. Yeah. Um, so here it is. Here's the little card that you get. I love its real name. It's called a galanthus. Galanthus. That, that's just this lovely way, you know, it just comes off the tongue, doesn't it? Galanthus. A tiny, fragile flower. The snowdrop is seen as a bringer of hope during the cold, mm -hmm. frosty winter. It tells us all that spring is imminent. A bringer, uh, sorry, that spring is imminent. A bringer of bad luck if picked. Yes. Oh, also yeah. known as milk flower of the sun. Mm. So don't pick no, your don't pick them. No, no. They're no. too they I mean they're so beautiful. Yeah. They won't they won't last in the vase. They won't they No, won't, so. and, and, and the yeah. fact that they, they're doing they're hanging their heads to protect themselves. Yes. yes. Just leave them they're there. Gorgeous. Um so pretty. Um the fact that you have a South Sea pearl. Which you know what, I'm so pleased that uh, I mean, that was an option because when you have a, a white South Sea pearl, mm. it is pure snowdrop white. Yeah. And people that know me really well, I would have been happy with a shell pearl. You would have. Do you know yes, what I mean? But done, the yeah. fact that we've gone completely the other direction and we've gone for a not just a culture with a South Sea, and it's so beautifully spherical and it holds that in. Yeah, that I'm going to take this so off the bus for a second and show everybody. Yes. Um, I I want this, Mark. I very much like to. I get just think it's, this. It's, of all of the six, I think it's the most elegant. It's just so simple and elegant. The way it just drops. It's look just at, gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the amount of sterling silver. Yeah. Now we've just found a single South Sea uh, pearl, um, a seven millimetre round that we've sold at Jewelry Maker on its own, okay. but actually slightly smaller, seven millimetres in its size, and it was twenty nine pounds and ninety nine without the massive investment of sterling silver that you're getting within this. It's so pretty and it's a millimetre smaller. Um, I would wear this on like a long thirty inch chain. Yeah, I yeah, think absolutely. it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's weighty enough, isn't it? To, yeah, to hang beautifully. Like so that. beautiful. I love it. South Sea pearl, eight millimetre, perfect round as well. Um, flawless in terms of its actual nacre surface and the sentiment that goes behind this. Uh, yeah. the, they're only a short window of lifespan, and they're yeah, all uh, only only a couple of days once they come out of. Oh. The, yeah, yeah. Look at how pretty that is. Like I said, it's just so elegant. I like the simplicity behind this one. Yeah, me too. Really do because we could have gone for you know a clump with a leaf maybe, but I just like that. Just it's just so elegant. No, and you can see straight away that it yes. is. It's yeah. you know it it it's a, right. it is a yeah. snowdrop. Yeah. Um, we have a slightly larger quantity, but please don't be complacent about that because that's still less than a hundred, um, and that is mm. worldwide. You yes. know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's unbelievable. As jewellery makers, you could obviously take these and turn them into a multitude of things yes. as well, not just individual yeah. pendants. Um, it's two as earrings. I, thought, I, th I know what this one's going to, so for the, if you get two of these, the most incredible earrings, stunning earrings. You know where this is going to? Mm. I don't. <laughs> um, okay. I'm intrigued now. 
because I was expecting to pay, uh, you know, quite a significant premium. It's a South Sea mm. pearl. Mm. And in terms of the gram weight of precious metal, two <laughs> point... That's what I've really liked about the whole range, not just winter, but the whole other seasons, is we've not scrimped on the no. silver weight at no, all. No, 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 not at all. I don't think we've ever gone be below two grams for anything. Which, it, which would be a decent gram mm. weight in itself. Yeah. But yeah, you've yeah. Oh, 3.77 yeah. with, mm. with the Robin earlier on. Yeah. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. £49.99. pence. Know that this is a South Sea Pearl. You know, you could go into... Listen, and I'm by no means making any comparisons, just so, so, so everyone knows this. You can walk along your local high street, you can pick up a pearl pendant. It'll be a cultured pearl, it'll be a pearl. Mm, mm, um, yeah. And it'll probably... You can have it in sterling silver or gold or whichever you wish. Whether you'd get it at forty nine ninety nine, I don't know. I don't think that's really important. But walking along your local high street, getting something that only there's only uh, less than a hundred in existence in yes. the entire world, and it's a South Sea pearl of this calibre and, and grade. Be and because pounds. because it's a collection that I've designed, they can't replicate it for uh, other suppliers. No, they can't. That, that's it. It's sort of under my exclusive. name. So exclusive. So we can't produce exclusive. it for anywhere ever again. So well, that makes it even more. Valuable in my oh opinion, my goodness, it? yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've found a single South Sea Pearl, <gasps> eight millimeter elsewhere. Gosh. It's a South Sea Pearl. That's the price that they should yeah. pay. They don't offer it in silver, so it is in white gold. Four hundred pounds. <laughs> it's a South yeah. Sea Pearl. They are normally those kind of prices. We're under fifty. And we are not stopping there. It's beautiful, oh, Mark. Oh. I was just thinking, if you bought one of each of the six pieces for the home that has everything, they'd make amazing wine glass charms. Oh, <laughs> Wouldn't they? Can you imagine? And then you just wear them the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, my goodness yeah. me. Mm. I tell you what, Mark, in 60 seconds, we are going lower. We've got a bigger quantity on this one. If I had the same quantity as, say, the mistletoe or the robin, um, yeah. it would have already sold out. Yeah. So there is a slightly larger quantity on this one. Still less than 100, though. Please don't wait. Do you know, Mark, I knew this was going to be the case. And I actually said it during the break. I was like, Mark, I'm really struggling to choose a favourite. I'm struggling. I love them all. But they're all so different. I mean, they this are one, this, they are right. all so, yeah. so different. Mm. This is so classy. So, so classy, it, simplistic, it's the line, subtle, mm. the luster, really complimenting of the sterling silver and the, uh, and the South Sea Pearl. In 15 seconds, we are going even lower, load of multi-buyers on this. Yeah, you think about, uh, they're, they're just sweet little flowers, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, we were talking about winter weddings earlier, weren't we? Yeah. And bridesmaids, just a little snowdrop pendant, each wearing one oh. of those. I think that's lovely. Hello to you, uh, Avon, saying oh, yes. this would make a beautiful yes. christening gift. Yeah, lovely beautiful idea. Beautiful idea, beautiful idea. Maybe for a winter baby. So that was the price I knew we were going to, so I have no idea what Ross is doing now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ross. Oh. He's looking after everyone, that's lovely. Wow, <laughs> wow, Thirty-four ninety-nine. Even if oh, this was gosh. just just sterling silver in a snowdrop shape, that would be That'd a be great wood. price it tag. Yeah, but it's yeah. not. You've got you've got a perfectly spherical, completely flawless, blemish-free, uh, pure white South Sea pearl. You know, one single South Sea pearl was four hundred pounds yeah. on that other website, and that, that you know they're not wrong. They're not wrong at all. It's us. They are. Wow. I love this, Mark. You could even, at these kind of prices, if budget allows, maybe you could put a couple of them together yeah, in one lovely, online wouldn't it? necklace. And I, just, I just love the way it's been made because there's, there's um, um, a pin going from the top of the bale down through into the pearl to add the security. Can you see? But because it's, because it's got three petals, it, when it sits on the décolletage, it sits so the, the petal is in front, so you can't see the you can't Oh, yes, see the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pin. positioned just about. Beautifully I think you've got designed. a glimpse. There it there, is. There we go. And also, with that pin, yeah. it means it's suspended, isn't it? Absolutely. It's literally yes. going to sort of pop, yeah. um, have it peeking out of the bottom. Yeah, oh, it's so pretty, Mark. So beautiful. You've, uh, you've, got, you've got the perfect, perfect angles mm. of the snowdrop. 
Mm. Um, we've got a question. Hello for you, to you, Dawn. Is the snowdrop uh, too heavy to go on a charm bracelet? No, all, all of the pieces in all of the, the, uh, the collection, the, all the Four Seasons are suitable for charm bracelets. That's why we've put such a large bail on the, all, all of the pieces. No, it won't be too heavy at all. No, and I'm literally kind yeah. of holding it, oh, sorry, holding it on my mm. wrist right now yeah. so you can yeah. almost imagine it, get an idea of scale, Dawn. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it would look lovely on yeah. a bracelet, actually. No, a really idea nice idea, really nice yeah. idea. Yeah. We had 90 of these. Um, I'll show you how many we literally have left, 22. So literally down to the final 22. Let's hold it up to the neckline mm. once again so you can get an idea um, of scale. It's beautiful, so, <laughs> so, so beautiful. Oh. That's just lovely, isn't it? <sighs> 22 of them left. I think this collection, Mark, is going to be a sellout across the board. Um, across the entire board. There are loads yeah. of you there. Yeah. Uh, Margaret, Christine, Shirley, Victoria, West Midlands, uh, Lanarkshire, hello to you, Hilary, Joan, Irene, Olivia, you've got yours. Uh, who is that? Nicola, Zena in North Yorkshire, you've got yours as well. County Antrim, uh, Elizabeth, hello to you. I can't keep up with you. Every time I read a name, it literally jumps across the screen. Uh, Isle of Man, Stella, Tracy, Amy, Margaret, West Yorkshire, Karen, Christine, Victoria. Maker, if you want that eight I can see in your basket, you really need to check out ASAP. Um, Isle of Man, you've done it. Barbara, good luck to you. If you can see your name um, on this side of the list, then you need to check them out because there are you are not alone. This doesn't. There's people on the phone lines as well. Uh, yeah, Maker, if you want that eight, I've got seven of them left. Well done, Elaine. Well done, Merseyside. Well done to you, uh, London. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. And, of course, comes exquisitely packaged in the description mm. of, um, of the snowdrop itself. I love it. I just love what you were saying there, the fact they hang their heads down they just do. to protect yeah. themselves from it's the water. It's clever, isn't it? Lots of flowers do that. You think they look really sad when they're hanging down, but it's to stop them from filling up with frost and water and going rotten. Very clever Mother Nature, you know? Very clever. Very, very clever. Very, very clever. Yeah, because yeah. you, yeah, the, it would pool otherwise, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it would rot. But then they only yeah, live for a couple of days it. anyway. <laughs> Bless them. Yeah. Um, put your chin up, snowdrops. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> wow, I'll leave those last couple with you because we're so over-allocated. Okay, where to next? This is amazing. This is the blue tit. Your favourite. And we were talking earlier, the fact that I, I think two pieces, including the poppy, had the additional use of... of um, Enamelling. Enamelling in the last collection. So mm -hmm. I had to get a couple of pieces in this one as well. So we've, we've had already the mistletoe, and this is the blue tit, which has got a, a different bale on this one because we wanted it to sit flat. I'll let you do the reveal. Okay. But this is the blue tit, so it's just... There's no mistaking what bird this is at all. They are... They're so cute. Also, I mean, I don't <laughs> know if it's exclusive. I'm, I'm, no, um, I'm no expert by any means, but... They are such a quintessential English Completely. bird. Yeah, and as, as I said earlier, they don't migrate, so they're in the garden every day of the year. And you can't, there's no mistaking the blue and yellow, is there? No. They're just, they're just so cute, so cute. So this has got a very clever, yeah. um, has. beautiful yes. hidden bale, if I just flip because, it around. Because, it's because it's the, of the way it's been made, if it had a single bale, it wouldn't sit properly. So yes. what we've done, I don't know if there's a special name. And what you can also do is you can put a brooch pin underneath the two bales there and secure it as a brooch as well if you want to wear it as, idea. So you can wear it as a brooch as well yeah if you did want him to sit more upright then just use the one just use the one just use that's the right one. Yes. so it's different yep. ways um, of actually wearing this for, again and more further investment of your sterling yeah. silver yes this um, is huge again huge because piece. of that yeah. enameling you know is, is steeped in history use enameling has been a technique that's been around for mm. literally hundreds of years three and a half grams i know, I know. But yeah, you told, in fact, yeah. it's, very, it's very much closer to four. But you told me a very sweet fact earlier on about blue tits. It, yeah, an adult blue tit weighs the same as a pound coin. <laughs> Are they the it's ones very, with very tiny. hollow bones? Yes, yeah. You've got hollow Lots bones. Lots of birds have hollow bones, yeah. It's just, I think they're lovely though. And you always see them on bird feeders. And, and as, as, as like swans, they mate for life, which I, oh. which I didn't know until I was researching. So, no, they are just the so, cutest. Look at so it. They've, cute, got, they've yeah. got the very pronounced rounded head yes, as well, haven't yeah. they? I think yeah, uh, um, blue tits. And again, we've got the gemstones in there for the wings. So, so this so. is for. Oh, I thought it was. Yes. So are we talking about? Is this January? 
This is January. This yes. is January. Yep. Yep. Um, so take a little look. Look yeah. at the photograph first. One of Blue the sweetest, uh, sweetest little characters. This includes Sapphire. Yeah. Saf look at him. He's gorgeous, isn't he? They yeah, are so pretty. So yeah, I they, love blue tits. they look a little bit like lovebirds as well, mm. I think. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, so of January, you've got the blue tit. Um, a very spiritual bird. Uh, uh, the blue tit is closely linked with love, hope and faithfulness. Mm -hmm. uh, blue tits don't migrate and in fact team up with the same mate for life. Um, an adult blue tit weighs the same as a pound coin. They just, they're just sweet, aren't yeah, they? They're lovely. They're not harmful at all. They I, do, they get, they, in spring, obviously, when the sap's rising, they do get a bit aggressive, the males. But, yeah. But every, everyone does, don't they? And, uh, but they are lovely. Really nice. And again, just for me, quintessentially English. I think yes, most of us can think absolutely. back. Absolutely. Yes. Well, not necessarily think back. Even all year round, you, mm. they're, they're busy little they're babies, the aren't time. they? They're, they're always there all the time. Yeah. Never any bother. Yeah. And when they catch an insect, the energy that they would give to the babies from that insect, they use up flying to and from. So, so with every, every insect they take to the babies, they have to eat one as well to make the energy to fly to the nest backwards and forwards. Oh. So thousands, thousands of insects they eat in a day. Very good for the garden. Are they good for Very the garden? Very good. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. All birds are. Oh. Right, we're going to start. One of the only pieces that you've actually done in enamelling. Yeah. Um, we have got... We've actually got a hundred of the blue okay, tip. Okay. I know of all the collection or, or all the pieces of your winter mm. collection, Mark, this is your favourite. Mm. I love it. It's, it's the blue and, and yellow. I love it. It's just a cheerful piece of jewelry. Is that appearance or Yeah, well, emotions? the attention to detail. Because if you look at it on the screen now, you can even see the black, the black markings on his face. Yeah. You've got the sapphires in there. You've got the spinel eye. To have sapphire wings, I mean, that's... We haven't used sapphire very often in the collection as a whole, so it's lovely to see it in the final stages. But he's, he's, and the way he's cocking his head, he's just got a character, hasn't he? he they, I think they are really characterful. They're made so well. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they are. You know, these would be the ones that, they're always busy, aren't they? Yes. They're always sort of ch Absolutely. chattering around. And as you said, we, we've got him sat flat. So we've gone through both of the little, um, are they bales? Are they the yeah, it's a double bale. A double so bale you, at the if back. If you wanted yeah. to wear him, let me just adjust yes. it, more kind of that angle if you, you would just the put chain, it through the top just bale. put it through the one that's right um yes, for yeah. the one of the bales so he can actually sort yeah. of sit on his feet if that makes yeah. sense and this is this is one of caroline's ideas was to have the two bales at the back so you could put a brooch pin through good idea position, so you could that's wear it a as a brooch idea. on a lapel on a jacket great idea like yeah. and again i'm sure loads of people have got a, a sort of feelings and memories uh, uh, attached to the yeah. wonderful blue tit i think he's absolutely deserving of a place within yeah. chest no, that clothes yeah, without a doubt it's probably the birds it's probably the bird we see most in the garden throughout mm. the year. That and, the, and starlings. But yeah, I didn't think starling would make a uh, very nice piece of jewellery, really. No, it might do. Might yeah. do. Um, magpie yeah. was on the short list as well. But, um. <laughs> I like magpies. Yeah. I think they're quite beautiful. Yeah, um, yeah they're the same for us. We, we've got, we've yeah. got um, uh, what do they call it, an insect and bird garden, oh, yeah. literally yeah. on the fence. Um, so they come and sort of peck away at sort of oh. bird uh, seeds and things like that. And we see the blue tick quite a lot. We're at £39.99. pence. Now, even though enamelling is very involved, it's very mm. technically advanced, you've also got sapphire, you've also got almost four grams of yeah. sterling silver within this piece. The follow-up to this sentence shouldn't come about, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, it, we're going to take it even lower, purely because yeah. we say yeah. this, because we've got 100, <laughs> as if that's a massive quantity. That's a, that's a global 100, mm. though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You won't find these anywhere else. In 60 seconds, oh. we're going to take the blue tip from Winter Collection even lower. Mm. I think so many of us must be able, can reference the blue tip. You know, we must be able to sort of think about, yeah, you know, I don't even, it's just sat in your garden with a, with a cup of tea mm. and a biscuit and you see them busying yeah. around. Are they little families, the blue they are. Yeah, they have, they have six to eight in a litter. And um, yeah, because the, the, the lots of the uh, now the um, the nest boxes have cameras, don't they? So you yeah. can watch what's going on. So you can go on YouTube and you can see blue tits building nests. Yeah, you know, they they speed I up the, the film. Oh. I watched one the other day, and it, it, they're beautiful. But there's always one, isn't there? There's always that, one that, that, that doesn't quite make no, it. No. It was literally breaking my heart because he was getting squashed. <laughs> I was like, oh bless him, bless him. But yeah, it's 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 wonderful, and that's that's yeah. life. Isn't so they can it? have that's two or three litters blue tits as well. You know, the babies go quite quickly. What are you doing, Ross? 
That worries me. The fact that there is sapphires, oh. four grams of sterling silver. Pretty. They're so pretty, the blue tits. Did you hear that? I did. Doesn't make any sense. Because it's my favourite, you're doing... You, say, you can say it, it's your collection. <laughs> oh no, so you see the £40. You can buy two for that price. Oh, there's the mate, there's the, yeah. there's the couple. There's the couple. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 because they're enamelling as well, you could maybe yeah. gift it. The reason that, that I've opted for enamel is I've fallen in love with cloisonne. I've had a couple of kits recently with cloisonne beads in. Yeah. And I, and I think what myself and Alison have got coming up next year, I think 2023 is going to be the year of the cloisonne. Beautiful. Well, it's so, huge. At the, love it's, it. His, it's very historic. It. It's yeah. massive on our sister channel as yeah. well. I reckon Willow would wear that around. Oh, she would chain. love it. She yeah. would absolutely Little love kids, that. Yeah. Because um, she's very, uh, yeah, mm. she's very nature, um, yeah. enthusiastic about nature as well. Twenty pounds. There's almost just literally a couple of points under four grams of sterling silver. <laughs> You've got beautiful sapphire, uh, parve set in his wing, a black spinel, and they do have really lovely glossy black mm. eyes, don't they? Um, and then that stunning enamelling, quali top quality enamelling. Um, hello, Jill, saying, oh, Mark. Um, another Stella collection, very pretty pieces. Snowdrop and mistletoe are my favourite, but then again, hard to choose. It is difficult, Jill, isn't it? Well done. Bless you. Thank you, Jill. That means a lot. As I said, Caroline and I have put a lot of work into this, and they were absolutely thrilled with with. Um, I think everyone's got really behind it, and it's been it's been joyous. It really has. I think the selection. I mean, because you know, we're talking about what January now. Mm. Um, You've also sort of gone towards some of the most fondly thought of yeah. um, yeah. flora and fauna pieces, you know, and, and the blue tit, absolutely. Again, I don't know if they exist yeah. outside the UK. I think they're worldwide. Are they the worldwide? Different varieties. I, think, I think blue tit are native to this country. I don't think you see it anywhere else, but there are lots of different different kinds around the world. Yeah, absolutely. They're just very, very, very pretty, no, aren't they? Little delicate things. I can always, yeah, um, yeah. you just see them. Um, <laughs> uh, sort of uh, hopping around your garden. 19.99. We had a hundred of these. That's the only reason we've taken them to under 20 pounds. What a beautiful little gift. You know, if you know somebody that is maybe really passionate about sort of my dad, for yeah. example, used to really like going for walks. Well, there's lots of twitchers, aren't there? Yes. You know, bird watchers and is that what um, they call themselves? Twitchers. twitchers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think if you're just enthusiastic about the outdoors, you know, and you like going for maybe yes. yeah. walks, then you'll probably be. Uh, you will be. Uh, uh, appreciative mm. of our beautiful and we're very yeah. lucky here in the UK aren't we to have such wonderful wildlife no, absolutely we're very lucky very lucky uh, make yes. sure you check out yeah. your baskets again quite yeah. getting quite limited so by the end of this of this selection here I'd have bought 24 flowers and insects and animals that I have yearly in my little garden so I mean how more lucky can we get and, you know, and, and lots and lots of people, lots of people have them in their garden. So um, no, it's amazing. The hedgehog, love them. Hedgehogs. the frog, yeah, it's squirrel. been amazing. Yeah, and that's just lovely. the animals, amazing. Yeah. Um, oh wow, okay, moved on. Well done. Yes, There's only so a couple of those last. Remaining. Oh, it's the last two. The last two pieces. And you have those. I let's have, let's do, let's do the mouse. Here. Let's do the mouse and the leave mouse. The daffodil as we love the daffodil. We'll, we'll have the mouse. Um, I love the mouse. He's cute. They are so beautiful, mice, aren't mm, they? Yeah, I love I love mice. Absolutely love them. I love, I've had, I put pictures of the pieces on my Facebook page a couple of nights ago, and I've had so much feedback about the mouse. Lots of people want the mouse. How cute he They're is! They're so and sweet. He's, yeah, he's, so he's, he's so lovely, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh look! <laughs> His little whiskers look. Um, we have a hundred of the mouse. Yeah. And again, he's got a, he's got a double bail on the back. So depending on how you want to wear him, again you can wear this as a brooch. Pop the brooch pin through the two bales at the oh, back. So pretty, yeah. It'd be lovely as a little uh, little pair yes, of brooch. Yes. I say little; it's not that little. <laughs> um, okay, so you have mice in your garden. Yes, yes. Mm. And obviously, obviously, we get quite a few in the house as well. Yes, because of <laughs> two the, because resident of the, cats. Because of the cats, yeah. But um, um, are they no, kind to the, the mice? Though no, they're not. Oh. No. Um. But we do know we do see them regularly in the garden, scurrying around. It's nice to see. Beautiful. Oh, little yeah. mouse with grasping tail and tiny feet. You climb tall stems of swaying wheat. Reaching the top, you eat the grain. The skillfully climb down again. Oh, Mark, I love that's little so poems. Pretty. I love little poems on these. So well. pretty. Lovely. 
They are beautiful. Do you know I, the amount? Of, <laughs> oh look! <laughs> okay, the amount of times that my mum's cat used to bring in mice, and, and thankfully wouldn't 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 oh, ever hurt right, it, right. but just let it go. Just let and it then go. be very vocal as walking through the cat flap, <laughs> <laughs> as if I've got something for you. <laughs> And then just drop the mouse in the middle of the living room. Thank you ever so much. Now, um, again, oh. beautiful sterling silver. You've really captured that sweet He's character. Lovely. All of the pieces, actually, they've all they've all captured character. They they're not solid pieces. They've all got looks and little characters. And he's he's got a character, isn't he? Definitely, his little yeah. tail is lovely. Yeah. I think he's looking for a cat, isn't he? He's, he's chomping away on something with, with an eye just watching. Yeah. Now this is the penultimate piece. I know. We only have one more piece. Um, of, of the winter collection, and uh, yeah, and that's it. A whole chestnut, yeah, yeah. Now, the next price point is not what you are paying. We do have a hundred of the mouse, and he's definitely achieved quite a lot of feedback. He has, he has. Oh, they're pets yes. as well, aren't they? Absolutely. Lots of people actually uh, keep mice yeah. as pets. Not what you are paying. With beautiful little black spinel. Again, they've got those lovely little glossy yeah. eyes, haven't they? He's got a little white zircon nose, I think. Yeah. Oh. That's not. There's a white zircon on his got, nose. I think it says, it says, yes, it's got a oh, white zircon does. nose Look. and black spinel eyes, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, oh, a little bit, bit of frost. frost. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice that. Look at how sweet. It's just it's the whiskers and his little folds on his ears and they're so beautifully made. I think mice are beautiful. Mm. I love them. Are they, uh, and I, uh, uh, do you know what? I love them so much I wasn't even crossed when they ate my Christmas tree. <laughs> no, it's in, we used to have an artificial tree that we oh, kept, yeah. in the, uh, kept in the garage and they'd lit, they, they, they kind of nested in there. Okay. Couldn't be crossed because it's a nice no. place to live, isn't yeah, it, in a absolutely. Christmas tree? Yeah, um, oh, Mark, he is so beautiful. How can you go lower? I don't know, we're at 20 pounds. How, what's the gram weight on this as well? <laughs> 2.85 grams. The fact that you can wear these as little brooches as well. Yeah, yeah, this has got the double bail on the back as well. Oh, he's very cute. Didn't know he had a, a zircon nose. That's made him even cuter, having a twitchy zircon nose. Oh, there's a lot of multipliers on this <laughs> one too. They are sweet, aren't they? So beautiful. Janet, Vivian, Pauline, Sheila, Lucy, Mary and Jerry, Nicolette, Gillian, Chantal, Kerry, uh, Alison, Lynn in USA, Wendy, Lorraine, Fiona, Jill, Patricia, Kathleen, James, uh, Janet, Irene, Cheshire, I can see you there, County Antrim, I can see you there. Um, do make sure you check out because 100 seems like a big quantity. It absolutely isn't. And please know as well, these won't be repeated. It is no, literally is it. just for, this, this is it. Yeah, this is a one time um, global launch as well. These will not be found anywhere else so you're not likely to see these you know moving forward in Harvey Nicks or, no, 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 or, nobody. or Selfridges. No, no, nobody will have these now. Only here They're attributed to, to me. <laughs> love it absolutely love it it is it is one of those creatures I think that we're really fond of mm. I think. Yeah little harvest mice and uh, all the cute. They will look at the, pi yeah. the picture the, oh, look yeah. how sweet that face is. <laughs> how sweet yeah. he is. Those little black eyes, yeah. There's oh, 26 God. left out of the final 100. Oh, bless. It's a I, nickname as well, isn't it? I've heard people called Mouse as a nickname. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. Oh. It is a nickname. I'm trying to think there's a series, TV series, oh, he, calls, um, he calls his daughter Little Mouse. Oh, okay. It's very sweet. Right. Very, very yeah. sweet. I love that, yeah, oh, Little oh. Mouse. 19 of these remaining, just beautiful. Again, just charm. It's absolutely charming. Um, and I guess we've all got stories that we could tell when we actually talk about, about mice. Yeah. Um, whether it be stories of naughty pussy cats, or whether it be, I don't know, like I said, I can remember mum, mum's cat bringing them in. Literally never, yeah. never hurt them, but would be very vocal about the fact that she's brought this present. And then just let it go in the middle of the room, so then we spend the rest of the evening actually chasing right, right. after this. They mouse. do bite, don't they? When they, when you catch them as well, you have to yeah. be quite careful of them. You do. Sharp little teeth. And seeing them kind of scurrying across the uh, the, oh, the, the, the curtain mitts, poles, the curtain poles. you were like, oh, there you go. <laughs> Can, can, can I be bothered to get yeah, it? Yes, yeah. make sure you do. Two electrics. Well done. Down to the final five opportunities. So I will leave that with you there. The last one. No. I'm quite pleased this is last because I, I like you. I love Daffs. And um, 
we've, the, the garden has taken us to get to the stage we're at now, 10 years. And we're at the point now where we can actually have a glass of wine and walk around and actually enjoy it. Yeah. But over the years, because I love planting bulbs, I must have planted a good three or 4,000 daffodils Do you take those bulbs minutes. up each year? No. You leave I leave them, them in. If I plant them in the garden, I leave them in, and it's up to them whether they come back 50 50. Um, but the ones in the pots and baskets and things, I do take them out and dry them out and replant them. So it's for me, uh, do you know, if somebody said to me, What's your favourite flower? I would immediately mm. say a daffodil. Um, Give me a bunch of those any day Absolutely. over a big bouquet of flowers. Yeah, no, I just right, think I right. just think they're smile inducing, no. aren't they? Absolutely. And I they're that them. first first, as we said earlier on, they're that first glimmer of spring. They make you smile. They know spring's coming and it's such an uplifting colour yellow, isn't it? It's just it's beautiful. I love this design as well. So gorgeous. This is obviously a February. I would have most people would associate yeah. daffodils to I think March, but yeah, yeah. Feb no, daffodils. February start coming up in in February, and there's one specific one called called February Gold, which is the first daffodil to come out, and that's sort of the last two weeks of February that comes out. So that's quite an early. When we've got daffodil shoots coming up already, really? Yeah, I think this this frost will put pay to the growth at the moment. But um, no, it's, it's just it's just lovely. Just love this this. Um, this one, and the, a again, of yellow. You, get, you get the little card, and it says, the daffodil blooms signify spring is on its way, a cheerful flower with its sunshine smile, the 10th wedding anniversary flower. Pick a, yes, I didn't know this. Pick a daffodil under the light of the moon, and it will bring you good luck for the rest of the year. Ah. Oh. So there you go. So we need some daffodils in our we garden. We need some daffodils so. in your garden, yep. It was always, yeah. for me as well, Mother's Day. The general, yes, the, the, that's the right. That you yes. could give alongside tulips and things like that. Daffodils and that's tulips. Right. Mother's Day. I kind of yeah. associate it to Mother's Day as well. Yeah. Um, but they've just got these little happy, smiley faces, I think. You they know? Have. Like, some have large trumpets, some have flat trumpets, some are the little dwarf, the little tater tates which are one of my favourites as yeah. well. I love them. And then you get the single, you get the fragrant. There's, a, there's about 900 to 1,000 different varieties wow. of daffodil at the moment. And a new... new um, New genes are being made every year and new varieties and no, it's lovely. I just it's like lovely. the fact that you can you can literally buy a bunch mm. of daffodils for a pound. For a pound. Yeah. Literally, for, you can't get much for a pound no. these <laughs> days, but you can get you guarantee yeah, you get absolutely. yourself a bunch of daffodils yeah, from the supermarket. And this one, this one's again, it's got a I don't know what it's called. It's not a, um, a movable bale. It's a solid. Uh, it's stunning. Has it, it got bale. a different name? Yeah. Let, let, yeah. yeah it's it's so beautiful. I'm going to take it off the mm. um, off yes. the bus for a second because it's kind of integrated. Um, we have a hundred of these. Oh, yeah. So it's like a hidden bale. Can you see how? Now, where the petal would fold um, naturally within the flower, it kind of hides behind. So, yeah, it, it's very, very cleverly designed, this mark. Yeah, literally having that bale, sorry, having the petal wrap around so it becomes almost yeah. Um, yeah. an illusion set. Um, and then you have that trumpet, as you said. It's yeah. so sweet that it's called the, a trumpet. It was quite difficult to actually design the trumpet because we didn't want it being too prominent. We didn't want it to stick out from the design because it would catch on your clothing and yeah. it might be uncomfortable to wear. So they've, they've, they've done it so well. There's no mistaking it's a daffodil. No. It's just gorgeous. And I wanted to go, and I wanted to go down the gemstone route rather than the enamelling because I, want, you know, I just wanted a couple of pieces of enamel. In well, I'm curious to know what these gemstones actually are. This is the finale. Oh my oh, goodness yeah. me, they're amazing yeah. citrines. Be, it? It to be. Do you know, but they're that <laughs> vibrant. I was thinking they might be, a, uh, might be, a, I don't know, like a garnet possibly. Goodness me, the quality of those citrines are amazing. Right, this is the finale. Not only of winter, but the whole collection. The whole chestnut close because collection. I, was, I, I have to say, I was very sad coming in this morning knowing that... Um, but then we've, we've, got, we've got nice ideas for new collections next year. One of them, which I think I might have given you a bit of a tip is all about Thomas and Ripley. So any of you cat lovers out oh, there. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but we don't know what to call the collection. Thomas yeah, and right. Ripley. Mm. Doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? Really? It does. And we came up with what Tripley. About... That, that didn't work. Well, what, what about something like uh, Tom Lee or, um, Tomcats, yeah. Tom something Cats. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I, I, yeah it, I, can, mm. I can understand mixed emotions. Yeah. Um, mm. The finale auction, uh, the finale auction of your beautiful chestnut close collection. So exclusive. We have a hundred of the daffodil as well. Um, if like me, it's just that it's just 
I, they're sunshine. They just make me smile regardless. Whenever you see, yeah, whenever you see a daffodil, it's. Do you know what? I don't want to call them cheap and cheerful because they're they're so not. You know, they they're abundant and they're yeah. vibrant and they're just lovely, positive. Well, they are lovely. Also, yeah. they've got the associations to certain charities as well. Oh, Marie Curie. And the Welsh. And the Welsh, the of Welsh. course. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So again, there's I lots do of expect there to yeah. be a little bit of a, um, a, a, an influx of yes. our yeah. um, Welsh audience yeah, um, on the phone lines for this. <laughs> it's beautiful. Abs uh, much, much more pretty than a leek, isn't it? Let's yes. be honest. <laughs> much prettier than a leek. That could have been a new range, couldn't it? A vegetable collection. I like maybe. that. Maybe aubergine and tomatoes and bananas. Uh, nice. And Apples. Nice. Oh, strawberries. Nice. Strawberries. Melons. Yeah. <laughs> you could do all of that. Yeah. Shall we? It's huge, isn't it? Are you ready for this, Mark? What's the carrot weight on this one? You're looking at 2.97 wow. grams. So again, we've not scrimped on any of the no. pieces again. And you've we? got yeah. about a quarter of a carrot of beautiful canary wow. yellow citrine. I think we all love the daft, don't it's we? Beautiful. It's I like I just like the veining on the stalks and the leaves. Again, attention to detail. It's just just beautiful. Do you know, my husband bought me um, a, a blue belt pendant. I think because I was talking about the sort of oh, the yeah, conversations yeah. that we've yeah. had before about walking in in, mm. in the forest to do with my with my auntie and uncle and my cousins um, through what we used to call the blue bell woods. Um, and he bought me a, a bluebell pendant from Alex Munro. Oh, yes. Yeah. 130 pounds, I think it? it was. No way near as detailed as this. No way near wow. as detailed. Gosh. We're at 39 pounds and 99 pence. <gasps> We're going to do a special oh, price no. point on this opportunity. There are 100. I'm getting this for sure. A third of the quantity has confirmed. In 60 seconds, this is the finale auction opportunity. I'm going to be getting the daffodil just, just because... You know, I, I, I'll be honest, I haven't got any sort of reasoning. It, was, it doesn't remind me maybe of a, a lost loved one. I love them. You love them. Too. I yeah. love that. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't have to be a reason, does it? You know, uh, you think we said that, we spoke about that with the Robin, we spoke about that with That's different right, gemstones. Yes. But for me, I love a daff. They're cheerful and they're pretty. As if we're going lower. <laughs> As if. And again, it's not a small piece, Mark. No, no, it's not. No. But all of all of the collection, I think, has, has been, um, yeah, we haven't scrimped on weight Sizeable. and size. And, uh, and even the class has been substantial. And uh, no, I've been absolutely thrilled. It's well, been it, lovely. Oh, wait. So, Mark, um, in six seconds, we're at £40 right now. Mm -hmm. With all that detail and every piece that you've brought, Mark, you, attention to detail has been yeah, absolutely yeah. remarkable. Why are they m they're mumbling in there? Wow. <laughs> wow, 19 pounds and 99 oh. pence only. Can you see that there? I have to put it on the bus because... Should we do it there? Oh. That's lovely. Look just, at it just how makes you smile. Makes you smile. It does. It really does. Yeah. And again, yes, like I said, I, I, we've only, I've only really mm. just sort of realised that the association to sort of Marie Curie as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, and of course, Wales. I can see you there, Cardiff. Well done. You've got <laughs> yours. Uh, Pauline Carroll, well done. West Midlands, Lisa Flincher. Allison. Flincher, yeah. I can see you there as well. Um, <laughs> Pauline in Cambridgeshire, Lisa in West Yorkshire, Allison, Lorraine, Cheryl, Amy, Mirtha Tidfill, of course. I was going to I knew I was going to see. Um, <laughs> Uh, an influx of uh, our Welsh viewers getting involved with this one. Um, <laughs> hello to you, Janet, uh, Johnny in Leicestershire, Maker, Amy in Surrey, Marilyn in Flinch. You'll need to check out Lovely, though. Um, Helen in Cardiff, I can see you. Uh, Lucien, Lucien, what a pretty name. Lovely, isn't it? Really Lucien, beautiful yeah. name. Diane, you're there as well. Surely one of the most happiness-inducing flowers that exists. Um, Mark, we've got a few messages for you. Jane in Suffolk saying, hi, Mark and Elle. A beautiful collection that you should be Bless so you. proud Thank of, you, Mark. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. You should. And I know this is, this is quite an emotional... Mm. Yeah, morning. Yeah. It is an emotional morning. Um, you should be proud. And, uh, you know, yeah. we've all absolutely 
loved each My dad would have, because my, obviously I lost my dad a few years ago now, but he would have loved this because he taught me everything I knew. He taught me the basics as a child gardening. We were always gardening together. And his dad used to have an allotment, so we used to do a bit of pottering and stuff there. So it's all down to my dad, really. And uh, no, so I've come a long way since Was he fond of then. daffs? He loved daffodils. Roses were his thing, I think I mentioned. Roses were his thing, but... Um, but it got to a point where he, he got quite poorly towards the end and uh, little things like cutting the hedge he couldn't do and uh, it was such a shame but he could still he still had the strength to, to pot with his pots and Aww. plant flowers and there's a little bit of still bedding got enjoyment yeah out absolutely of it. absolutely right still to the got end. enjoyment yeah. out of it now your garden is is it I'm, I'm, and uh, i just I'm, yeah i'm very very lucky to have the garden i've got and uh, no, it's very. It's but you've very worked privileged. hard on it. Yes. You really, really yeah, have well, worked well, hard. So yeah, you deserve yeah. the all thank the you. enjoyment, Mark. Yeah, and, and, and thank you to everyone who supported me throughout the whole year with this collection. As I said, I was very daunted right at the beginning. I'd never done one before, and uh, and it's just the messages of support and kindness have just been second to none. And, and especially over the past few months as well, it's been tough. But but this has all got me going. And thanks to the whole team here for for helping me put it together. And uh, yeah, I think Caroline will be watching from home. So. Oh, Been bless amazing. you, Mark. You. Mark, though, you should be so proud. They are absolutely beautiful. Please make sure you check out on each of those opportunities. They are very, very, uh, the most limited. Yes, like I said, yeah. they're not available anywhere else in the world, only here and only today. Um, now, we've still got more to bring you. We've got an amazing ma masterclass to bring you. We've got Olmec Jadeite to bring you. We've got those amazing, amazing kits yes, um, with the yeah, big drill big holes. holes. Yep. Um, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, please join me this weekend where I'm going to be bringing you developing news stories about Sarite as well as bringing you some Sarite opportunities. We're bringing you the story of the legendary Olmec Jadeite and some of the world's finest natural pearls. You're not going to want to miss this incredible show. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week?
Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. We're just talking about food. what, what, yeah, food. <laughs> basically, Mark says, "What are you doing this weekend?" Yeah. And it got onto the sub subject of food, as it always does. As it always does. Mm. How do you have your turkey? Oh, as as it as it comes. It is, so it, Andrew takes the legs off, flattens them out, puts sausage meat and rolls them. Oh, nice. So we have those two, and then we have the breast and all that sort of thing, nice. and all, all the trimmings. So he, he's actually doing his potatoes on Saturday. Because um, a friend of ours gave him a tip that you do them and you parboil them yeah. for five minutes and put them in the freezer. Because yeah. the last thing you want on Christmas morning is to have a, pan of, a huge pan of potatoes boiling and causing steam. So parboil them, stick them in the freezer, take them out, cook them from frozen, straight into your tray, hot oil into the oven, job done. Ooh, do you so use oil or do you use goose fat? Goose fat and, and semolina. Me. Oh, semolina to get a bit to get of crust. Bit of crust. That's nice a idea. Yeah, yeah, it works. Every, we've always done Nigella semolina. Yeah. Nice idea. I might give that a try. Yeah, really crispy. I really did see a little um, a little video online, and it was. Um, I mean, there's no way I'd do it just because it's a big faff, mm -hmm. especially if you're doing a, a roast. But these perfectly, they looked almost scallop shaped potatoes, parboiled. Then they were kind of wrapped in streaky bacon, browned off ever oh, so I slightly, saw that. and literally just boiled in yes. butter. Oh yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh my goodness, it's like a thousand <laughs> calories yes, in each that. potato. Yeah. But I was like, mm, they look delicious. Not going to do that there. No, no. A bit too much hassle. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> how do you have your turkey or meat, whatever it is, or not meat, or not, not meat. roast, yeah, not roast. Might not be. Yeah. Um, okay, now. This has actually been clocked by quite a few of you. There are, it's, it, it is one of, if not the most amazing strand of Olmec jadeite that we have um, ever had. Um, we've brought you Olmec certainly before. Again, it's just unbelievable quality that we bring you here. Please never lose sight of that. You know, jadeite, it's all down to texture. You can get quite a coarse texture, you can get quite a fine texture. When it's fine, you're not going to get sort of these areas of clouding. And as we're on this website right now, Ross, can we show, say, the ring? The ring, just because we're on this website. This is, for, uh, this is a great opportunity for me to actually uh, uh, show you what is a coarser grain um, of, of jadeite. It's coarser because you can actually see uh, sort of patterning within. You can actually see the crystal growth. Um, I'm not referencing the color or the translucency, but you can actually see the coarser grain of this. Um, finer grain, um, and I'm going to ask to get right up close to this, finer grain, um, you won't be able to see those sort of big patches. You get a much uh. more fluid, liquid-like translucency. Also, another example, take a look at this necklace. It's beautiful. But you've, and I know there's different colors, never mind the color, it's a much coarser grain. What is this gemstone that we are looking at right now? For those of you that are maybe new to the wonderful family that is Jewelry Maker, this is genuine jadeite, and it is one of the most exciting locations of jadeite that's ever been written about and, and offered. This comes from Guatemala. That's the only location that this particular natural color, this is not dyed or impregnated, this natural color occurs. Um, they describe it, the GIA have written about it as Olmec blue jade eye, only found in Guatemala. Now we knew that this existed. We knew uh, that from ancient artifacts that were actually displayed in the Smithsonian Museum. 
um, like this. Um, beautiful masks, amazing, car amazing carvings, some, uh, uh, and incredible uh, sort of arrows and darts that, that, that existed and have been, have been sort of framed and uh, um, shown. They even had an idea where it came from, but where exactly in Guatemala it existed, we didn't know. So, and they wrote about that. So the lost mines, jadeite was one of the most valuable materials, not just for the Chinese um, or uh, sort of Eastern civilizations, but ancient Olmecs, Mayan, uh, um, Zapotecs, and also Mesoamerican cultures. Um, in the 16th century, uh, whole of Mesoamerica was conquered by Spanish. Mayans who controlled the jadeite mines dispatched guards to guard their treasure at mines of the most valuable material known to them. They valued this beautiful gemstone significantly more than any gold or, or silver um, or other precious gemstone. There's the story of Cortez and Montezuma, who were accustomed to uh, playing native games, which in many ways resembled chess. Um, it was their further custom at each close of each day to, uh, day's game to present each other with some sort of gift. At the close of one day's game, the Aztec monarch presented Cortez with several large discs of gold and silver handsomely worked. Cortez was greatly pleased and so expressed himself. Montezuma smiled and said, the gift tomorrow shall be such that today's gift will seem in value and preciousness when compared with it as no more than a single stone tile or a roadway, on a roadway, sorry. The royal treasurer of Montezuma brought in on a golden slavra the royal gift, four small carved of jade beads. The bittersweet disappointment of Cortez was so great that he could scarcely conceal it. Firstly, very ungrateful of Cortez yes. right there, yes. but um, <laughs> he, they didn't understand. That's This, this is no, the story. No. Cortez um, and the Spanish didn't understand why this, these tiny, uh, the, these small carvings, why they were more significant and more valuable than that of the gold and silver of the previous day. But Europeans had quite different priorities, gold and better known jewels above all emeralds. Thus, Mayans kept mines secret and Spaniards disregarded this. Guards of the mines died out and the location of the mine was forgotten. You know, if we just stop there, that's, that, that's where with this ancient history mm. was, it was lost, it was literally lost. Um, and to bring it back to a more current day, um, Oh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? I'm thinking of his name. No, the guy that is moulded around. Who is it? Sorry, doesn't matter. Uh, Indiana Jones, there we go. Indiana Jones. Um, Indiana Jones was literally inspired by oh, the couple that rediscovered uh -huh. this gemstone. Here they are. They are a, they are a, 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 a husband and wife team. It's like Jurassic Park. It does. It does, actually. In yeah. 1974, Jay Ridinger was on a trial for the lost sources of Mayan jade. He ran across the Smithsonian publication Mineralogical Studies of Guatemalan Jade, written in 1957 by William Foshag, the curator of geology at the Smithsonian Washington, D.C. Foshag published a map in which indicated... X marks the spot. Ridinger and his wife Mary Lou travelled to Guatemala and found the jade source exactly where he had said, situated in the Montague Valley. This is on the tectonic plate boundary between North American tectonic plate and the Caribbean tectonic plate. Please know that's not a small location. They would have literally had to scour through, you know, Guatemalan jungle to source this gemstone. I mean, it was lost for hundreds of years mm. for a reason, yeah. um, but they did find it. And ultimately, with that, with that news, with that exciting dis rediscovery. Um, they were expecting a, a, a fantastic, fantastic response. However, the riding has announced their find to the world and no one believed them. They were laughed at and called crazy until 1987. The National Geographic article, Jade, came out um, that they were vindicated. At the time of the Spanish invasion, the jade uh, sources were lost because of the reverence the Mayans had showed for the jade. This is the thing. They held it so highly oh, and guarded gosh, it yes. so well that 450 years later, 
we, we eventually get to appreciate mm. this gemstone. 450 years. We knew it existed because of pieces like, like, like the mask that I showed you early on, like that sword or, 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 or I don't know how else to describe it, maybe a spade or a dagger that we showed you just a few, um, a few moments ago. We knew it existed, but where was its location? Until very recently. Guatemalan jade is... A, a, Please know that there is one location of Olmec Blue in the world. Um, it is incredibly valuable, incredibly expensive. And like all varieties, all sources and locations of your jade, you are looking for not only the amazing colour, and it only forms in this colour in Guatemala, but also the translucency. This has some of the most prominent translucency of all Guatemalan jades that I've ever brought. There are 18 opportunities, certified natural, certified Olmec jadeite, the final 18 opportunities. You saw on the Wall of Fame earlier on that amazing piece um, that was what uh, finished off with 18 karat gold. Yeah, and that's what it's deserving of. The final 18. This is beautiful. It is it beautiful. It looks like the best Grand Didierite, doesn't it? Like, yeah. That same sort of colour. It's such a distinctive colour oh, as well. It's, it's a really amazing. rare colour. Um, well, blue naturally, as Dave was talking about that the, uh, yesterday. But um, but that particular, almost like an indicolite, as yeah, you said, Grand Didierite, like colour. Yeah. Very rare. There's no enhancement to this. It's all completely natural. Let's be honest. £3,999 actually isn't unrealistic especially if you do not this with say an 18 karat gold clasp that's not unrealistic no, no. as a price point when you consider just how amazingly translucent these rounds are in comparison to a ring that's quite yeah, opaque yeah. not as lovely it's it's nice don't get me wrong but it doesn't have the quality of color and that's $1,250. Please know that that's actually quite a good deal. Certified completely and utterly natural. We're actually talking about, this is, it's actually, Tiptoeing into being silly when we start talking about three-figure yeah. prices for Olmec Jade. For 450 years, this gemstone was literally lost to the world. It is back now, thank goodness. Um, but it is incredibly, incredibly rare. Please know this will never be as plentiful as any of the sort of big five gemstones, you know, that we are almost programmed to appreciate here, uh, here in the West. This is a, a variety, an eclectic opportunity that really, for many Many years for centuries we only ever appreciate and saw in museums uh hello to you michael um i used yes we oh, were just saying about yes. that michael we i use these in my wall of fame entry i'm tempted to get more as it's my favorite jade -like color um it almost glows in daylight absolutely um michael yeah we were we were admiring it this morning it's so beautiful and i love the fact that you went for 18 karat gold with it as well it deserves it it deserves 18 karat gold and it's only accentuating the value of the piece and the gemstones, ultimately. That colour is completely natural. The final 18 opportunities. You can get hold of, your, uh, hold of this on your four-way split pay as well with 0% interest. £499 only. It does literally glow. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say that's not a considered purchase. It is. £499 is, in, is a fairly sizable amount of money. However, however, for what you are getting, yeah. it is remarkable. You know, this is like me saying, OK, um, see if you can get hold of uh, 260 carats of Burmese jade. Uh, sorry, Burmese uh, ruby. See if you can get hold of 260 carats of natural Colombian emerald. You know, that's, these are big names and big gemstones, big price points that we're actually mentioning right now. There are seven available opportunities. 60 seconds. <laughs> oh, we are going to go lower today. Have you ever seen, look at that colour. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's remarkable, yeah. isn't it? 
There's like no other gemstone out there. I like think it would no work particularly well with every single other colour there is. It's one of those colours that works with everything. Even the lime green. I love that knotted lime green. I think that's so cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, with red jade, red. With, with, with the emperor yeah. white jade. Lavender purple, something Lavender like that. purples yeah. Yeah. with pearls. I think it looks absolutely yeah. amazing with pearls. Um, yesterday we have some natural orange, didn't we? Some natural mm. papaya yes, pearls right. as well. Yeah. I think it would look absolutely amazing with that. We are going to go lower for you. This is probably going to be, um, and I, I don't know it for certain, to, uh, as for certain, obviously, but if you get hold of this, I'm going to say it's probably one of your uh, most collectible purchases that you've ever made from us here at Jewelry Maker. The translucency, you can see that comparison, and I'm literally comparing with that website itself. They're, the Reininger's okay. website <laughs> themselves. You can see the quality that's, uh, that's in this strand. $569 for that rainforest necklace. It doesn't have the same quality of color. It's not as fine a grain um, uh, at crystal formation. And it's not £399 or £99 on your split pay. The final six opportunities, these are getting snapped up and allocated. They do literally glow. I can see you there. Please use your 30-day money-back guarantee. It's one of the biggest carat weights that we have um, in your type A Olmec Jade. Definitely worthwhile you getting hold of your certificate of authenticity. This is lowest ever price. It's never been anywhere near £399. Um, we had two um, Olmec uh, Guatemalan jadeites in the first hour. They sold out. This is actually a bigger carat weight. Um, I've got this under £100 on split pay for the first time ever. Well done. Well done, well done. Karen, Anna, you've done it. Uh, 38, full 38 centimetres of Olmec jadeite. Get this back. I, I know it costs money, and I know it's... it's it, I have to say it though, because when you get hold of something of this rarity, it's definitely worthwhile spending that additional 25p for the certificate. Mm, yeah. um, and when you do get this valued, you know, um, take it to a, a reputable, of course, gemologist um, who will appreciate the rarity of what they are holding right now. Never tell them what you paid for it because that's no reflection of the true value or worth. Or where you bought it. Or where you bought it from, absolutely. <laughs> Never tell them that information. Um, they might ask you, but don't tell them. Mm. Don't tell them. Make them work for the money that they're charging no. you and um, they will not come back with the valuation of what's on your screens right now that's no. the reality um there are two of these left within the vault now amazing well done geraldine you can do it maker on the um on the web you can do it cumbria you can do it as well um geraldine you've just got yours it's stunning i've got one left that's it one left that's beautiful derbyshire this is the sort of piece Cumbria that, that, and um, Surrey. I would make a bracelet, a macrame bracelet maybe, and just one of these pieces that you wear every day. Every it's single day. Yeah. And you, you, you just get, you're going to get mm. asked about it as well, and you can tell that amazing yeah. story of the riding yeah, is. Yeah, it's amazing. How it was lost for literally 450 years. And what would have happened if National Geographic hadn't have done the story? What would have happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The riding is would have been no. there just, oh, it's yeah. all right. I'll, I'll keep it to myself. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Well done, everybody. But you know what? Even if this was an abundant gemstone, it deserves that price per carat, yeah. those dizzy high, high, uh, height price per carat um, because of its beauty. So beautiful. Shall we do some more jade eye mm. in a size? <gasps> I know, I know. I was just thinking that myself. Kiss cross. Yeah, from the nine o'clock hour. Yeah. So this should, we could have played this in the nine o'clock hour and it was sold out. So because earlier on today, and I don't know if they are still available, have a look on the website or speak to our call centre. Um, wow. We brought you 15 O bundles, didn't we? Yeah, so if you wanted yeah. to do jadeites, I've got this one bit of fluff that seems to be bothering me. <laughs> you, know, you feel it on your nose. Um, <laughs> imagine Kiss Cross, yeah. that technique with type A natural Burmese incredible. jade. Yeah. Oh, and you said about you said about the Amazonite that you actually prefer the multicolor the multicolor yeah, I love selections. This. I love you love this. Well, you've but I wouldn't I wouldn't split this up. I would I would re-strand it or do my desire off the strand because I like I like the mixture of colors. It's like a mixed barrel. I never separate mixed barrel. Yeah, beautiful. It just looks so beautiful together. Like I that. agree. Look at that yeah, color it's there. Incredible, isn't it? Look at the intensity of the greens. You've got some really oh, beautiful yeah. yellows. You've got the pure whites in here, all totally natural type A grade. 
Um, we're going to do this in two price drops. How many do we have then, Roscoe? A hundred. Oh. Okay. I could I could genuinely count on, um, no, yeah, probably one hand the amount of times I bring four mil rounds to air. Mm. In Jedi, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be joining you on this one as well because I want to get hold of. I'd probably multi buy because I really like sort of uh, uh, like a, a bunch of clustered long line four oh, millimeter yeah. rounds. Okay, let's open this auction up to everybody at a pound per carat. Remember, we are doing two price drops though. Oh, you're joking. You oh, can no. dick. Oh, I'm going to repeat what producer Ross has just said in my ear. It's like, I tell you what, our lovely audience, if you're Jay Dyke lovers, look, it's our number one. There he is. There he is, our Roscoe. It's our number one top selling gemstone. No two ways about it. Jay Dyke is our number one best selling gemstone. We rarely ever get it in, in four mil rounds. Wow. Now, how often, how, how often have you been uh, given uh, this opportunity? You can dictate the price. If there's enough of you there, Huh? We'll half it. Oh no! Can you count? Well, can you count me, Ross? Because I'd like about four of these. Oh, my word! Call, count me in that list, because I want to get about four of these. I tell you what, sixty-second clock. That's your call to action. If there's enough of you there. And I'm, root, I'm rooting for this as well, because I'm with you. I'll be benefiting from, um, from that half price as well. I don't think people are just going to buy one, though. You don't see four mil rounds very often. I've not done a Jay Dyke kiss cross, so this, this would be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd be gorgeous. I think Grand did you right, but I've not done Jay Dyke. How strange. How many would you need? Strands. Well, if you were doing stations, you'd only need one strand. You'd only need because one. Because, as I said, you'd put you know an inch, inch and a half of 50 nodes in between to separate the stations or pop in a, round, a larger round. I mean, one of the um, Olmec in between oh. your stations just to highlight them. Olmec yeah. jade. So you've got Guatemalan yeah. and Burmese. Yeah. How amazing is that? Savvy shopping, Anjum. Yeah, straight in there, Anjum. Well done. Well Gail done. as well. Congratulations. You can count me next to Anjum and Gail and Irene. I'd be, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'd be multi-buying too. The phone lines have gone crazy. Let's do it. Let's Is do he going to do it? Yeah, there's loads of you there. Loads of you there. We don't see four mil round. I know. Yeah. Look at that intensity of green. Fucking and there, yeah. yeah. <gasps> no. 20 pounds, as promised. I'm joining you. These make lovely tassels. They make really nice, um, and it was you actually, Mark, that inspired me to do this. Just literally, just keep threading, 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 yeah. threading to make these really lovely, yeah, um, almost knee skimming, but then you yeah, can yeah. sort of uh, loop them round. Or well, Hannah's um, spectacle chain, Rose Willink spectacle chain. Yeah. Oh, made in Jade Eye. Ah, gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, we haven't referenced it in a while, but like your Ashley Clark classic stacker style yeah. bracelets, nice little yeah. charm bracelets. I love a four mil. I just think. Yeah, four mils, um, I think, in any gemstone are just so versatile. They're like the four mil equivalent of a pearl. I just think uber versatile. They can literally, yeah. you can wear them for, with, with every kind of outfit on all different occasions. £19.99. Certified completely and utterly natural Taipei. Yeah. If you are brand new to our channel, then do make sure you join us. Um, you only pay one post and packaging all day, regardless of how many items you actually purchase. Oh. We have a UK based uh, UK based contact center um, so you can call on our free uh, free uh, landline free off your landline sorry 0800 655 it takes a couple of minutes to set up your uh, account also join us on our social media platforms as well because you get lots of inspiration and guidance from um, our lovely designers and viewers <clears throat> that's got to be one of the best J, uh, um, type A jadeite deals we've ever done it's got to be Ross just said that about himself he what? just he just said that's probably one of the best JDAC deals I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> I mean to be fair. That's amazing. To be amazing. fair, twenty pounds. That's not we do we Incredible. do no disrespect, we do moo kite for that price. We do, we absolutely do. Don't yeah. we? Yeah. We do we do no disrespect to this gemstone, we do topaz for that wow. price. Type A Jade, Burmese, the mine's closed. Um okay. We're getting serious. Oh. This is my favourite ever colour. Oh, how perfect are they together? I was here when Dave launched it. Was it with you or? Yeah. Yeah. And, oh. Can I just, can I? Are you going to do your thing? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do my best. We need to give this a name. Yeah. 
And I probably would blend them. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful. But that. Just works so well together. Oh, that colorway oh. is gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Two yeah. different locations. I don't think that really matters though. We are looking at here, and obviously we've brought you the Olmec Jade, sweet yellow um, or honey is the highest in jades. Suet like jade, the white mutton fat jade, the second. Yellow jade is difficult to get while white jade can be seen from time to time. That is why white jade is treasured more than yellow jade because of the former scarcity. That, gemstones can be victims of their own rarity, mm, yeah, if that yeah. makes sense. The only reason diamonds are as, uh, as widely celebrated as they are is because they're plentiful. They are. I, remember, I always remember Steve Bennett told me once that if zircon was taken on by De Beers, there would be none left on the planet. It was sold out in a year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sold out in Incredible, a year. Incredible, isn't it? Um, uh, Literus from Ming played jade, appreciated yellow jade, the most precious. To the Qing dynasty, yellow was only monopolized by the royals. The respect by the royals about yellow jade pushed its status to a peak in history. And look at the strand that's on our screens right now. Look how beautiful it is. Lovely. This That was literally alongside that literature describing the, you know, the, the significance of yellow yeah. jade. Now look at yours. It's like an opaque amber, isn't it? But it glows. Yeah. They literally glow, don't Caramel they? Caramel. and I, I, This is my favourite strand I think Dave has ever brought to air. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is gorgeous. Love it. Yeah. Well, it's difficult to get hold of, what, of yellow jades. So we've said that already. We yeah. found... Um, we found... One piece. One, yeah. Translucent, vibrant honey, which is what yours is as well. Uh, yellow cabochon jadeite ring. Icy translucent honey yellow jadeite cabochon is designing uh, is designed into a jade ring. The jade uh, ring is set in 18 karat yellow gold with diamonds. Um, see the location there, Burmese. Um, you can see 100% natural, authentic, type A quality. Um, Dave did make an inquiry about this ring. There we go. You can see the WhatsApp. Oh, did he? Yeah, that's his WhatsApp screenshot oh. right there. Oh, no. um, this yellow cabochon price is $3,800. US dollars, that is, by the way. US dollars. Wow. Um, 3800 That's a single cabochon. Granted, this diamond's an 18 karat gold, mm -hmm. but it's one cabochon. And that's not just an isolated case. We found another, which high-end jadeite... Mm, <laughs> yeah. No, no. Um, okay. Natural grey day. Okay. I see yellow bands. Let's let's go with that. Seven hundred ninety-nine US dollars. Let's roll with it. It's a terrible photograph, I have to say. Um, there's a lot of banding within this as well. I would be dubious. I'd want to see the certificate with that one. I've got to be honest. Um, just because the banding seems to be positioned in exactly the same place on all of them. Yeah. So that makes it raises <laughs> alarm bells to me. Anyway, 799 US dollars for that. It's a lot of money. 799. Yours is certified completely and utterly natural. We certify from a gemological laboratory. Look at this. Here we go. Yellow jade bangle. Has Dave bought yellow bangles to wear? Yet? No, um, we never will. Oh, okay. We never will. Right. It's, it's so rare. I, I right. never say never, I guess, yeah. but highly unlikely. Right. Highly unlikely. If they, if they do, I am on it because I love the yellow jade as well. Mm. Um, look at the price, though. Sold <laughs> for 12,500 US dollars back in 2019 God. after the massive price increase that yeah. jade um, has, uh, has, has achieved just lately. How many do I have? Oh, there's 20, Mark. Oh, it, if, you, if you can, if you got that, if you got the Olmec blue. Together, it's just. The together are just amazing. They look absolutely beautiful together. Look at that. Look at how heavily saturated. There's no patches of mm, other colours. No, no, they no. are solid yellows. Now, and, and, and I'm just briefly going to um, talk about this. Remember jade forms in boulders? 
the fancy colours like your reds and yellows, they actually come under the same category and they only transform to those colours because of oxidising, which tells me that, which tells us rather, that literally this, it's the skin. That's why you don't get solid colours um, of yellow jade. It's because it's literally on the very surface of the boulder itself. And yet each and every single one of these beautiful, perfect rounds is a solid, solid, warm, honey yellow. We have how many? 20. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's my favourite as yeah, well. I love it. Of colours of the jade out. I love it. I do love the Guatemalan too. It's hard to choose, isn't it? I love the white. Oh, I don't know. But I love the yellow because it is so unusual and oh, warm. Another clock. <laughs> there are 20 opportunities, or rather there were. Today... You'll have this in time for Christmas. We're going to take this strand, not £499, which is a great deal. Did you, did you see, apart from that bank, that bracelet, which I'm dubious about, at £799, did you see, it's still 799 sorry, dollars. £499, I'm giving you £300 savings straight away, and it's better quality. Yes. But... Today, we're going to take this strand where you could make multiple bracelets under £200. <laughs> if you're making just single drop earrings, one in each ear, you'd, you'd sell that for £50, £60, pounds, wouldn't you, just for a pair of earrings? Oh, my goodness, yeah. If you got hold oh, of the, yeah. the white nephrite earlier on... Oh, amazing. Hanging can underneath. you imagine just one yellow jadeite on a top of the heart nephrite? How beautiful would that be? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Ross! Oh, well no. under £200. That's a hot... Goodness me. £64.50. Oh, I'm shopping already today. We knew that. I, I knew I was going to be with Mark's collection. So, you know, baskets open. Might as well get involved. Um, I'll be adding the Type Age 8 Dyke 4 mils to my order as well. And... Mm, I'd love to see a, um, a photograph of Karen's collection. Yeah. Be phenomenal, wouldn't it? Yeah, Cara, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that there are um, lovely ladies and, uh, and gents up and down and around the world. We've got collectors over in uh, San Francisco. We've got wow. collectors who literally shop with us rather than uh, from Hong Kong. Um, oh, because it's all certified, etc. <laughs> yeah. So they know what they're buying, they trust what they're buying, the quality that we offer um, our viewers is amazing. Rather than going to sort of the jade markets where you have to, you know, you have to be cautious. You do need to be cautious with um, and completely trust what you are um, uh, what you are purchasing. This is certified, gemologically certified. Genuine natural jade eye. I've got six opportunities remaining. Kerry, Janet, Karen, Gillian, Jill, uh, Cumbria, Karen. I've got Susan and Irene there as well. It's not just a, it's not just a, 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 I don't know, a hint of yellow. It's completely yellow, isn't it? It's that really beautiful, warm, butterscotch honey yellow, which is so distinctive and unique to this beautiful gemstone. I didn't even know existed, to be honest. Didn't even know existed. Remember that ring, 3,800 US dollars. Uh, Dave made an inquiry. The reason why we're not showing you lots and lots and lots of pieces is, to be honest, it's not available. You don't mm. get a huge amount. Remember, it was it was uh, only royally adorned, you know, hundreds of years ago. 3,800 um, wow. SGD, I, I assume that's meant, is that, what does that stand for? I assume, I think he said dollars. Right. I think he said it's that's like what dollars. it is. Um, um, there we go. But that's, you know, it's a lot of money. Have you ever, have you ever um, done a POA? Have you ever phoned and asked for a price or asked? No. No, I haven't either. I always get a bit embarrassed. I feel obliged, wouldn't you? I don't know. So tell a lie. I did actually on an 18 karat gold clasp. I'm getting oh, on that soapbox again, oh, aren't right. I? Yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah, there was a clasp that I wanted, and and, and um, initially, I've ordered them. Um, I've ordered some clasps for, for some of my pills that I've bought from Jewelry Maker, but um, there was one I found. It was actually from Italy, oh. or, um, which was beautiful. And I said, "Oh, you know, how much is this one?" And he was like, "Sorry, it's only to the trade." So I'd have to be a fully established jewellers to buy it, basically. So that's fine. Keep, I'll keep my money, thank you. you. Then, yeah. Keep my money. Um, okay, should we do Gosh. another... Oh. Look at these. Bring it back, bring it back. The last jadeite today. 
sorry, last yellow. This would work beautifully with the daffodil from the collection, <gasps> wouldn't it? This strand. Yes, I Mark. think it's a perfect colour match. We're going to do this in one price crash. Oh. You get four huge 10 millimetre certified natural type A jades. Imagine that, Mark. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you blend it better, but can you, you get the idea? That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Under £100 for these four 10 millimetre jadeites. Under £100. They are ginormous. Again, and to go back to, what was the details on that ring again? Can we see? It's, uh, there we go. You can see the me me uh, measurements. Um, 11, 11 millimetres in terms of um, its actual size. Does it say the carat weight? No, I don't think it does. It just literally talks about the, the actual me uh, millimetres. So if you can imagine, these are cut in half. It's not far off the size um, for that cabochon times eight if you get where I'm coming yeah, from, yeah, yeah. Um, because yes, you've got a full absolutely. spherical bead. Yep. That complete saturation is through and through. In 22 seconds, we are taking this under 100 pounds. Um, I know we do not have an abundance of yellow jadeite within our vault, obviously. It is certified completely and utterly natural. I mean, you could literally just put these on 18 karat gold class and make a significant profit overnight, couldn't you? You or do nothing. You could do nothing to them. You could put a clasp on a lobster claw with a head pin and just have it as a charm on a bracelet, oh, couldn't you? Just yellow just, jade eye. Just one, that's all you need. Oh you're joking. <laughs> Three thousand eight hundred for that ra that cabochon. For that, half a cab for, for half, half a round, yeah. yes, yes. And you're getting four. You're getting oh my goodness me. Well technically you'd be getting eight of those almost. Look at the quality of that colour. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They literally pop, don't they? It's, it's the most one of the most yellow gemstones mm, I think yeah, that yeah. exist. Does that make sense? I'm trying to think what, what colour it looks like food stuff wise. It's like a well, it's, oh, a it's honey, referred to honey, honey, yeah. There's honey. Mm. Mm. Actually, Dave yeah. Dave actually yeah. came up with oh, the yeah. best. Yeah. Egg yolk. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah. It is literally like yeah, a, right. a really beautiful fresh egg, yeah, yeah. you know, like that, that gorgeous dippy egg yolk. Amazing. £79 for all four. Um, okay, we're going to do what? The lotus beads. Oh. And then we're going to dive into the Brazilian tourmaline. And then we've got your masterclass, which I'm mm. very excited about as well. Um, these are lovely mm. and really unique, really, really unique in terms of how they're actually cut. Obviously, they, um, they have a difference. Um, so I'm going to show you in two different prices. Um, the lotus flower is very symbolic, and we've spoken about that with Mark's collection quite a lot, um, with different flora and fauna as well. The lotus flower is a, a symbol of rebirth and positivity and coming through a journey. So essentially, what, 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 we're at 20 pounds? Not done there. But there's two. <laughs> I would put a piece of wire through the two holes. Yeah. And then I would macrame with cord onto the wire and make a macrame bangle and have that as the watch face. It, it, it literally sits yeah. elevated, doesn't it? Does. it? So you could almost... Yeah. Oh, it has a ring. I see what you mean. Wear it as a ring too. Yes, yeah. How cool, because can you see under here, you've actually got the curve of the jadeite, totally nat uh, natural jadeite. You've got that curve. So yeah, on the wrist or on the finger would be absolutely yes. amazing. You've yeah. got those two drill holes, um, both hand carved, master carved. I can't believe we're that's no, ten pounds no, no, each. Don't. The symbol of the the lotus flower, you know, it's coming through a journey. Maybe you know somebody or, or you yourself have been through a little bit of a hard time. Um, it, yeah, it's it, it's that symbol of hope, I guess, and strength. What is this, Ross? Only 60? Only six. 13 pound. For both, that's still the, for mm. both, yeah? Please don't, we, six pound 50 each. 60 oh. is a massive quantity. Not at that price, he says. I love this shape. I think they're absolutely beautiful. The fact that you can actually, you know, just loop, if you like, um, a, 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 I don't know, a, a thicker gauge of wire to create a shank and you've just made a really gorgeous ring. That simple. 
The lotus flower as well, all the meanings and the popularity of the lotus flower, £6.50 each. That's just ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Amazing. Again, certified completely and utterly natural, type A, genuine jade, hand carved by um, a, a master carver. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Loving that shape. Absolutely loving it. Um, Heather, well and true. Meath getting two. Kath's got two. Karen's got two. Maker in Lincolnshire got two. Cheshire, Jennifer, <laughs> Janice, Merthyr Tidfil, Karen, Zena, well done. Arthur, um, Cheryl Ann, Susan, Kay. I had 60, but they are absolutely flying out the door. Make sure you check out. I mean, seriously, 12, 12 pounds. Madness, right. It is it? crazy. That, there's no reason for that Even whatsoever. Even for one, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Even for a tiny one, yeah. that's ridiculous. Now, I'm really excited about this parcel. Um, I did have the honour, and it is an honour, to bring you this next gemstone. Um, when I first started my, um, my presenting career, uh, originally um, I was sort of put on the USA channel, so, which was uh, very exciting. And I always remember Pareba Tourmaline to, and it still is the case, by the way, was always considered to like, oh my gosh, you've got a Pareba Tourmaline showcase. Mm -hmm. Like everybody yeah. knew about you having a Pareba Tourmaline showcase. Um, but that was normally your Madagascan, yeah? Because it was long before my time when Steve Bennett actually had Brazilian Pareba Tourmaline. And nobody would even think that Brazilian Praeba Tourmaline would be available moving forward because it's gone, it's mined out. But let's talk about this gem for a second. So what is Praeba Tourmaline? For those, my, my husband loves this gem. So it's one of the only gems that I can see him get excited about. Wow. Loves it. Um, what is Praeba? Well, the fascinating story of a rare gem. From the Brazilian state of Praeba, neon bright Pareba tourmaline are one of the most sought after gemstones in the world. And it's easy to see why. It is stunning, striking, unforgettable, um, unrivaled in its particular color and saturation. In just a few decades, Pareba tourmalines have become one of the sought after, uh, one of the most sought after gemstones in the world. First discovered in 1980, so, 1980s, so this is not that long ago, um, by Hita Dimas Barbosa, who spent years digging in the hills of the Brazilian state of Paraiba on a hunch that oh. something special was hidden there. He must have known he had hit the jackpot when, a jackpot when he set his eyes on the first neon bright Paraiba tourmaline. What makes Paraiba tourmaline so unique? Almost every shade of tourmalines can be found in Brazil but none has the vivid glow that distinguishes the Pareba tourmaline, also known as uh, Cuprian el Elbit, is that right? I never say that word. So. Um, a product of trace element copper, color ranges from start startling turquoise to majestic blue-greens. But it is the incandescent glow that appears to light up the stone from within that makes Pareba tourmalines incomparable to any other gemstone. So... With Pareba tourmaline, you are talking about a gemstone that has a copper presence. You can have a sort of bluey green tourmaline, um, but if it doesn't have that copper presence, technically it's not a Pareba. How rare, this is really important to digest, how rare is Brazilian Pareba, and in particular, Brazilian. We're not talking about other locations right now. To put the rarity into perspective, there is only one Pareba tourmaline mined for every 10,000 diamonds. And a good quality Pareba from Brazil, weighing over three carats, is virtually unheard of. So rare are authentic Brazilian Pareba tourmalines that it's not unusual for them to achieve five figures per carat. So we are talking about one of, yeah. I'd say, yeah, the rarest and most beautiful gemstones that exists. In a surprising twist of the Pareba tale, in 2003, a new way of luminous green blue tourmalines entered the market, mined by hand in a copper rich mountain of Mozambique and Nigeria. Pareba like in every way, with only minute chemical differences to those on Earth in Brazil, they are often found weighing five carats or more, and of course, an ongoing debate as to what can and can't be, by definition, called a Pareba tourmaline. Some insist that only tourmalines from Brazil state are Parabas, uh, uh, of Paraba are Parabas, while others are more inclusive. Do you know what? 
uh, what side of the camp and I am. I would say if it's got a chemical composition, you can call it a paraba tourmaline. Um, however, I don't think we can deny the Brazilian variety is significantly more expensive and more energetic. The quality of a paraba tourmaline range from $2,000 to $50,000 per carat. Um, Toby, uh, Toby Cavill, who, uh, who we all know and love here at Gemporia, his mum has the most amazing Brazilian Pereba tourmaline. You would see it from yes, literally... Space. Yes, space. <laughs> it's absolutely yeah. incredible. Um, remarkable. And it's like that photograph that wow. you've just seen there. Some Mozambique material sells for well over uh, 5,000 US dollars per carat. Some Brazilian material sells for well over 10,000 per carat, <laughs> and it ca can fetch up to 100,000 per carat. It is the most expensive tourmaline, much more than other colors. So now we are about to see the difference. We've had Brazilian Parabas here uh, at Gemporia, way back when Steve first founded this company. Then we went into your Mozambique, which is still beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I own some Mozambique Pareva Tormley, and I know some of our lovely collectors do as well. But we never even entertained since the Brazilian Pareva Tormley literally was mined out. It was a very short window, very time, very short time frame, that we'd be able to recreate or re-offer this opportunity. I am about to bring you Brazilian Pareva Tormley. The only reason we have this parcel is because it is from Steve Bennett's parcel, his collection, that he has allowed us to bring to air. Dave launched it first time round. This is the only way that we can get hold of Brazilian Pereba tourmaline is literally to take it from our founder. <laughs> That's the only reason. And do you know what? Any one of these mm. set in a gold, they should be gold in my opinion, surrounded by a couple of diamonds, accented, whichever size, melee, whatever. You know, these are, please know that these are mm. incredible, incredible heirloom pieces. The graphics are about to appear. You are guaranteed one carat of certified, genuine Brazilian Pereba tourmaline. You've certainly heard me say in the past that, look, province doesn't make any difference. It does, it shouldn't matter. Um, I, I mention it, of course I do. I, I'll talk about sort of your Mozambique, uh, your, your, sorry, your Mogok Ruby. I'll talk about um, your Congo, uh, Malachite. Um, yeah, absolutely. But really the beauty of the gemstones is what is most important. You know, how, how beautiful those stones are. When it comes to Pereba tourmaline, it really makes a difference. Mm. You know, it, it, the fact that you are able to say Brazilian, that it's mined out, it is completely and utterly gone, certified Brazilian Pereba uh, tourmaline. You've got as well, um, and I'm, I'm on this image, you can see there the Windex blue. That's the most sought after color. And we've actually shown you photographs of the Windex blue in some of, the, in some of our presentation as well. There we go. Windex blue right there. Right there. We go to, um, before COVID, we went to Winchester every winter because they have a big Christmas market. Mm. And they've got some quite high-end jewellery shops in the High Street in Winchester. In Winchester, absolutely. But I've taken a photograph. It's on my phone. I've taken a photograph. This was this was about six years ago now of a of a three carat, eighteen carat gold Pereba. It, it did say Pereba. It didn't say from where, but it said Pereba tourmaline ring for fifty thousand pounds. Oh. For three carats. And that was, that was, I said, that was in a high street jewellers in, in Winchester. Wow. It's, it, there's yeah. no denying this is one. This is a hugely expensive stone. Yeah. We only have it because, basically, we asked Steve. <laughs> <laughs> have you got this? Would you buy this? Oh, absolutely. For your, for your collection? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Oh, it's beautiful. I, you, you are guaranteed to get one parcel. Look at that. It's so important that we say this Brazilian. Yes. Brazilian Pereba Tormley. That's not your price. Certificate, again, vital. Do you know what? You, uh, we were speaking about the Boodles Rain Dance collection, where you have literally sort of all these different colours. Usually it's a different selection of gemstones or maybe diamonds in this really beautiful... Emma Thompson's got one, I know, oh, that she wears right. it. But you to a beautiful little rubbed-over settings in this wonderful sort of cluster ring. Imagine it putting that one carrot in one amazing rain dance inspired ring we're not stopping here how many did you say we had we 
we've got really and dave launched these yeah Gosh, well yeah. he's he's good friends with steve yeah. and uh, obviously steve has got an amazing collection himself he's been a, a collecting gemstone for many years that's the only reason that you are getting brazilian parade tourmaline on our screens right now do you want to see another price that's not 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 what we're paying Not paying. How much did you say that ring was? And 50, I know it was three carats. Pounds, Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a photograph of it with the price. Probably it's a bit. I mean, <laughs> do, do, do you ever think though, when you look at Brazilian Prada tourmaline, though, when you whenever you see it, you go, yeah, I can see that price tag. Yeah, it yeah. it looks like it's worth yeah, that money though, doesn't yeah, it? Doubt. And you will literally see it from streets away. The colour is wow. just amazing. It's a miracle of nature that was only discovered in the 1980s. We're not stopping at £99. You will never get an opportunity to get Brazilian Paraiba Tourmaline at double figures again. I'm saying that very, very, very confidently. Listen, I'm happy to be proven wrong. Of course I am. But we don't get opportunities to get natural certified Brazilian Paraiba Tourmaline at double figures. Ever. I've been presenting now for 10 years. And I've never done, other than this launch, this very launch when I was joined, when I was privileged to join Dave, I've never seen this price tag for, for Brazilian Paraba. Do you know what? I've never seen any Paraba at this price. <laughs> any Paraba. 79.99, it just doesn't happen. No. You don't see double no. figures. Right now, I know that our lovely friends and colleagues over on our sister channel, who will be able to see us right now, Mark, won't they? Because we're on a big yeah, screen behind are. the MD's <laughs> desks. You've got the production team right in front, of, uh, in front of them. They're going to be looking at this, rolling their eyes, going, for goodness sake. Do they, probably thinking, do they not realise what they got? <laughs> yeah. That's what they're thinking. Do they not yeah. realise what they actually have on our screens right now? Yes, we fully, completely understand what we have. A carrot of Brazilian Braber tourmaline. And no, it shouldn't be available at £26.66. Oh, it's wow. silly. It's absolutely ridiculous. That, this, that's why I say very confidently, you're not going to get Brazilian Braber tourmaline at, at double figure price tag moving forward. I'm happy to be proven wrong, of course. You shouldn't get Mozambique for that. This location's mined out. It's gone. No, no, it's all gone. Well done. Marie, Shirley, Karen, Gillian, Sharon, Jane, Annette, Sarah, and Fuchsia, Helen, Claire, um, uh, another uh, Kafili. Hello to you. Keep on dialing through new customers. Right. Um, we're going to move on because we have got your amazing masterclass still to bring you as well. Um, beautiful pearls. Brand new cord. Brand new cord. Yeah. But what is it about these pearls that's so exciting? This brand new thick cord will go through your pearls. Amazing. Big mm. whole pearls yeah. up after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. 
From December the 1st, you've got to go to our website where we've got our special Let It Glow promotion. We've got over a thousand lines added with up to 70% off. It's going to be incredible. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi everybody, please join me this weekend where I'm going to be bringing you developing news stories about Sarai as well as bringing you some Sarai opportunities. We're bringing you the story of the legendary Olmec Jadeite and some of the world's finest natural pearls. You're not going to want to miss this incredible show. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. This is a first. I know! Well, we, we have we have hobby maker royalty in the studio. We had to vacate up this end. I'm very excited. Yes. Hello, hello. I'm very, <laughs> hello, Natalie. I'm very excited about opening my Christmas card book. It's beautiful. Just say so myself. Did you make it yourself? I did. With Hunky Dory's help. Would, I was going to say, would Natalie have something to do I've with I've got that shares well? in Hunky Dory, I tell <laughs> I you. heard what you said earlier <laughs> on in terms of how much you've made. Well, Andrew doesn't know. Andrew doesn't know. Don't, no, we'll end that conversation <laughs> right there. Yes. <laughs> um, but they're beautiful. It's they worth every penny. Art. They are works of art. Um, shall we do the calendar? First time I've done it, I think. Is it? Well, yeah. then you definitely need oh, to do I? it. Shall now, I? if you are one of our lovely audience that is saving their calendar until Christmas morning, um, look away now, mute us for oh. a, a, a couple of minutes, Never basically. Thought of that. Yeah, because there are people that have got it literally wrapped up under the tree. As a Christmas mm. present. I, um, I've got a calendar from um, Chatsworth in Derbyshire. We were there in the summer and they, mm. you know, they have everything done. And I'm pretty sure that when I opened the door yesterday, Count Dracula was behind it. Count I Dracula? I don't think it was Count Dracula, but it looked like Count Dracula, which was a strange one. It's, not, it's a funny one to have uh, yes, over the that's Christmas what I period. Thought. It definitely had a look of Christopher Lee about him. I'm not <laughs> sure what he was. I think he was a carol singer, but, but a it, carol did look, singer. it did look like Count Dracula. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> they try to start, I don't know, singing, <laughs> silent night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very odd. Amazing. Very odd. Well, listen, right. you should definitely do ours then. So it's the 15th, isn't it, today? It is the 15th. 10 days till Christmas. 15th, here we go. So exciting. Here we go. Okay. Now, these have been made up. So right. um, we'll tell you the components. Um, Anne and Sue have actually made, or not. <laughs> or not. Oh, I'm not sure. Yes, oh. yes. Let's have, they? have a look. Now, Nikki texted in this morning, didn't she? And she said how beautiful she did? number 15 was. Oh, yes, look. Hang on. Oh, there's a little bit of paper. What's that? Hang on. Oh, they're very cute. What's what that? is it, piece? What does it say? 
Shepherd hooks are from box nine. Okay. So the components are these sterling silver stars. Oh, okay. Are we allowed to really show? Are we showing? We, could, we? we yeah. Hang on, I'm just yeah. going to... Okay. Let, oh, you show me. those then, that's, that's nice. There you are. So you've got a really beautiful little sweet pair of uh, star earrings. Oh, they're cute. How amazing, sterling silver star earrings. Very I tell nice. you what, you get an amazing value for money, you are aren't you? Yes. I did say when we first launched the um, advent calendar that it was the best one we've mm. ever done. Amazing. Ever, ever done. And you could technically make a suite with that as well because yes. you got three, didn't you? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Until tomorrow, same time tomorrow. So 12 o'clock, we'll actually find out what's in box number 16. Should we have a little look? Can we sneak a peek in? Ooh. Oh, right. Ooh. Say no more. Mum's the word. Yeah, I'll tune in to see that. Yeah, me too. Amazing. Right, I'm going to pass that. Let's put that over there. Mm. There we go. And Mark, talk to us about your masterclass because you're very excited about the masterclass. So I, lo I love cord and I like macrame and knotting and, and it's not very often that I do macrame on a show. I've probably done three or four this year, not very many. And what I love doing is macrame with big cords. But the only way that you can do macrame with big cords is use the cord as the lazy strand mm. and then bead on the working strands around, which yeah. takes away the, the joy of it, really, doesn't it? Yeah, you, want okay. it all on, you want it all on the same lazy strand. So these three kits appeared on my door wait, about wait, a week and a half ago. Three kits. Yeah, it's three kits. I thought that was one, two. No, 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 no. Oh. The three kits. You have two reels of cord and two strands of pearls in each of the kits. I see. But the difference is that these chunky thick cords, look, if I pull out one of the ends here, okay, can you see? Really thick and chunky cords, yep, will go through the pearls. No way. Now, pearls are notorious yep. for having some they much are. narrower drill holes, they are. aren't they? Yes, and look. Oops, oh, don't want to lose that. There we go. Just to prove it. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. So yeah, to actually drill yeah, yeah. A, a pearl um, with any thicker drill hole is a, ch a real challenge. You've got to remember this is an organic material. Yeah, they, yeah. Can, they can break. I know. What? What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they can break. They can ease. That's what we're looking at right now. Sorry. Um, that's got to be a best one yet. Um, <laughs> Sorry, but I've been frozen on. They can fracture, can't they? They, yep. you know, uh, when. Mm. When you're drilling a pearl, it can be quite brittle. But look at this. Amazing. So you're saying a minimum of two millimetres. Yeah, absolutely. So if you look at the two bracelets to your left, the one in the turquoise blue, I've actually knotted. I've pearl knotted with this thick cord. Can you see the oh, knot in between the yes. turquoise beads there? So you can knot it. I've put cord all the way through. No, they're fantastic. That's gorgeous, Mark. Just literally... Just a simple knot, oh. a piece of cord you tie on your wrist and you don't do anything else. So you can knot in between. That. You could put a little jump ring, a spacer, all sorts of things. Doesn't it bring a contemporary twist, though, yeah, to pearls? Yeah, it's amazing. It's, We've never been able to do it before. No, pearls are, pearls are quite um, so traditional. Seen as quite traditional, of course, um, but bringing so it gives them a more modern edge, mm. I guess, mm. um, and makes them, I, I think, sort of multi generational. But not only that, the palette of these are stunning. They're lovely, I mean, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they are so gorgeous. beautiful. Yeah. You've got sort of a, um, a palette of pinks. You've got sort of your more glacial light yep. blues and, and white. Peacocks, yeah. And then your peacock colours. No, so pretty, Mark. I didn't get time to do the pink kit, but I've, I've used up pretty much all of the, the other pieces from the, from the other kits. And the piece nearest you on the bus there, I've kumahimoed. And the, um, that kumahimo took me about 20 minutes because the cord's so thick. It builds up. Yep. So, ah. so it's, a, it's um, eight cords, two at north, two at south in one colour, two at east and two at west in the other colour on your basic round disc. You've seen me do it on the show quite a few times. And then we've got, as a little extra, we've got these amazing caps. Can you see the caps on the end of your yeah, of the braid? Yeah. We've got those coming up. Oh, brilliant. So if yep. you wanted to actually yep. kumahima with this cord, then we've got the perfect caps Absolutely. for it as well. Yep. I love yeah. this. This is what I'm demoing. Are you going to demo this yeah. one? Yeah, this, this is the, a romantic technique called piranha's jawbone. <laughs> I'm, cu I'm curiously <laughs> thinking about what a, a piranha's jawbone looks, looks just like. like that. Just like that? Just like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, with the teeth. Do you yeah. know, as a child, I used to be terrified. I did. I was as well. I think it was the film. Yeah, it Do you remember the film? The films. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying. It's like arachnophobia. Yeah. Are I you... came across this weird film the other day that I only watched about two minutes of called Sharknado. 
and it's about sharks that get sucked up into a tornado and then they get dropped on a town and <laughs> somehow survive and eat people. <laughs> That's, that sounds yeah. almost as, 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 as funny as Tremors. Do you yeah. remember Tremors? Oh, I love Tremors, the first one. I quite oh, enjoyed it's, it's, that. It's, it's, Brits that, Day, Kevin yeah, Bacon. It's, yeah. it's proper... Yeah. That, that's that's retro, isn't it? Yeah, really. Yeah. Again, I was terrified of it. Yeah, Completely yeah. terrified of those giant <laughs> earthworms. Um, <laughs> okay, um, well, let's bring you the kits. Oh, these are beautiful. These are even beyond yeah. um, two millimeter thickness drill holes, so you yep. could potentially get these onto your leathers. So the pair of earrings next to you, the grey, the silver earrings, that's using one millimeter wire, which I, a couple of shows ago I did a bit of hammering, and I really, really enjoyed it. So. When can you get one millimetre wire through pearls? Never. You know? Never, they're, never, they're never, never, never. Love them. It just doesn't work. No. And then, and then if you're anything like me, if you've got some, if you've got a strand that you can't actually thread on to, it gets yeah, yeah completely <laughs> lost no, in the abyss. Yeah. So all of these pearls will go on your two mil leather, which we've all got oh. in our stashes at home. We're thinking, oh, what can we put this on? You know, we've all put them on a donut, and the rest of it is just sat on our yeah, workbench. Yeah, gathering what can I do with dust. Yeah, Shall we start? Well, in fact, you choose. Which one do you well, want to start? Well, let's go for the pink because I didn't work with that one. Okay. It's beautiful. The the colour palettes. Now, there's eighty yeah. of each. This cord is brand new. Yes. We've never yes. done it before. Four meters altogether. Four meters. Yes. So, how much will I need, say, for the piranha jaw? I'm going to remember that one. Probably need about four feet. Four feet. Mm. Okay. Not a, lot, not a huge amount. What's this yeah. technique? That is. Uh, that's just your basic twist. Basic twist. You've seen me do on the show as well. Kumahimo. And we've got knotting, kumahimo. I've done some plaiting with the necklace, and then I've done um, jump rings and bubbles, bubble necklace. Beautiful. Again on that. So, yeah, I've done pretty much everything I can do. I love that necklace. Me too. It's, so it's gorgeous. Nice. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah. a, a very much a defining yeah. feature when it comes to these cultured pearls. They are cultured. I read that completely wrong. I thought that was two metres, but it's not. It's two millimetres. There's 16 metres on each reel, so you get 32 metres, which is 90 feet. What did feet. we say? Four metres? I said four metres, but that's millimetres. So the cord, you get 90 feet on the two reels, pretty much. Hang on. 16 metres on each? On each reel. So 32 metres. Goodness me, yeah, that's, that's a, a lot. lot. Yeah, it is a lot, yes. That is a lot. Gosh, we... Yeah. Massively right. understated there, didn't Massively, we? Massively, yes. Um, and they are genuine cultured pearls as well with your two millimetre drill holes. Both 20 centimetre strands, beautiful colour palette. I have 80 of these available. The colour palettes will really work together as well. So, yeah, we're going to be very mindful of the fact that you might be want to mix the kits. You might want to mix up those cords. Um, these, again, all generations, I think, you know... Uh, um, I think it's going to make uh, bring pearls to to a definitely a younger market as well. I know, for example, my niece she'd definitely be game for wearing these. I think. If I give you these, these are the pearls that I had left over from my kits. There aren't very many, but just so you can see the drill hole size. Look at those! They're amazing, aren't they? So they really what I would advise are. doing, if you've got a reamer, a bead reamer at home, just give the inside a bit of a clean because there's quite a congestion of dust. But you can pop that out with um, with your bead reamer. Look at the They're size fantastic. of those drill holes. I'm just imagining how many cracked and broke uh, well during the, the process with this. Do you know, technically, I guess yeah. they're not lost if they do break no. because then they get made into shell something pearl. like shell yeah, pearls yeah, or yeah, paint true. or makeup yes. and things like that. Yes. But you ideally don't want to break no, them, do no, you? No. Um, but also, can you appreciate as well how thick the nacre is? I mean, mm. I'm looking at this yep. one right... Where is Incredible, it? Isn't it? There. Look at how thick that nacre is. It doesn't all of a sudden go hollow in the no, centre. No. Um, so these are these are pearls that have been formed and lovingly cared for and matured for literally probably I don't know two three years. Mm. We're under fifty pounds. Wow. We're not stopping there then, Mark. <laughs> Three kits, three colourways. Both include two strands of beautiful culture pearls with the two mil drill holes. You will, uh, do you know, if you've just started your jewellery making journey, you won't realise how exciting that is. Right. You would, right. it's, it's like it's like that conversation I've had when my brother tuned in once. He was like, "You're getting really excited about <laughs> featherweight head pin." Yes, <laughs> yes, we were. Yeah. Um, Same. So we got we get really excited about a bigger drill hole. We do. It's because oh, it's massively exciting. Yeah. I just said it's, it's, it's another way you're starting your journey again, isn't it? I've no idea what these are going to. Um. Well, that's the price of the large strand of pearls on its own. Twenty-four ninety-nine. That's less than a pound a meter for the cord. Yeah. 
and it's a, it's, it is a stunning cord. It's beautiful. It's brand new. It's never it, been no, on no, it's our never been before. before. And it's made of nylon, so it, like your um, your Eslon cord, so you can do the whole melting, splicing, anti-fraying, all that. You can do all that with it as well. All your braiding. Braiding everything. Kumihimo, Friendship bracelets, kumihimo, macrame, macrame, everything. Wish bracelets. All of those. Yeah. Colour fast as well, so it won't run if you want to keep your bracelet on in the shower or in the sea or. Oh, not that's a really good point. Yeah, that's a really good point. But yeah. I think you can pearl knot, you can do macrame, you can do you can do the little um, bubbles there, but you get one millimeter through to do, your, to do your hammering. You can do all sorts. I love that one. I think it's really beautiful yeah. with that just sort of get like just literally knotted together. We've got 80 of these um, um, in the pink. We've also got sort of lovely peacock colors. We've got some really beautiful, like quite glacial combinations in the blue and the white. Um, 24 pounds and 99 pence only. I mean, this is going to appeal to lots of different sort of mediums. Uh, um, wow. I, I'm going to say sort of yeah because you can do all your knotting obviously but pearl knotting mm. it's taking pearl knotting <laughs> yeah. but completely transforming it that's incredible and again we've used cord but you can get your two millimeter wire through so you can do some really hammery you know the sort of the Allison and Claire bangles yeah you know, the, the hammered bangles and leather things. leather absolutely all of that that is absolutely fabulous Mark is I that love making that little sort of bubble style look at how yeah. beautiful that is mm. um amazing i'm going to leave that one with you and then we're going to dive into in fact you choose Mark. well let's do the the silver and blue i love this one. it's gorgeous the pearls are lovely so okay the picture is the picture is right picture's wrong this is what you're getting, because on the photograph, it only shows what one? Oh, it shows three, I see what you mean. No, no, you get, you are getting the two strands. Look at how beautiful that color combination oh, is. Um, you've got your sort of silver cord here again, 16 meters of that, um, or it's described, yeah, it is described as silver. And then you've got the lovely pale blue. Um, yeah, loving that. You've also got the two sizes of your cultured pearls, nine to 10 millimeters. Um, yeah, and <laughs> six to seven millimeters, yeah. all with the beautiful two millimeter drill holes. So much potential with that i mean uh, you know think you've mentioned about talk bangles i mean if you just literally created a wire yeah, i'm not absolutely, a wire worker, yeah, yeah. a wire talk bangle work hardened the, pr the precious metal and had it almost mm. so it was a um a movable yeah, piece absolutely yeah 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 yeah, like a fiddle bracelet. I knew this yeah, kit this yeah. kit was going to be very popular because it's one of those that you could i think wear across well all outfits it's complementary of all colors yeah. isn't it so all i've done with this one is i've plaited just as you would a child's hair with three cords then I've knotted, placed the jump ring in between, placed the little bubble bits, and then I've done another knot, then the bubble bits, another knot. So I've got knotting and plaiting all incorporated. And in that's the always going to stay at the yeah. front of the decolletage, isn't yeah. it? Because yeah, you've lovely. positioned the jump rings yeah. actually in there as well. Yeah. Um, loads of you getting involved on this one. I'm not surprised at all. It is lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. They're long strands of cultured pearls. Mm. Love really that. lovely colours. Well, like the fact they could have gone for one strand of one size, but the fact we've got two different yeah. sizes, it's lovely to have the graduation. How many do we have? 80 of each oh, kit. Sorry, oh. Russia, you did say. We're matching that <laughs> price point. So wait, are you going to do the same one? So I can get all kits for? Really? Seventy-five pounds. That's a lot of jewellery. That's like yeah. literally. If you want, if you ever, if you've ever considered doing like an artisanal market or an online business or an Etsy shop or something yeah. like that, if you have got these three kits, you 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 could have little dishes of the go. pearls, and you get the customer to choose the pearl they want, and you could make them a bracelet while they wait. Just a friendship tie-on bracelet, easily. Ten pounds. Ten pound each. Yeah. Job done. <laughs> I love that idea. Absolutely love that idea. I mean, you've just set yourself up in business with three kits, basically. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You've got more than enough to do that, haven't yeah. you? Make your own, choose your own bead. Culture pearl people straight away have that perceived value. Notting is uber tre on yeah. trend at yeah. the moment, you know, with the likes of Monica Veneda and, of course, you know, yeah. All, uh, yeah. Amazing. Well done. I've got 70 of each kits and these are flying, absolutely flying out the door. I have to say the next kit, though, yeah, yeah. I would definitely pre-order on. <laughs> yes. Definitely pre-order. The pearls are... I've never seen colours like these. No, no me. So pretty. And we know how popular purple is as well with our viewers. Oh, do you know, I'd use the two together, I think, or the, all three together. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, they're so pretty, aren't they? That kit's still to come. Right now we're on this really lovely um, silver and your sort of your classic white pearls. They are flying out the door, though. Please check them out. I mean, look at the look yeah. at the rows and names. Uh, Zena in Yorkshire, Geraldine, Lisa, Tina, Bernadette. Hello to you, Irene, Nicolette, Kim, Kay, Susan, Cloudy. Hello to you, Cheshire, Kerry, Karen, Sonika, Maker, Teresa, Alison, Linda, Norma, Jody, Helen. You get the idea. There's loads of you getting involved with these amazing kits. I'm not surprised. Right. Um, okay. We're going to be serious now. Okay. This is just, mm. I mean, there are peacock pearls and there are peacock pearls. I've never seen peacock pearls. Like, sometimes we bring peacock to air and it's that sort of dark oil on water. Mm. Not much, not much More difference between midnight. the beans. Yeah, but these are amazing. <laughs> Absolutely incredible, these pearls. Yeah, like literally. Oh. I'm just, you are not going to believe the colour. These are phenomenal. That Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh, it's not coming across on the screen. Oh yes, it is. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that colourway is there are 80 of these available. A third of the stock straight no, away no, has really. gone. This oh, has got gosh. the purple cord. Brand new premiere, 16 um, meters on both spools. That's incredible. Pretty as a peacock. Yeah, I love this kit. It is okay, stunning. Right. Uh, do you know what? Even, uh, to be honest, I'd pay twenty four ninety nine for the cord, and I would definitely pay twenty four ninety nine mm. for those pearls. So I made the cord bracelet, the piranha bracelet. I made this one here. This is what I think that's got one pearl as a button on the back, yep. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you've got enough here to to make a bracelet with every single one of those pearls. Then I've done the, this one. Then I've done the bracelet. Oh yeah. The tie, yeah. and then just that simple. I love that little pair of earrings at the back on I'm the sorry. left hand side. I love that. They're just so elegant, aren't they? So that's all from one kit. I mean, how, would, how much would you sell all that for? I mean, I would sell the corded bracelet with the one pearl stopper for that price. Yeah, what, well, for £24.99? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's got a cultured pearl in there. Absolutely. Um, wow. This kit is flying, yeah, yeah absolutely like flying out the door. I'm not surprised. That one's yeah. really cool as well. I like that. That's just a, just a straightforward tie with a tie on and off. It's just to show you how, how beautifully the cord goes through the pearls. Amazing. A year ago, we wouldn't have you even imagined doing large no, drill holes in pearls. No, if somebody said I want a two mil drill <laughs> hole through a pearl, they'd be like, no, it's just not possible, don't be silly. Amazing, um, amazing. absolutely amazing. Mark, so what are you going to demo? So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you that piranha jawbone because I think it's, it's great fun. And, Is um, anybody else thinking about f um, <laughs> Finding Nemo, the little girl in Finding Nemo? No, I've never seen Finding Nemo. <gasps> I've never seen The Lion King. Oh, the look of disdain off everyone then. You've got to watch The Lion King. Mm. Although you will cry. Okay. It is, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> but I don't know, Limo, Lion King, I suppose you, it's iconic, isn't it, Lion King? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. I mean, if you're not into those, <laughs> if you're not into animations, I totally get it. But. No. If it hasn't got tights and a cape, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what so you say that just before I don't want to interrupt you but I think you'll appreciate this so Sarah Bennett she put something on Facebook on us on an Instagram story the other day and you know when you have to really think about something for oh, yeah. far too long and it was like just a picture of Batman yeah, yeah yeah and it said underneath may I remind you all that I do not smell and I was like what why why is Sarah put a picture of Batman saying that I don't smell and then I was like, eventually, you've got it, haven't you? Jingle bells, Batman spells, Robin oh, Hay, today. Yeah. And for ages, it just, I was like, why is he saying that? That's very clever. That's very I do clever. like that. I do like that. But it that. took me a good while to figure it out. Um, anyway, over to you. Right. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do the, the purple Piranha. bracelet. Shall but I pass I'm gonna this? Do, but I'm going to do it in a different colourway. So this, this, is, this is really good. This is gorgeous. I've never seen this before. It's fun. But it's a paracord technique. But I thought, well, there's not actually very much difference in the cord and paracord. So I, I wondered if it would work in the same way. And it has. And it's really simple, really good. So first of all, you start with your cord. So I've got a piece of cord. Uh, it's about two foot long. You don't need two foot, but, but I've got two foot long. And the way, what you do is you, you treat it the same way as you do your Eslon. So using, I've used um, clear nail varnish. So cut the end, rub it through, leave it for about five minutes so the glue permeates, the nail varnish permeates into your cord. And then that becomes, feel the difference between the ends. 
one oh with God, and one without. It, yeah, it's not floppy no. at all. It's literally so, like, so it a go, like a needle. Like a needle. And then you go in exactly what we do with the cord. You go in with your scissors at a 45 degree angle, and then you'll be able to you be able to ream your pearls. But what I did before I started is I reamed all the pearls. Okay. And all I used was my reamer from my basic toolkit, which everyone's got at home. Uh, because there does get quite an accumulation of dust inside from yeah. the large drilling. But that, and that's all you need to do, that's isn't it? Just remove the dust. Yeah. So you place your pearl on, and you need your small, 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 small pearl and small, small. I can't say <laughs> it now. You've lost me now. So you pop your, your pearl on your cord, you slide it down, make sure you don't make it come off the end. So you're going to place two cords, and then you're going to put one cord either side of a slot. Okay, because you don't want that pearl coming off. And then what you're going to do is I'm going to slide it down a bit more. And I'm going to take my T-pin, or you can use a, uh, an awl if you've got an awl. And I'm going to pop it into the cord, into the macrame board. And then we're just going to make sure you don't get any twists. And then we're going to place one cord in one slot and one cord in the other, okay? And it's important that you have this space in between the two cords. So I'm just going to come along a little bit so I'm in the middle of the square, there we go. Now what I do when I'm working at home is I've got three macrame boards on top of each other which, I, which brings my arms up to the right height when I'm working. So when I use my small macrame board, I actually pierce down through all of the boards and it gives it a really good anchor point. Okay. Okay, you don't have to do that, but if you've got the boards, then, um, then make use of it. It's so, not gonna move around. No, no it's, just, it's gonna do its job. Okay, now you can do this technique with one color, it's still, which is the, the blue one at the end. Okay. Can you see, I've used, that's just one color. Oh, so this is also piranha? Yes, yeah, so this is the, exactly the same, but this is just using that's the gray as the lazy chords, and then I, I just did the turquoise blue. But I wanted to, the second one, I wanted to do two different colors, so I'm going to show you the, the two color way. Okay, so I'm going to use the turquoise and the gray this time. So you take a piece of your cord off the reel, there we go. This is round on. And you probably, as I mentioned earlier, just a couple of feet of each. Okay, so we're going to take one of our cords. And what I do, as soon as it comes off the reel, it's this horrible thing, but it comes in use, is a cigarette lighter. Okay, so you're just going to melt the ends mm -hmm. to stop any fraying. No, we haven't. And then we're going to do the same with that end. And this will just stop any, any fraying. And then we'll do the second, let's do the second one in grey. Again, same sort of length. Cut that off. I said just put at the end like so, and that just melts it. It doesn't actually get very hot. This doesn't get as hot as the Eslon does, strangely. It's bizarre. That can get very hot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you, if you don't want to use your fingers, I mean, I've, I've been doing, I've got asbestos hands and fingers, just use your flat nose pliers. Just I thought flatten, I did. Flatten the end. But seemingly not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I learnt that the hard way with your, oh. uh, um, yeah, with your nylon thread. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've got our two cords with our pearls still attached and we've taken our two pieces of cord underneath. So we're going to take one colour underneath and we're just going to place a couple of inches to the left so it sits in the slot, okay? And we're gonna place that across onto the right side into a slot. And then we're going to do the same with this cord, okay? But what we're going to do is we want it to cross like so. So we're going to go under again, but we're going to this time go to the little slot above that one and the slot below. Okay, so that's what, we, that's what we're going to have on our board. I did that completely wrong. So the grey is right, the blue, this is better, goes underneath in the other direction. So you've got a short thread on the right hand side of the blue, short side of grey on the left, and then you've got, so you've got two long cords and two short cords. The short cords we're not going to use, that's just to hold it in position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the left side, and we're going to, so in effect, it, it, again, it is square knot, but this time we're going to do something slightly different, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the first, under the second, okay? So under the, over the first, under the second, and then with the grey, we make sure that the first colour is pushed up to the top. We go over and under and up through the loop we've made on that side. Okay, don't pull too hard this first part because we don't want to pull those separate cords. 
okay? Like so, and then we're going to do the same with the right side. So whichever color you start on this side, which was the blue, is the first chord you're going to use. So even if you're alternating left, right, left, right, mm. you're still gonna use the blue chord first or whichever color you decide, okay? So again, what we're going to do is take our first chord over the first, under the second, and then we're going to go, make sure that this chord is uppermost. So down through the middle, so over one, under one, and then come up through the chord. You can already see now we're starting to get this little, the little jawbone starting to form. Okay, so we're back on the left-hand side. We're starting with the blue. So it's over the first, under the second, over the first, under the second and up through that little letter D. Pull that through. Okay, you can see, you already see now the zigzag pattern starting to form. So we're back on the right hand side. So over the first, under the second, over the first, under the second and up through the little loop. Okay, pull that through. So with this one, you can see that the blue that the cord is going horizontally across and it's the grey that forms the teeth. So under, so over and under, over and under. Okay, pull it nice and tight. So over and under, you get into a rhythm after a while, so over and under, you just need to make sure that the first chord is uppermost and you do your second chord underneath. So we go under, over and under. Let me pull them down. And what's really nice is if you, can you open up the purple and the, the purple one? Sure. Because what's really good about this one <gasps> is it's reversible. Oh yes, so it looks so yeah, different. It looks so different. So you can wear it with the purple as prominent or the dark purple as prominent. And because we're, I'm going to show you how to do the button, how to do the button, you can wear it either way. Look at that. So this is your... Piranha jaw. <laughs> Piranha jaw? Piranha's jawbone, it's called, yeah. Is it, is it like serrated? Yeah, you look at a piranha's jaw, it's serrated, and they've got three or four layers of teeth, which is what this is supposed to represent. It's not the most romantic of, of things to make. Yeah. You can, just do, you can just do some fancy square knot or something like that. They are only to. rivers, aren't they? Piranhas Bran are in rivers, aren't they? In the Amazon, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't get them in the sea or you don't get them in English waters. No, no, thank no, goodness. No. <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> yeah, thankfully we don't have many of those no, sort of nasty no, beasties. Not. Okay, so you, you keep going with this. So over and under, over and under, and you just keep going all the way down. So just remember that whichever, so you're still going left, right, left, right, as you would do with a square knot Solomon's bar. But you just need to remember that you, it's always the first colour that you start with. So the blue colour will be on the right, so you know that that's going, to, that's going to happen. Okay. So what you're going to do then is you're going to pull really tight and you're going to finish with an ordinary square knot, a macrame square knot. So we're going to do the left side and this will be over both of your cords and this will be under the wrist so you won't, you won't see this. So we do the right hand side first of all and then we'll do the other side. Okay, and you pull that nice and tight. Okay, now what you need to do is make sure that your loop you leave at the top is large enough to take your pearl that you added. Okay, so we're gonna take it off of our board, push the pearl up to the top, take off. So I can move the macrame board for the moment. Okay, so this is what you're ended with. So what we're going to do next is we're going to decide which one of the two lazy cores we want to get rid of. So I'm just going to cut one away, like so. And then you can see we, we were left with a little tuft at the base. So I'm going to go in with my lighter. There's a bit of a draft in here, so I won't do it fully, okay? And then we're just going to give it a squidge. And what does all the fibers that we've just melted blend in with each other? So we're left now with our pearl so we're going to slide that down. Don't do the knot completely up, up underneath it. You need to give a little wriggle room, maybe three or four millimetres. And then we're going to tie an overhand knot. Getting and using our T-pin. 
we can slide the knots down to the pearl. As I said, leave a little, a few millimeters gap. Okay, force the, there we go. So it's still got a bit of wiggle room in there. Now before you cut this off, we're just going to go in and we're going to dispose of our excess cord. So again, cut through, leave a little tuft. We go in with our lighter. <coughs> Once it melts and changes color, you just blend it into, can you see how it disappears? It does, it doesn't it? It doesn't, it doesn't change and it's, color. As I, as I said, surprisingly, it's not as hot as your Esalon cord. But some cords can literally change, can't yeah. they? In terms of the color, it, yeah. you, it looks like it's been absolutely. melted. No, absolutely. I'm not seeing any change. No. no, so we're just going to go in and then give it a push. I call it a squidge. So you don't need to use any glue with this cord at all, which is fantastic. Nice little key ring, that one. Yep, absolutely. So what you do then, you do the, I won't do it, but you do the same with the two cords from the other end. Then all we're going to do is just go in, cut just under the knot. And again, go in, give a little, little melt. So hold it to the flame and then just push. And again, that melts all nice and secure. So we'll cut those away and do the same. I don't want to do any more flame. And then you've got your little button pearl at one end that will go through the loop you've left right at the beginning. Look at that! So, so you've, got, you've got two, both of them got pearls, haven't they there? Yeah. yeah. So what I've done with the purple is, if you look at the cord, if you twist it anti-clockwise, it opens out. Let me turn it that and way. And you have you can three, can you see, you, you have three cords. So you, I call it a little sort of ponytail. So, you, so that's what I've done with the purple, is I've opened them out just to make a, a little feature. And then with the blue, I've glued, I've um, melted. So it's They're so pretty. Up. Well, I've just used one pearl, a couple of feet of your cord. I mean, yeah. you can make so many. You can make. You've got enough cord to make a bracelet like this for every one of the pearls in the two. How fronts. lovely is that? A great fun. Yeah. Once you get the hat, the neck of that under and over, under and over, it's uh, no, it's, it's brilliant. Really nice. Um, and um, double sided. And double sided. Yeah. Um, I'm really loving yeah. this. So yeah, yeah, they've flown out those kits. They, they are. They deserve to. So they're limited. Amazing. Yeah. The peacock one's the closest to Beautiful. selling out, which love I'm not surprised that. by at all. Yeah. I love that necklace. Yeah, it's they're, gorgeous. They're, yeah, and that's just a bit of rosary linking. Again, using, I think I use 0.8 millimetre wire. And as I said, we've got, the, we've got the clasp endings. Yeah, have we still got those, Ross? I did see them earlier on, actually. I saw, I saw um, them, yeah. Yeah, I did see them earlier on. So if you can on. pass me the necklace over, I'll show, yeah. you, I'll show you what to do. So as I said, this is an eight cord Kumihimo braid, which you've seen us do many times on the show. We, we, we put the Kumihimo board on the graphics oh, or on oh, the okay. screens as well. Brilliant. Um, so if you want to get that, either speak to our call centre, they'll be able to, Kumihimo, yeah. they're like 2 or something, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not a great deal. Yeah. Um, we these have got amazing. the board ends here. These are fantastic. Okay, shall I put them next to yep. you? So these, these come in a pack of two. So you can see we've got this really amazing so this is, these are made for these thread. They were they were designed for the number of cords. Okay, so you've got that, and it's see-through. Can you see my finger behind? Yeah. On the back there, and then you've got this amazing loop. Now this is soldered loop. It's not going to come undone like a jump ring. So that's really secure. So all you do is you do your Kumihimo disc, and you and again if you just if you go onto Jewelry Maker YouTube channel and put in you put in Jewelry Maker Kumihimo, mm. there's quite a few of us have put how to finish off your endings. Oh, uh, yeah, because okay. I can imagine that would yeah. be the thing that people yeah. have asked first. Yep, 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 so you finish off your Kumihimo braid, and there's, there's so many YouTube videos about how to finish off. Do you remember Prue, who used to work yeah. with us? Prue Mahimo is her YouTube site, and she shows you lots of different ways of finishing off. Oh, there Kumihimo we go. Braid. Lovely Prue. Yep. So all you do is you finish off your braid, and then what I did was, again, good old staple glue that's super, or jewellery maker glue. I use the glue that's super because it's quick, you know, 30 seconds, I'm yeah. ready to move on. And all I've done is I've put two dots, I've put a dot inside the bottom, flipped it over 180 degrees, put another dot of glue on the inside, placed it over the cord endings, and then all I've done is I've, ju I've just twisted once, 360 degrees, and then that adheres to okay. your tube. So if you, if you look down, can you see the end of the tube? It fits so beautifully in there. It's, it, it was made for it, absolutely flush. So you've got the Kumihima board. Yep. Yep. You have the cords with the kit as well. And Amazing. now you've got the cord ends. Yeah. They were literally and made for this. they're sterling silver. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that's unusual when it comes to Kumihimo ends. Yeah. Normally they're yep. a base metal, they aren't are. they? I've never had a sterling silver oh. end cap. And they're so, they're so um, modern and contemporary as well. They're yeah, amazing. really. I also think these would be great for yeah. the top of tassels. Could, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You can, actually, you can glue the tassel top up inside. Up inside. That's right. 
yeah. and actually have a sterling silver. Sorry, I didn't yeah, realise they yeah. were 925 sterling silver. We've got 100 um, available. So they're perfect. They're, as I said, they were made for this thickness of tube. It's the thickness Kumihimo bread I've ever made. So they were, as you can see, they were made. It's for the perfect. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. perfect. 6.99 for, for the two. That's fantastic. 6.99. Um, yeah, you're flying in for this one. I'm not even remotely surprised. Yeah. I would stock up because both yeah. Mark and I, I don't know if I've done Sterling Silver Kumahimo end before. I've never done, I've done a Kumahimo end before in Sterling, never. And I just like the contemporary modern side. And as I said, they were made for this. And as I said, because the cord is so thick, you could, I did, I'm sure I did this braid in about half an hour. Which yeah. Kumahimo is a little bit more of a time investment than that normally. Yeah, because normally it? It, takes, it takes more time setting up and doing it than actually doing the disc, the actual, the actual braid. But this is really quick. So wait, right, right. Two, $24.99 for the kit. Yep. $2.99 for the board. Yep. Six ninety nine for the cord ends. Yeah, thirty five pounds. You, you're done. You're ready to go. That's you are good you to go. Yeah. yeah thirty five pounds. You can make. Yep. An entire. Array. And what you could do when you're doing your your kumihimo braid, you have your eight threads. You can pop the pearls on one of the threads. And you can actually have pearls intertwined in your kumihimo oh, braid if you wanted to as well. How nice would that be? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad these are going. They're amazing. We I had 100, these. though, and there's yeah. a lot of multi-buyers. I've got yeah. 30 remaining um, because, well, listen, if I showed you the core screen, there's not that yeah. many names, but loads of you got, like, yeah. fours, fives, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Nottingham, uh, Northampton, sorry, you've got two. <laughs> Pauline's just got four. Andrew's just got five. Alison, Amanda's just got two. Elaine's got two. Valerie's got two. Kath's got two. Karen's got five. Yeah, that all of a sudden 100 quantity doesn't hang hang around very long. Um, and you do disappear wow. off the bottom of the screens. So we're in full three rows of names. £6.99. Neither Mark and I can uh, can recall no. actually doing Sterling Silver Kumahimo ends because they no. are normally base That's metal. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I've never done them before. It's amazing. And it's nice to have them in base it metal. Is. It That's is. That's all good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's even better to have them in Sterling Silver. <laughs> Awesome, and there's lots of tutorials on uh, yes. because we put the Kumahimo disc up. It was that round one, that's right. two ninety nine. That's right. yeah. So that's yeah. what you use for this. Yeah, exactly. Just the ordinary round Kumahimo disc. Two at north and south, one colour. Two at east and west in the other colour, and you get this spiral. There you go. We've yeah. just repeated it for yeah. you there. Yeah. Um, and there's been loads of demonstrations with your Kumahimo, yes. and you can yeah. certainly find them um, on our website. Yeah. Mark. Well, thank you. It's thank been a you lovely, so it's much. been a lovely show today, and thank again, thank you for all your support with the chestnut close, which is finished. Until next, until the next ne one. Until next time. Do you know yes. what? It, you yeah. should be so proud, though, darling. No, I'm, I'm, really I'm pleased, uh, really yeah, pleased. they are absolutely thank amazing. You. And thank um, you for your support as well. Oh, my darling, it means always. The means the world. Isn't he just wonderful, Mark? Congratulations, <laughs> and well done to you if you managed to get hold of any of those amazing pieces. Um, yeah, if you've just tuned in, watch back. It's been an epic show. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week. You're back. Sunday morning. Oh, I'll see you then. <laughs>